Preface to A Grammar of the Arabic Language in which the rules are illustrated by authorities from the best writers, principally adapted for the service of the Honourable East India Company by John Richardson. Recorded for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Preface to a Grammar of the Arabic Language in which the rules are illustrated by authorities from the best writers. By John Richardson. Preface. In the 8th, ninth, and succeeding centuries, when the European world was clouded with barbarity and ignorance, when foreign princes and great feudal lords could neither write nor read, the Arabians rivaled the Romans of the Augustan age in erudition and genius, whilst with a more extensive empire, note the great empires of the Mughal, of Persia, of the Turks, of Morocco, besides many other powerful kingdoms, have been founded on the ruins of the wide extended dominions of the Khalifs, which at one time comprehended Arabia, Chaldea, Assyria, Media, Persia, the Khorasan, Samarkand, Bukhara, Kabul, Kandahar, Zablistan, etc., the greatest part of India, many districts along the Oxus or Gihon and the Caspian Sea, Circassia, Georgia, Armenia, Mesopotamia, Syria, Palestine, Cyprus, part of Asia Minor, Egypt, the Mediterranean coasts of Africa, Morocco, Fez, Spain, Sicily, Naples, part of France, etc., etc., in all which countries, if we accept the European states, the Arabic is, to this day, cultivated with care, as being the language of their religion and their law. End note. They excelled them in magnificence and in the more refined splendor and elegance of life. The Khalifs al-Mahdi, al-Rashid, al-Ma'mun, and other monarchs of the illustrious house of al-Abbas were men of learning, genius and politeness learning and genius were found therefore the surest avenues to royal favor they were of consequence universally cultivated princes generals and viziers being not only munificent patrons of literary merit but holding themselves a conspicuous rank among writers of the most distinguished class the arabian chiefs with, it must be conceded, an alloy of ferocity, were in general brave, liberal, hospitable, ingenious, penetrating, fond of learning of every species, and carrying to the most singular excess their admiration of poetry and eloquence. With such dispositions and attachments, therefore, it is easy to conceive that their language became naturally an important object of their attention. The dialects of their numerous tribes furnished them with rich minds. From these they freely borrowed, and formed from the whole a language sublime, comprehensive, copious, energetic, delicate, majestic, adapted equally for the softness of love or the poignancy of satire, for the mournfulness of elegy, or the grandeur of heroics, for the simplest tale, or the boldest effort of rhetoric. In every style of composition, therefore, the books in this language are numerous, and many of them of high intrinsic worth. Their books, however, and their language, remain still but imperfectly known in Europe. Nor can we ever hope, perhaps, for much advancement in this branch of learning, till the formidable, fancied difficulties of the study are removed, till curiosity is stimulated by a hope of success, till attention is fixed by a conviction of its utility. Among many reasons which may be assigned for our limited knowledge of this language, the first, and perhaps not the least, 
arises apparently from the perplexing obscurity and unengaging manner of grammarians who without sufficiently attending to that simplicity and perspicuity which ought ever to be the necessary guides to the uninformed minds of youth bend their chief efforts to the investigation of unuseful trifles uninteresting definitions and polemical subtleties involving the whole in such obscure terms as to demand often as much time patience and penetration to decipher the meaning of the teacher as to acquire the language itself through a less complicated medium many of our european editors and commentators it may also be observed have been men merely learned in language with little taste or general science to direct their learning to proper objects the books they have published therefore have not all been chosen with skill for whatever motives might invite them to become arabic editors instruction or entertainment appears by no means to have been always in view chance more than discernment appears often to have selected their publications and an unnecessary display of learning seems the only point of their ambition whilst their latin versions without elegance and often without accuracy possess neither the beauty of an ingenious paraphrase nor the usefulness of a literal translation with a view to lead the way to a more simple mode of instruction this grammar has been undertaken with what success the candor of those who can judge must determine the persian grammar has been the model i have attempted to follow note by william jones esq barrister at law author of poeseos asiaticae commentari and other learned and ingenious works from whom had his superior pursuits and views permitted the elements of arabic grammar might have been expected on a far more masterly scale than what is now with great deference submitted to the public the valuable printed books and manuscripts with which long before i entertained the least idea of this publication that gentleman unasked most politely assisted me demands my highest acknowledgments whilst his favourable opinion of the plan is to me a circumstance of the most flattering nature i consider myself likewise as singularly happy in the approbation of the rev mr white of wadham college professor of arabic and the rev mr winstanley of brazennose college oxford whose extensive learning and solid judgment would stamp a value on works of far more importance but it becomes at the same time necessary to observe in justice to these three gentlemen that the shortness of the time and the distance of situation making it impossible for me to consult them till the sheets were printed off whatever mistakes or improprieties may be discovered must be imputed to the author alone End note. and whilst i have endeavoured to imitate the perspicuity with which the sensible author explains the difficulty of that study i have pursued his method of illustrating the different rules by authorities from various writers a method which at the same time that it instructs softens the drudgery unavoidable in a beginning study unites practice with theory and introduces the learner imperceptibly to some acquaintance with the genius and manner of several respectable arabian authors the gentlemen in the service of the honorable east india company have been principally in view in the composition of this grammar convinced from the opinion of many learned and judicious men as well as from my own less perfect observation how impossible it was to acquire an accurate idea of the persian without studying the genius of the arabic upon which it so remarkably depends note exclusive of the arabic sentences which occur in almost every persian book three-fourths perhaps of the component words of this tongue 
are either adopted or derived from that language so that it is equally impossible to compile a persian dictionary without the assistance of the arabic as to confine the english language to words of mere celtic origin to the exclusion of every derivation from the greek latin french and other dialects on a superficial view it may be supposed perhaps that as the genius of the two languages is so different a perusal of arabic grammar can throw no light on that of the persian but two things essentially foreign to each other may often have a tendency to the same point for though astronomy can never teach the practical method of working a ship yet it is to the highest degree necessary to the safety of navigation so arabic grammar though not absolutely teaching the elements of the persian will be found to throw most satisfactory lights on that study especially by enabling the student to discover the roots of those arabic words which are so copiously blended with that language of which being once possessed and of the mode of forming from them the derivative inflections he may with ease fix in his memory twenty words perhaps for one which he could acquire without such assistance for an example see page two ten upon the whole therefore i will not hesitate to assert that the reading of arabic grammar with the least attention will give a gentleman already acquainted in some degree with the persian a more critical knowledge of that tongue than twice the time directed to any other branch of study End note. i have attempted to reduce the whole to the simplest principles by placing what appeared to be of the greatest real importance in the most conspicuous light and throwing the less consequential into a kind of remoter perspective in order to avoid crowding the foreground and destroying the effect of the principal figures as abstract theoretical disquisitions delivered in an obscure latin idiom though worthy perhaps of the attention of those who make philological learning the study of life are by no means calculated for gentlemen whose chief views are necessarily directed to commerce war and political government to whom languages must of consequence be objects merely secondary and the means of acquisition proportionably the more important as they tend to promote without greatly interrupting their more interesting pursuits i have given arabic grammar an english dress i have endeavored to mark most forcibly the great lines and to clear the avenues of the underwood and thorns of the study i have been as literal in the translation as the genius of the languages and my own understanding would permit and i have been full in those extracts than was absolutely necessary if considered simply as authorities from a conviction that this practical mode of accompanying the grammatical rules will be found far more satisfactory than volumes of theory alone which few minds without infinite labor can either comprehend or retain and now having concisely explained the plan i have pursued nothing further remains to recommend but a moderate degree of perseverance which i flatter myself will soon convince the student that the difficulties of the language are more artificial than natural more imaginary than real and easily to be overcome by industry attention and a will to learn end of preface to a grammar of the arabic language by john richardson recording by abu jalal recorded in oxford england arabic the alphabet by e h palmer Trubner's collection of simplified grammars of the principal Asiatic and European languages, edited by Dr. R. Rost, Librarian of the India Office Library. 1. Hindustani, Persian, and Arabic by E. H. Palmer. Recorded for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, 
please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Arabic alphabet from Simplified Grammar of Hindustani, Persian, and Arabic by E. H. Palmer. Second edition. Arabic. The alphabet. The Arabic alphabet is that used with certain modifications for Persian and Hindustani and is written in the same way from left to right. The letters and Arabic pronunciation are as follows. Name, Elif. Equivalent, A, E, I, O, or U. Pronunciation, this is the spiritus lenis of the Greek, a mere prop to rest an initial vowel on. Name, be equivalent B. Pronunciation as in English. Name, te equivalent T. Pronunciation, a soft dental T like the Italian. Name, fe equivalent TH. Pronunciation as in thing. Name, jim, equivalent J. Pronunciation as in English. Name, he, equivalent H. Pronunciation, an aspirate strongly breathed out from the chest. Name, ha, equivalent KH. Like CH in Welsh or Gaelic or the German CH as pronounced in Switzerland. Name, del, equivalent D. Pronunciation, a soft dental D as in Italian. Name, vel, equivalent DH. Pronunciation, like TH in this. Name, ra, equivalent R. Pronunciation, a distinctly pronounced R. Name, Zain, equivalent, Z. Pronunciation, as Z in English. Name, Seen, equivalent, S. Pronunciation, as in English. Name, Sheen, equivalent, SH. Pronunciation, as in English. Name, Sod, equivalent, S with a dot under it. Pronunciation, an S pronounced by placing the tongue against the side teeth and slightly opening the mouth. Name, Bwad, equivalent, DH underlined. Pronunciation, a DH pronounced in the same manner as the last. Name, Tha, equivalent, T with two dots under it. Pronunciation, a T pronounced with the tongue full against the front part of the palate. Name, Wah, equivalent, D with a dot under it, H. DH or Z pronounced in the same manner as the last. Name, Ein, equivalent, A with a rough breathing, etc. Pronunciation, a guttural sound only heard in Arabic. It must be learned from a native. Name, Rain. Equivalent, G-H. Pronunciation, a guttural sound, something like the French R, Grasseye. Name, Fe. Equivalent, F. Pronunciation, as in English. Name, Qaf. Equivalent, K with a dot under it. Pronunciation, a very guttural K, like k in thick, only much stronger. Name, kef, equivalent K, pronunciation as in English. Name, lam, equivalent L, pronunciation as in English. Name, meme, equivalent M, pronunciation as in English. Name, noon, equivalent N, pronunciation as in English. Before B or F, it is sounded as M. Name, wow, equivalent W, pronunciation as in English. Name, he, equivalent H, pronunciation as in English. Name, ye, equivalent Y, 
pronunciation as in English. He is sometimes written thus. He with two dots over it and is then called he te when followed by a vowel this is pronounced like te t but otherwise it is not pronounced at all the above are joined to the preceding letter by prefixing a small curve or stroke and to the following letter by removing the curve with which they all but alif end thus Detached initial, medial, and final forms of nun, ye, ha, sad, ain, fa, qaf, kaf, lam, mim, and ha, given. Ra, well, del, if deprived of the curve, would become unrecognizable. Hence, they do not join to the left. The above letters are all consonants. Vowels. The vowels are fatha a pronounced like the a in hat and bom u as in bull both written above the letter and kasra i as in hit written below the letter when the vowels are doubled thus fathatain bommatain kasratain they are pronounced respectively n un and in this is called tenween that is giving the n sound combined with elif wow and ye the vowels become e u e au pronounced as au in cow a like i in fine no word can commence in the arabic character with a vowel or if it does, the vowel is introduced by alif. When a syllable begins with a vowel, the mark hemze is used to introduce it. But this hemze, being written above the line, requires a prop. This in the case of an e is alif. In the case of u, it is wow. And in the case of i, it is ye. Only that in the initial form, this last is distinguished from the ordinary Y by losing its dots. For example, Fu'ed, a heart. Fa'ide, advantage. Tashdid doubles the letter it is placed over. Sukun shows that the letter it is placed over has no vowel. Two consecutive sukuns cannot come together in one word. Wasle is only used over an initial elif or over the article el and shows that these are to be elided. Medde is placed over an initial elif and shows that it should be pronounced long as eti coming. If the first letter of a word be a sibilant or liquid, the article el is elided before it, and the consonant itself doubled, as awamunyas, common people, abdullah, abdullah, the servant of Allah. Note, final short vowels, or tenween, are not pronounced before a full stop. End of Arabic alphabet. From Simplified Grammar of Hindustani, Persian and Arabic by E. H. Palmer. Recording by Abu Jalal. Recorded in Oxford, England. Lessons 1 to 5 from Arabic Simplified A Practical Grammar of Written Arabic in 200 Lessons with Exercises test papers and reading book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al Qahirani, read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. 
Arabic Simplified, a practical grammar of written Arabic in 200 lessons, by Arthur T. Upson. Lesson 1. Borobe. 1. What are these signs? They form the Arabic word, he struck, which is pronounced, Borobe, with the accent on the last syllable. The pronoun he is understood, not written in the Arabic verb. 2. How is this word built up? Of three different consonants and one vowel. The vowel corresponds to the letter A. Its sign is fetha and is written above its consonant, which it always follows in pronunciation. It here occurs three times. 3. What is the name of this vowel? Fetha, to be pronounced with a roughly aspirated he, which we have indicated by a dot under it, and which is somewhat like hh, or doubly strong h. It is also somewhat like a deep sigh. Be sure you do not run the t and h together, making th. Note, fat is the first syllable and h the second. 4. What is the power of this fath? It is like a in bad and is one of the three short vowels. In some countries it is a little heavier like a in father. In India more like u in cut. 5. How many consonants are there in this word? 3. Name Wad Power L Name Ra Power R Name Ba Power B 6. What is the approximate sound of the Lord? It is like the D in hand and good, only it is stronger, and this we have indicated by a dot under the D. It is an aspirated D, a little like the TH in the, but more strongly pronounced by rolling the tongue against the palate. It is so hard that it affects the fatha after it, giving to it almost the sound of o or o. In India, it is a hard z, as in Ramazan. 7. Do these three consonants always preserve the forms here given? No. Arabic letters change their form with their position in a word, because even printed books are, so to speak, in script character, and most of the letters joined and running on. Bod is always initial bod when it begins a word, that is, when it is an initial letter. Ra is always medial ra when it is within a word, that is, when it is a medial letter. Be is always isolated be when it is separated from others, that is, when it is an isolated letter. Note well, when be at the end of a word can be joined to the previous letter, it takes the final form. The ra is of such a shape that it cannot even join the letter which follows it, so that letter does not have a special final form. 8. What is the order of the consonants in borobe? Bod, ra, be, because Arabic, like other Semitic languages, is read from right to left. He struck borobe. Borobe. 9. Why have we put the first vowel in italic? To show that it has the accent which is but 
very slight. 10. What are the dots used for? 1 over lod and 1 over be. They are the distinguishing marks of these consonants, which cannot, therefore, be read without them. In Arabic letter writing, the scribe, when in haste, often obscures the shapes of the individual letters. These can, however, always be identified by means of the dots. Vowels are hardly ever written, except in the two books, Qur'an and Bible, but the dots are indispensable. There are no capitals in Arabic. Self-test, paper one. One. What is fatha? Where is it placed? Two. What is its power? Compare your written reply with the section in which the correct answer is to be found. Revise it, and if necessary, learn more thoroughly. Do not send exercises for correction, except the replies to test papers, which we have marked to be returned for correction, so in all future lessons. Note well, students must vowel their exercises for the first year. Lesson 2 one if the verb form for he struck lorobe is lorobe how can it be changed into she struck by placing the letter t t after it he struck lorobe lorobe he struck lorobe she struck lorobet lorobet she struck Borabet. Two. But why has the be been shortened from isolated be to initial be? Because be is isolated be when isolated, and initial be is be in its initial form. The isolated and final forms are usually elongated ones. Three. What is the new sign, sukun, over the te? It is the sukun, and is very occasionally written sukun. 4. What is the use of sukun, pronounced sukun, that is, with the Italian u? It denotes the letter over which it is placed has no vowel, and therefore closes that syllable. Two sukuns on adjacent letters would not ordinarily be allowed to occur in Arabic. 5. What is this sign, kaf? Its name is kaf, and it represents our letter k, as in keep, but its initial form is initial kaf. 6. We have seen in item 2 above that the separate form for be becomes initial be as an initial letter. Can the isolated form for te be shortened to initial te as an initial? Yes, certainly, and several others act similarly. Thus, a. He wrote ketebe, ketebe. He wrote ketebe. B. She wrote Ketebet, Ketebet. She wrote Ketebet. In B, we have Te as a final and also as a medial. 7. The short connecting link which unites a medial form to its predecessor should be noticed. We may represent it thus Initial Kef, Medial Te, Medial Be. Final te. 8. But are not medial te and be confusing? No, since te has two dots over it and be has one under it. 9. Is there any English word or name which will give us the pronunciation of ketebe? Yes, take the word Canada. There is a slight stress upon the first syllable, 
but not enough to make it a long vowel. We do not say Canada, still less Canada, simply Canada. 10. Are other three letter verbs stressed in the same way? Yes. Borabe is pronounced like Canada. There is, however, one point about the Fatha. When it is sounded with such a strong consonant as the Dwad, that is, that the Fatha is sounded like a short O, though we write it A, and thus Borabe is pronounced like Borabe. Do not mix Dwad with D. Exercise 2A. Read aloud from the right and turn into English. Borabe, Borabet, Ketebe, Ketebet. Exercise 2B. Translate to Arabic from memory. 1. He struck. 2. She struck. 3. He wrote. 4. She wrote. Self test 2. 1. What is a sukun and what does it denote? 2. What sign represents a sukun? 3. Write the names of these letters. Initial bod, isolated ba, isolated ta, medial ra, final kaf, final ba, final ta. 4. What combinations are these? Kaf ba. Be te te be kef ra kef te be ra be kef. Note well, after doing exercise 2a from memory, do 2b from memory, and then by comparing the results, it will be seen that one corrects the other. The answers to self test papers are in the text of the lesson in the section whose number is given. Exam paper 7 will be sent up for correction. There will be similar exam papers at the end of lessons 13, 20, 25, 30, 40, etc. Lesson 3. Past singular of verb. 1. How did we turn the form for he struck into one meaning she struck? By adding the letter te. Two, one. two how can we readily turn he struck into thou masculine did strike thou feminine did strike i masculine and feminine struck by adding the same letter te in each case and by changing the vowels borobe he struck borobet she struck borobete Thou strikedst, borabati, thou strikedst feminine, borabatu, I struck. Note well, read from right to left. This is essential. Note that the past tense of the Arabic verb may often be represented in English by either the past or the perfect tense. Details in Lesson 153. 3. Accent. What is the rule for Arabic accent? The following rules must be memorized just here. A. The Arabic accent falls principally upon the long vowel of the word, namely the letter of prolongation, which will be explained later. Thus, kitab has the accented te by circumflex thus te if more than one long vowel the last one receives the greatest accent the two diphthongs nine five are accented like long vowels b the fact of the consonant under the sukun having no vowel causes that consonant to be accented for example borabatu is pronounced borobtu and the student must never say borobtu 
because when the final vowel is omitted, he will say, like a newspaper reader aloud, Brabt. C. The Shedde is also accented. 845. D. If all the vowels are short, as in Ketebe, the first one is slightly accented. 4. If we examine forms 3, 4, and 5, we shall find two new features presented. What are they? First, we see Kasra, a fatha in shape below the line. Second, we see Lomme, almost a comma in shape above the line. 5. What is this fatha shaped sign written below the line? It is the short vowel i in tin. Its name is kasra. Since it is always placed below the line, it cannot be confused with fetha, a short a, which always stands above the line. 6. What is the sign bomme placed above the line? It is the short vowel u, called bomme and pronounced as in bush. 7. After reminding ourselves that the sukun has no sound, we can now read the whole of the verb forms which constitute the active voice, past tense singular number of the regular verb. See item 2 above for the forms. Note well, as the vowels of each verb remain constant for each of its persons, singular, we must learn these five forms by heart. This is a very important as well as a very easy matter. Take care to accent the proper syllable by noting it in item 2 above. Learn from the right, he struck, etc. 8. What verb is this? Rakibe. It is pronounced Rakibe and means he rode or mounted. 9. But why the kasra in the center? Because this verb takes two fathas and a kasra. Some verbs take a dhamma as the center vowel for the past tense. Every past tense verb takes fatha as first and last vowel, however. 10. Write out all the singular persons of Rokibe. Rokibe. He rode. Rokibet. She rode. Rokibte. Thou didst ride. Rokibti. Thou feminine didst ride. Rokibetu. I rode. 11. In what order are the signs written in exercise 3a? The body of the calf, then te, then be. After that, go back and stroke the headpiece of the ke downwards, then the dots, then add all the vowel marks from right to left. Exercise 3a. Read aloud and transliterate. Note on transliteration, that is, writing Arabic in Roman characters. The student should only transliterate for a short time if really needed. But in translating from English to Arabic, it is essential that he write in the proper Arabic character. A relief nib is the best for this purpose in England, but an Arabic nib, not the native read, should be used in the Orient. After a few more lessons, he should try to abstain from transliteration altogether, as it is a weak reed to lean upon. He will very soon become accustomed to the Arabic character, and should use nothing else. It is difficult, in Egypt, where these lessons are printed, to obtain sufficient specially marked types with which to transliterate. The only reason for attempting it at all is to partially supply the place of the teacher of pronunciation. If you can get a sheikh with whom to practice reading and dictation, never use anything but the Arabic character. End note. And translate, covering 3b. Ketebe, ketebet, 
كتبت كتبتي كتبت ركبتي ركبت ركب ركبت ركبت ضربتي ضرب ضربت 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 Exercise 3b. Translate to Arabic, covering 3a, then correct. 1. He wrote. 2. She wrote. 3. Thou masculine hast written. 4. Thou feminine hast written. 5. I have written, wrote. 6. Second line, thou feminine hast written. 7. I rode, or have ridden. 8. He rode, has ridden. 9. Thou hast ridden, didst ride. 10. She rode, has ridden. 11. Third line. Thou feminine, did strike. 12. He struck. 13. I struck. 14. Thou masculine, did strike. 15. She struck. Self-test 3. 1. What letter concludes all but one of the forms of the past tense? Singular of the active voice. 2. Write out the rules for accent. 3. What is the sign for a dhomme? What is it? How is it pronounced? Lesson 4. Interrogative, etc. 1. What is the first letter of the Arabic alphabet? The alif. This generality will be modified in 12.3. 2. What is its form? Alif. This is its form in all cases, except where it is linked to a preceding letter, when its form is medial alif. See point 5 below. In that case, it lengthens the preceding fatha to a long vowel. E. 3. What special use has this alif with a hamza and fetha? It is one of the signs for interrogation and it then always commences the sentence. The hamza will be explained fully in lesson 13. It is written over the alif, thus alif hamza. He struck. Borabe. Did he strike? Edorabe, with the Hamza, not otherwise, it may be the initial letter of a word. See 10 below. 4. How can a verb in the past tense be negatived? How can she wrote become she did not write? By putting the negative particle me before it. 5. What is this negative particle? It is composed of a new letter, meme, joined to an alif without hamza, written from below. See two above. This negative is always placed before its verb form. It is used with the past tense in writing, in colloquial with the present also. 6. Give the Arabic for she wrote and she did not write. Ketebet. She wrote. Me ketebet. She did not write. 7. We have seen that the interrogative Alif Hamza can be placed before a positive sentence without disturbing the order of its words. Can it also be placed before a negative sentence without causing any alteration? Yes. Me ketebtu. I have not written. Eme ketebtu. Have I not written? Eme ketebtu. Did I not write? 8. What letter looks very much like an alif? The lamb or l. Its form when an initial letter is initial lamb. 9. How do they differ? The lamb can be joined to its following letter as well as its preceding one, whereas an alif can only be joined to its preceding. The lamb is always written downwards with a thick stroke. Also, when a final letter, it lengthens its form. 
Thus, in the combination lam lam lam, we get three possible forms of a lam, initial, medial, and final. But this combination does not occur in any actual word. 10. Give a word containing an alif hamza and a lam. Ekele, he ate. Ekele. 11. Now a word containing a lam before the alif. Le. No or not. This is the negative which is generally used with the present tense, though me is sometimes so used in the Qur'an, etc. The lam, that is, the downstroke, is written first, then the elif is written athwart. Exercise 4a. Read aloud and translate. Then correct by 4b. E ekele, e me ekelet, e ekelte, e me ekelti, e me rokibti, me rokibtu, e dorobet, me porobte, e me ketebet, le me ketebet, e me ekelti, le me ekeltu. Exercise 4b. Turn into Arabic, correcting by 4a. 1. Has he eaten? 2. Has she not eaten? 3. Hast thou masculine eaten? 4. Hast thou feminine not eaten? 5. Didst thou feminine not ride? 6. I did not ride. 7. Did she strike? 8. Thou masculine didst not strike. 9. Did she not write? 10. No, she did not write. 11. Didst thou feminine not eat? 12. No, I did not eat. Self-test paper 4. 1. Give an Arabic interrogative sign. What is its position? 2. What particles negative Arabic sentences. 3. How does an alif differ from a lamb? Lesson 5. Try literalism. 1. What is one of the chief characteristics of the Semitic group of languages? Hebrew, Arabic, etc. Try literalism. This signifies that the words are built up around three root letters or radicals. Note, occasionally there are four root letters and the root verb is then called a quadriliteral one. See later, end note. By prefixing, affixing and inserting other letters and by changing the vowels so as to express variations of meaning all arising out of the idea conveyed by the root letters. This we have seen in the past tense of a verb of active voice. 3.2 2. 2. What past tense verb form in the active voice always contains these three root letters and no other letters? The form for the third person singular masculine. Thus, Ketebe, he wrote or has written. Ekele, he ate or has eaten. 3. And are the nouns also built up from these three root letters? Yes, by vowels alone or by vowels and additional letters, of which elif is a frequent one. This is why we teach the verb before the noun. Ekele, he ate. Ekele, Kotele, he killed. Kotele, Ketebe, he wrote. Ketebe, Uklun, food. Uklun, Ketelun, battle or fighting. Ketelun, Kitebun, a book, a writing. Kitebun, Ketibun, a writer. Ketibun, for the lengthening of this. A. C. Lesson 6. 4. We see here some new signs and letters. 
What is this new first root letter? It is the letter Qaf and represents our Q. This guttural consonant is pronounced with a vowel by contracting the throat. Say Kaf first naturally, then with a short A sound and contracted throat like the cawing of a crow. Qaf is pronounced Qaf or Qaf because the letter Qaf is one of those strong letters which alter the sound of the fatha compare to ten what is this new sign tenween bomme it is the short vowel bomme written double which can only occur at the end of a word six how is it pronounced un shorter than un like you in push seven but where does the n sound come from this practice of adding an n sound when the last vowel is thus doubled is called nunation from the arabic name for n noon nunation is confined to reading the quran and poetry it is never pronounced in reading the newspaper or in conversation Practice naming the word without un. 8. What is this double U sign called? The tenween bomme, meaning a bomme with noon sound. It is never used with the definite article, and every word which has it is in the nominative case, as also those having the single bomme. See six six for the other two cases with tanween. Nine. Give another verb containing elif with hamze. Qara'e. He read. Here it is third radical. Ten. Write out the five person forms of qara'e. Qara'e. Qara'et. Qara'te. Qara'tu. Exercise five a. Read aloud and translate into English. Ekorati ekeltu uklun eme kotelet. Ekoteltu kitelun kitabun koroet. Exercise 5b. To Arabic, afterwards correcting by 5a. 1. Hast thou feminine read? 2. I ate, have eaten. 3. Food. 4. Has she not killed? 5. Did I kill? 6. Fighting. 7. A book. 8. She read. Self-test, paper 5. 1. What is the tanween bomme? 2. How and when is it pronounced? 3. What is nunation and when is it employed? End of Lessons 1 to 5 from A Practical Grammar of Written Arabic in 200 Lessons with Exercises, Test Papers and Reading Book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al Qahirani, Author of Arabic Amplified, etc., Editor of Al Barid Al Misri, and Publisher of over 350 Arabic books and pamphlets. Recording by Abu Jalal. Recorded in Oxford, England. Lessons 6 to 10 from Arabic Simplified. A Practical Grammar of Written Arabic in 200 Lessons by Arthur T. Upson. Read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Arabic Simplified. A Practical Grammar of Written Arabic in 200 Lessons with exercises, test papers, and reading book by Arthur T. Upson. 
Abdul Fadi Al Qahirani. Lesson 6 Tanween. 1. Transliterate the Arabic for book. Kitabun. 2. Why have we put a mark over the A here? To show it is the long A and not the short one in Ketebe. 3. How are we to know when it is long and not short, since it is Fetha in each case? The Fetha, when followed by a prolonging Alif, is always long. Example. Gate. Bebun. But distinguish this from Ratsun, head, in which Alif carries Hamza Sukun and is not long Alif. 4. What is a Tanween Bomma once more? It is a Bomma or a short vowel U written twice, placed over the last letter of a word as in this word, gate, and in book, C1. The name means a bomma with a noon sound, C53. 5. Are there any other tanweens? Yes. The two other short vowels can be used in the same way, that is, doubled over the last letter. Thus we get Tanween Bomme Kitebun Tanween Fetha Kiteben Note the added alif here Tanween Kasra Kitebin six Have these three Tanweens any practical use? Yes the presence of either of the Tanweens denotes that the noun is indefinite. For example, a man, a book. Also, that it is a declinable noun, that is, capable of taking all three cases. 1. The tanween bomme denotes that a noun is the subject of the sentence, the nominative case. 2. The tanween fetha over an alif for a masculine noun denotes that a noun is the direct object of a verb, the accusative case. See 9 below. 3. The tanween kasra denotes the indirect object governed by a preposition, for example. Note well, a single bomme fetha or Kesra indicates the nominative, accusative, or genitive case of the definite noun, as the Tanween vowel does on the indefinite noun. 7. What is this sign? Jim. It is the letter Jim, which is the English J, but pronounced hard G in Egypt. The initial form of it Initial jim is found in man, rojulun, and its final form is final jim. 8. When will a noun take the tanween bomme? When it is the subject of a sentence, as man in the sentence, a man wrote a letter. Man is in the nominative case. Its form, therefore, is rajulun. 9. When will a noun take the tanween fetha over an alif? When it is the direct object of the action of a verb, that is, in the accusative case, as, for example, a book in the following sentence. A man wrote a book. Ketebe rojulun kiteben. 10. Note well, the order is usually that of the verb first, 
but the noun may be placed first for emphasis. The verb is put in the singular when it precedes its subject. Exercise 6a. Read aloud and translate. Correct by 6b. Ketebetu kiteben. Ketebet kiteben. Eketebe kiteben. Me borobe rojulen. Eketebe rojulun kiteben. Koro e rojulun kiteben. Me koro et kiteben. Eme borobete rojulen. Exercise 6b. To Arabic. Afterwards, correcting by 6a. 1. I wrote a book. 2. She wrote a book. 3. Has he written a book? 4. He has not struck a man. 5. Did a man write a book? 6. A man read a book. 7. She did not read a book. 8. Didst thou not strike a man? Self-test 6. 1. How can the fatha become a long vowel? 2. What is a tanween fatha? And what letter always accompanies it with the masculine noun? 3. In what case is a noun which has a tanween fatha? Lesson 7. 1. Let us classify the characters met with and a few others. Name. Alif. Initial alif. Medial alif. Final alif. Separate alif. Power. A. Name. Ba. Initial ba. Medial ba. Final ba. Separate ba. Power. B. Name. Ta. Initial te, medial te, final te, separate te, power t, name, jeem, initial jeem, medial jeem, final jeem, separate jeem, power j, name, ha, initial ha, medial ha, final ha, separate ha, power h, name, Kho, uh. Initial kho, uh. Medial kho, uh. Final kho, uh. Separate kho, uh. Power kh. Name ra, uh. Initial ra, uh. Medial ra, uh. Final ra, uh. Separate ra, uh. Power r. Name dwad. Initial dwad. Medial dwad. Final dwad. Separate board. Power. B. Name. Qaf. Initial Qaf. Medial Qaf. Final Qaf. Separate Qaf. Power. Q. Name. Kaf. Initial Kaf. Medial Kaf. Final Kaf. Separate Kaf. Power. K. Name. Lamb. Initial Lamb. Medial Lamb. Final Lamb. Separate Lamb. Power l name meme initial meme medial meme final meme separate meme power m ha or ha is a heavy h from the back of the mouth kha is the ch in loch it may be practiced with an educated scotchman two what vowels have we used? A. We have used the only three short vowels there are. Fetha with a sound as in patch. Kasra with i sound as in tin. Lomme with u sound as in bush. B. We have only used one of the three long vowels, namely the fatha lengthened by an alif, as in a book, kitab. 3. We have used the only three tanweens there are, 
tanween bomme the un sound tanween fetha the n sound note the alif here tanween kesra the in sound four the arabic numerals from one to ten may be easily learnt observe that the tens figure is placed to the left of the unit figure as in english vocabulary seven one qitalun battle or fighting qitalun two kitabun book kitabun book accusative kitaben three ekele to eat he ate ekele malikun king malikun four uklun food uklun qalamun pen qalamun five qatale to kill he killed qatale jamalun camel jamalun six rajulun a man rajulun rajulen a man accusative rajulen seven borabe to strike he struck borabe eight ketebe to write he wrote ketebe nine rokibe to ride he rode rokibe ten qoraa to read he read qoraa exercise seven a a test paper to be returned translate one he struck a camel two did she read a book three hast thou masculine written a book four thou feminine hast not written a book five have i not written six a man read a book seven did she kill a man eight didst thou masculine ride nine thou feminine hast struck a man ten have i not eaten eleven have you ridden a camel twelve i have not ridden a camel b practice writing transliterate and then translate ekele rajulun qatalat rajulan darabe rajulun jamalan aqatala rajulun rajulan adrabat rajulan ama qara'tu kitaban qatala malikun jamalan arakibtu jamalan aqra'ta kitaban lesson eight definite article one has arabic an article yes the definite article only which has no number gender or case in itself because it is a part of the noun to which it is prefixed it is a particle composed of an alif and a lam two give an example rajulun a man rajulun aw rajulu the man aw rajulu three but the article has introduced three changes what are they first the tanween bomme has disappeared it always does for it cannot exist with the article prefixed since the tanween since the tanween marks the indefinite second the lamb has dropped its sound but not its form third it has introduced a new sign shedde like a small w only written obliquely it is the sign of tashdeed called shedde four what is tashdeed it is the act of doubling the pronunciation of the letter over which this sign is placed whether in a verb or a noun is called tashdeed 
but the sign is called a shadde. 5. How does this happen? In this way, the shadde equals a sukun plus a vowel. That is, the sukun of the first of the two letters and the vowel of the second coalesce together. In El Rajulu, the lamb of Alif Lam assimilates itself, first of all to the Ra, and then secondly, we think of it and pronounce it as Aur Rajulu. Finally, the two R's coalesce and we write it Aur Rajulu, leaving the lamb standing in writing but marking the pronunciation by Shadde. Be sure to grasp this point. 6. Do these three changes always take place when the article is prefixed, namely, first, the dropping of the tanween, second, the dropping of the sound of the lamb, and third, writing of the shedde? No. Only the first always takes place, whilst the second and third only occur before one half of the Arabic letters. 7. How many letters has the Arabic alphabet? It has 28, so that the doubling shedda will be required over 14 of them when prefixing the article. The other fourteen have a sukun upon the lamb. Thus, El Kitab, the book, El Kitab. 8. What are the fourteen which receive a shadde but no sukun called solar letters? The terminating fourteen are called lunar letters. Their names will be given later. 9. What solar letters do we already know? Lam, Bwad, Ra, Te. 10. What new word is this? Shamsun. It is the Arabic word for sun and contains two new letters and three new forms. It gives its name to the solar letters for the curious reason that the first letter of Shams happens to be of that class. 11. What are the first and last letters in Shamsun, Sun, Sheen and Seen, of which the full forms are Name, Seen, Initial Seen, Medial Seen, Final scene, separate scene, power, s, name, sheen, initial sheen, medial sheen, final sheen, separate sheen, power, sh. 12. What is the middle letter in this word sun? Recapitulate the various forms of the meme. See Lesson 7. Name meme initial meme medial meme final meme separate meme power m 13 give examples of words containing the meme qalamun a pen qalamun maktabun an office study maktabun jamalun camel jamalun 14. Learn the word for head. Ra'sun. The hamza is silenced by sukun, but that does not make the vowel long as in ra. Also learn the verb to break. Kesera. He broke. Exercise 8a. Read aloud and translate, covering up the English. 1. Shamsun. Two, Eshemsu. Three, Rotsun. 
Four, Al Rasu. Five, Al Shamsu Dorabet Rojulen. Six, Al Dorabet Rotsen. Seven, La Ma Dorabet Rotsen. Eight, Al Kesarte Kolemen. Nine, Al Rojulun Uklen. Ten, Al Kesartul Koleme. Eleven, La Ma Kesartel Koleme. Twelve, Borobe Rojulu Rotsen. Thirteen, A Kesar Rojulu Kolemen Bil Mektebi. Fourteen, La La Ma Kesarol Koleme. Fifteen, Borobe Rojulun Gemelen. Exercise eight B. Translate to Arabic. One, a son. Two, the son. Three, a head. Four, the head. Five, the son feminine struck a man. Six, did it feminine strike a head? Seven, no, it did not strike a head. Eight, hast thou broken a pen? Nine, a man ate food or an eating that is much. 10. Have I broken the pen? 11. No, thou hast not broken the pen. 12. The man struck a head. 13. Did the man break a pen at in the office? 14. No, he did not break the pen. 15. A man struck a camel. Self-test 8. 1. What is a shadda? 2. What change invariably accompanies the prefixing of the article to any noun? 3. How is the article prefixed to a word beginning with a solar letter? 4. Where is the tens figure in 12? In what language is there a similar practice? Note well. Please observe the following rules. 1. Answer all home exercises in writing. 2. Constantly revise. Lesson 9. 1. How many letters are there in the Arabic alphabet? 28. 2. How many of them are consonants? That is, letters which must be accompanied by a vowel in order to be pronounced. All of them. Three of them, however, are sometimes used as letters of prolongation. 3. Which are the three letters of prolongation? That is, which prolong vowels, making a short vowel into a long one? The first one and the last two of the alphabet. Name. Alif. Initial alif. Medial alif. Final alif. Separate alif. Name. Well. Initial well. Medial well. Final well. Separate well. Name. Ye. Yeah. Initial ye. Yeah. Medial ye. Yeah. Final ye. Yeah. Separate ye. Yeah. Four. Why are these two letters, well and ye, yeah, easy ones to remember and to distinguish? Because the well has practically one form only. Well, it is like a large bomb, whilst the ye yeah is the only letter with two diacritic points written below it. Pronounce the name well like ow in house 5 are there only three vowels in arabic there are two diphthongs one being a formed by fetha and ya and the other au formed by fetha and wow thus a like ai in paid and au like au in house a diphthong requires a sukun over the letter of prolongation. 6. 
give examples of these diphthongs siphon a sword siphon since ye follows the heterogeneous fatha thawrun a bull thawrun since well follows the heterogeneous fatha seven which are the only three short vowel sounds possible in arabic what letters may they accompany fatha e may accompany alif to make long e dhamma u may accompany well to make long u and kasra i may accompany ya to make long e then there are the two diphthongs mentioned eight why are these three letters sometimes called letters of prolongation because they are used to prolong the sound of the vowel attached to the immediately preceding consonant nine examples be while be bu while bu bi while bi and the two diphthongs be and bau ten do these three letters of prolongation lengthen any preceding vowel no each prolongs only the vowel that is homogeneous akin to it alif only lengthens is homogeneous to fatha wow only lengthens is homogeneous to lomme ye only lengthens is homogeneous to kesra eleven learn these words rasulun apostle or messenger rasulun mursalun missionary mursalun li joined to the next word to li bi by bi bi by me bi li to me li exercise 9a to english 1 ketebe rajulun li 2 rokibe rasulun 3 ketebe mursalun kitaben 4 a rokibe rasulu 5 ma rokibe rasulu 6 aketabtil kitaba bi qalamin exercise 9b to arabic one a man wrote to me two an apostle rode three a missionary wrote a book four did the apostle messenger ride five the apostle messenger did not ride six didst thou feminine write the book with a pen lesson ten solar and lunar letters one into what two equal classes are arabic letters divided the solars and the lunars revise eight eight to ten two why are they so named c eight ten only because the first letter in shamsun sun happens to be a solar letter whilst in the other class falls the first letter for moon qomerun three in what way is the article prefixed to words beginning with a solar letter the sound of the lamb of the l coalesces into the sound of the solar letter c eight five the sun eshemsu eshemsu the sun eshemsu sun shemsun shemsun sun shemsun four how do we prefix the article to words beginning with a lunar letter by giving the article its full value that is the lamb takes a sukun the moon 
El Qameru. El Qameru. The moon. El Qameru. Moon. Qamerun. Qamerun. Moon. Qamerun. Five. Is there any reason for this different way of prefixing the article to the lunar letter? Yes. The lunar letters are of such a nature, that is to say, they require such a shaping of the channel of utterance that the enunciation of the lamb in the article is helpful in readjusting the organs of utterance in preparation for the lunar letters. Thus, el qameru is easy, but el shemsu is never found, while eshemsu is easier to pronounce. 6. What is the other reason for this difference in prefixing the article to solars and lunars? That is, what about the lingual solars? The lamb is a lingual, and therefore it easily coalesces with its fellow tongue-formed letters. Bwad, fwad, sheen, seen, etc and with its allied dental or teeth-formed letters, the, te, etc. Note that this th is the sharp th of the word think or thousand, which is sometimes lisped, making it more like s. The sword is a very strong s, almost like s. It gives a broad sound to its vowel, as wad does. On the other hand, the lingual lamb cannot coalesce with lunars, for they consist of gutturals, labials, and palatals, and the shaping of the channel of utterance by throat, lips, and palate forbids such coalescence. 7. What is the new letter in seif? sword it is the fair uh, and corresponds to our f eight what letter is the fair uh, like in form somewhat like the qaf which however is more curved name fair uh, initial fair uh, medial fair uh, final fair uh, separate fair uh. name qaf initial qaf Medial cough, final cough, separate cough. 9. In how many ways can the letter ye be used? First, as a letter of prolongation following its homogeneous vowel, kasra, b by me, b, li to me, li. Second, to form a diphthong after a heterogeneous vowel with the ye takes a sukun, saifun, a sword, saifun. Ten, what is another way in which a ye is used? Third, at the end of a word, if it is preceded by a fetha, it is without dots and being pronounced exactly like an alif is called alif maqsura which means shortened alif to be explained in lesson 17 ila to unto ila 11 learn the verb qatala he killed and conjugate it like dorabe exercise 10a transliterate Translate and read aloud. One, Eshemsu, Eshemsu, the sun, Eshemsu. Two, El Rosulu, El Rosulu, the apostle, El Rosulu. Three, El Rojulu, El Rojulu, the man, El Rojulu. Four, El Bebu, El Bebu. The gate, El Bebu. Five, El Qalemu, El Qalemu. The pen, El Qalemu. Six, El Weroku, 
al waraqu the paper al waraqu 7 al qitalu al qitalu the fighting al qitalu 8 al mursalu al mursalu the missionary al mursalu 9 at tajiru at tajiru the trader merchant at tajiru 10 as saifu as saifu the sword as saifu note the accent falls upon the long vowel if one is present exercise 10b translate the english of exercise 10a to arabic self test 10 on papers 9 and 10 1 which are the letters of prolongation 2 why are they so named 3 what vowels are homogeneous to alif to well and to ya 4 place the article below a word beginning a with a solar and b with a lunar letter end of lessons 6 to 10 from a practical grammar of written arabic in 200 lessons with exercises test papers and reading book by arthur t upson abdul fadi al qahirani read by abu jalal recorded in oxford england Lessons 11 to 15 from Arabic Simplified, a practical grammar of written Arabic in 200 lessons with exercises, test papers and reading book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al Qahirani, read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. By Arthur T. Upson. Lesson 11. Wasle. 1. What is the Arabic for a youth? Rulemun. Rulemun. A youth. Rulemun. 2. What is this new letter translated by G-H? It is Rain, a letter awkward in form and in pronunciation, as it is allied to another of the same form without its diacritic point. We will give them together. Power. Ah. Ah. Name. Ain. Initial. Initial ain, medial, medial ain, final, final ain, isolated ain, power r or r, name rain, initial rain, medial rain, final rain, isolated rain. Three, what is the sound of the rain? It represents a gargling sound from the throat, similar to that made by an R roughly and well down in the throat. It must not be connected with the English G, being just a gargle. The Ain can really only be learnt from a Jew or Arab, but you may try to emit a guttural R from the bottom of the throat while lightly holding the apple of the throat by the fingers students within reach of the orient must diligently practice phonetics with the assistance of an educated native friend four write in arabic a man struck a youth Borobe Rojulun Rulemen. 5. 
Why has Ghulamun become Ghulamen? Because it is the direct object of the verb, and so its sign is a tanween fatha. N. See lesson six five six. Six. Before we can write the man struck the youth, that is, before we prefix the Arabic article to a word, we must note that ra is a solar and rain a lunar. We then write the sentence bara bal rajulul ghulama. Bara bal rajulul ghulama. The man struck the youth. Bara bal rajulul ghulama. Seven. Why has ghulamen, youth in four above, lost its tanween fatha and become al ghulama? Because the tanween cannot exist with the definite article, since it denotes the indefinite. What is the sign, wasle, over the alif in six above? It is the wasle. That is a sign written above an alif, when the alif commences a word only, to show that in that place the alif has no vowel of its own and that for its pronunciation it takes the last vowel of the preceding word, as in the transliteration of the following exercise, 11a. If the commencing L begins a sentence, it is obvious that nothing precedes it. Then it has no wasle, but a simple fatha only. 9. What does the word wasle mean? Wasle is colloquial for wasletun, a word meaning a link, for it links the vowel preceding it to the letter following. This is seen in the exercise. We avoided it in exercise 9a. Exercise 11a to English 1. Borobe Rajulun Rulamen 2. Borobe Rajulul Rulame 3. Ecotele Thauru Rajulen 4. Ecotele Thauru Rajule 5. Cotele Rajulu Gemelen 6. Me Cotele Rajulul Gemele Exercise 11b to Arabic 1. A man struck a youth. 2. The man struck the youth. 3. Did the bull kill a man? 4. Did the bull kill the man? 5. The man killed a camel. 6. The man did not kill the camel self test 11 1 what is a wasle 2 give all the four forms of the letters ain and rain lesson 12 hamza 1 what is the arabic for earth erbun erbun earth erbun 2 but what is the new sign? Hamze. The Hamze. 3. What is the use of the Hamze? It is really the first letter of the alphabet. For when we say that Alif is the first letter, we mean an Alif bearing a Hamze. Needless to say, it is a consonant. For Arabic vowel marks are not reckoned as letters. 4. When have we seen that the alif can be used as a vowel? When it is simply a letter of prolongation and stands without a hamza. Thus, a book, kitabun, kitabun, a book, kitabun. 5. But 
does not the very fact that a vowel is attached to the letter alif show that the alif there is used as a consonant and is not the hamza superfluous in that case yes the hamza is superfluous if its object is merely to show that the alif is a consonant thus the article l is the same as l and the hamza though not written is to be understood it is customary not to write it when beginning a sentence six what does this signify that every alif with a vowel with fetha or dhamma or kasra is an alif hamza whether the hamza is given or no seven is the hamza found only with the alif no it can accompany the three letters which the arabs call weak namely alif wow yeah but these letters must be usually within a word except in the case of an alif which can receive it when beginning a word eight can we then say that the hamza supports these three weak letters no it is better to say that the three weak letters are used to support the strong hamza nine in what way is the hamza a consonant it can take a vowel and can play the part of a consonant in shaping by a movement within the throat the channel of utterance for the flow of the vowel sound we may have e eh, u i ten where is the hamza placed usually between the vowel sign and its letter but sometimes when used with a kasra it can stand over the letter eleven how can we understand the use of the hamza by writing a nice house phonetically as a nice house and an ice house as an ice house noticing the hiatus or breathing between an and ice this breath is the consonant hamza compare the bad pronunciation of mr owen by uneducated people they say mr rowan whereas the educated make a breathing pause and say mr owen twelve since the verb generally precedes its subject and the feminine singular ends in sukun what happens before the sukun of the noun seeing that two sukuns cannot occur together the sukun is replaced by a kasra in most cases thus she struck the book borabet il kitab not borabet ul kitab this is distinguishable from second feminine singular by the sukun borabt il kitab the preposition min in such a case replaces its sukun by fatha but this is exceptional thus minaw rajuli from the man exercise 12a to english 1 borabati rajule 2 ashamsu dorabati rajule 3 katabtu min al bayti 4 dorabati ash-shamsu al kitab 5 adorabati ash-shamsu al ghulam 6 ama dorabati al ghulam seven ma katabat al kitab exercise twelve b to arabic one she struck the man two the son feminine struck the man three i wrote from the house four the son struck the boot verb first five did the son strike the youth six did she it not strike the youth seven she did not write the book lesson thirteen hemzeh one
commence by revising lesson twelve on the hemze two where is it and where only is it that the hamza sometimes stands quite alone without any support from a vowel letter when it is last in the word and then it is written in the line of letters examples advent maji un maji un advent maji un apart juz un juz un apart juz un a thing shay un shay un a thing shay un beginning bed un bed un beginning bed un the coming el maji u el maji u the coming el maji u the part el juz u el juz u the part el juz u the thing as shay u as shay u the thing as shay u the beginning el bed u el bed u the beginning el bed u three can the hamza then take the tanween when it is thus found at the end of a word yes as in the above for examples to the left where it has a tanween womme if these words are used in the accusative case they take the tanween fetha over the alif and in the genitive case tanween kasra on prefixing the definite article el this tanween is replaced by the single short vowel like any other noun as in the four examples on the right four can the hamza take any one of the three short vowels yes we get various results first using the alif as a prop u sound a sound and e sound second with wow or ya yeah, as a prop u sound e sound third after an alif in certain words such as sohra e sohra e desert sohra e the plural of which is the word sohara sohara deserts sohara note the method of writing this hamza it is not written above the alif but after it midway up because this alif is long a long vowel fourth alone at the end of a word un sound in sound no fatha here five give other examples of the use of the hamza Be'use. Be'ise. Se'ele. Bi'se. Ro'sun. Head. Ro'sun. Echode. He took. Echode. Pronounce these aloud, learning the meanings of two only. Six. But why has the medial ye in four second and five no points? because it always drops its dots when it becomes a prop for the hamza to sit upon in fact the arabic grammarians call it the seat kursi for the hamza seven may the hamza and its vowel be followed by a letter of prolongation certainly here are two examples a after hamza with bomma take wow Mas'ulun, mas'ulun, responsible, mas'ulun. B. After a hamza with kasra, take ya, la'im, base, adjective. La'imun, la'imun, base, la'imun. It may be noted here that adjectives are reckoned as nouns and given tanween. 8. Why did we omit Hamza with Fatha? We will show this separately. Hamza with Fatha is of course written over an alif. Then what will be the homogeneous letter of prolongation? 
It will be Elif. But can I write two Elifs together? Yes. Very occasionally. Such may be found in special words. But the only thing we are concerned with just now is that we usually write one Elif over the other without the Hamza sign, or, in a few cases, with the Hamza after this double Alif. 9. How is it written, and what is it called? It is called a Medde, a word which means prolongation. It is written with a slightly curved slope, thus, Elif Medde. Examples Al Quran, Quran, Al Quran, Al Quran, Quran, Al Quran. Be careful to pronounce it thus Al Quran. He believed. Amen. Amen. He believed. Amen. Ten. Is the Hamza ever marked in English books? Yes, sometimes in Great Britain by a short hyphen, as in the words reinforce, reappear, and in America by the use of the diaresis. Thus, reinforce, reappear. Exercise 13a to English 1. Amana bil Qur'ani 2. ما آمن بمجيء المسيح 3. آمن بالله 4. آمنت بمجيء المسيح 5. أما آمنت بالمسيح 6. من البدء 7. في البدء 8. الإيمان بالمسيح 9. هل آمنت بالله 10. جزء من القرآن 11. ما آمنت بشيء 12. من البدء آمنت بالمسيح Note that B means by or in. In English we say believe in faith in by God Iman Billahi Imanun Billahi Imanun Billahi Faith in by God Imanun Billahi Faith in Christ the Messiah Imanun Bil Masihi Imanun Bil Masihi Faith in Christ the Messiah Imanun bil Masihi. Exercise 13b to Arabic. 1. He believed in the Quran. 2. He did not believe in the advent of Christ. Note that maji here equals the coming of. The absence of the article will be explained in lesson 19. Endnote. 5. Hast thou not believed in Christ? 6. From the beginning. 7. In the beginning. 8. Faith in Christ. 9. Hast thou feminine believed in God? 10. A section juz of the Qur'an. 11. I believe believed in nothing. Literally, I did not believe in a thing. 12. From the beginning she believed in Christ. Exam paper 13. Send for correction with full address. A. To English. 1. Amanat bil Masihi. 2. Ketaba lil Rusuli. 3. Rajulun laimun. 4. No. Al Ghulamul laimu. 5. Akhadtu saifa min al Rajuli. 6. Kesarul Babe. 5. To Arabic. 1. The sun struck the man. 2. She did not write the book. 3. I did not believe in anything. 4. She took the sword from the man. 5. 
Did you not kill the camel? 6. Faith in God Lesson 14 Pronominal Affixes 1. How does Arabic differ from English in the use of forms for some personal pronouns? You, me, us, etc. Arabic has pronominal affixes to affix to words to which the pronouns may be united, such as prepositions, nouns, and verbs. 2. Give the five singular pronominal affixes for objective case, etc. Third person, him, who, who, him, who, her, 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 her. Second person, the masculine, ke, ke, the masculine, ke, the feminine, ki, ki, the feminine, ki. First person, me, masculine and feminine, e, e, me, masculine and feminine, e. Note well, these affixes must be read from right to left. 3. What new letter is this? The he, which has the sound of the ordinary English aspirate h. Power, h. Name, he. Initial, he. Medial, he. Final, he. Separate, he. 4. Give examples of the affixes when joined to the preposition to. Li. To me. Li. Li. To me. Li. To thee. Feminine. Leki. Leki. To thee. Feminine. Leki. To thee. Masculine. Leke. Leke. To thee. Masculine. Leke. To her. Lehe, lehe, to her, lehe, to him, lehu, lehu, to him, lehu. 5. What strikes one as curious here? That the lem only once keeps its kasra, to me, and in the other four forms takes a fatha. Note well. Read the forms in four from right to left, commencing with the third masculine. 6. How are these forms used? To supply the lack of the verb to have in Arabic, li, used as in the following examples, signifies permanent possession. There being no verb, it cannot govern in accusative. A. Lahu akhun, to him there is a brother, that is, he has a brother. Lahu akhun, lahu akhun, he has a brother, lahu akhun. B. Laha ukhtun, to her there is a sister, that is, she has a sister. Laha ukhtun, laha ukhtun. She has a sister. Lehe uchtun. C. Li ummun. To me, there is a mother. That is, I have a mother. Li ummun. Li ummun. I have a mother. Li ummun. D. Eli shayun. Have I a thing? That is, have I anything? Eli Shayun Eli Shayun Have I anything? Eli Shayun Note well, the square brackets denote that the words within them are not expressed in English. So in other lessons. 7. Can the lamb of possession be prefixed to nouns with Elif Lam? Yes, but the Alif is lost. Lil Emiri Ummun. The prince has a mother. 
للأمير أم للأمير أم The prince has a mother. 8. للأمير مدينة What case is مدينة? It is nominative, not accusative. Why is this? 9. What will turn these sentences into an interrogative form? Either of the interrogative particles, e or hel. 10. Mention one particle for making sentences negative. Me. Compare lesson 4 4. 11. Hel lil medinati babun. What case is bab? Why? Eleke shayun. What case is shayun? Why? Exercise 14a. 2 English. 1. Elehu echun. 2. Heli echun. 3. Me leke shayun. 4. Eleha shayun. 5. Hel leha uchtun. 6. Emeli ummun. 7. Hel ketabatil kitabe. 8. Hel ketabatil kitabe. 9. Elil emiri uchtun. 10. Hel lil medina di babun. Exercise 14b. Translate your English back to Arabic. Lesson 15. Affixes continued. 1. Transliterate the Arabic word Sultanun. Sultanun. Its meaning is emperor or king. 2. What two new letters are here introduced? The a strong T and noon which has an N sound. The is allied to a strong Z. Name Initial medial final separate power hard name wa initial wa medial wa final wa separate wa power wa strong name noon initial noon medial noon final noon separate noon power n note well to makes the fatha sound like or in tawny and wa is an explosive sound sometimes transliterated z h a with a circumflex it is much heavier than the simple zain 3 will not two of the forms of the noon the initial and the medial be confused with the initial and medial be no the diacritic point is above in the case of the noon and beneath in the case of the be medial be and initial be 4 we will now give the plural forms of the pronominal affixes beneath the corresponding singular forms. Singular third person. Him. Who. Plural. Whom. Them. Masculine. Whom. Whom. Them. Whom. Singular third person. Her. Her. Her, her, her. Plural, hunne, them, feminine. Hunne, hunne, them, feminine, hunne. Singular, second person. Ke, the, masculine. Ke, ke, the, masculine. Plural, 
Cum, you masculine. Cum, cum, you masculine. Cum. Singular second person. Ki, the feminine. Plural. Cunye, you feminine. Cunye, cunye, you feminine. Cunye. Singular first person. E, me, masculine and feminine. Plural. Ne, us. Ne, ne, us. Ne. Note well. Read from right to left and learn by heart. Five. What letter is always found in the third person pronominal affixes, both in the singular and in the plural? The hair. C fourteen two. Who? Hair. Hum. Hunya. Six. And what letter is inseparable from the second person pronominal affixes, both singular and plural? The kaf, ke, ki, kum, kunne. Seven. What is the case of these affixes? They are accusative if joined to a verb, and genitive if affixed to a noun or preposition. Examples of accusative: kesertuhu, I broke it. Kesertuhu, kesertuhu. I broke it. Kesertuhu. Borabet hair. She struck her. Borabet hair. Borabet hair. She struck her. Borabet hair. Examples of genitive. Sultanuna. Our Sultan. Sultanuna. Sultanuna. Our Sultan. Sultanuna. Ma'akum. With you. Ma'akum, ma'akum, with you, ma'akum. 8. But how is na genitive in sultanuna? Our sultan is the sultan of us. Compare rasuluhu, his apostle, and rasulullahi, the apostle of God, that is, God's apostle. Ismul Malik, the name of the king, that is the king's name. Abuhu, the father of him, that is his father. Explained in detail in lesson nineteen. Nine. But where are the nominative pronouns? These are in Arabic the real pronouns being subjects of sentences, etc. They are given detached, separate words, as nahnu, we, ana, I, etc. Details in Lesson 25. 10. Note well. The following words take alif kesra at the commencement of a sentence, but wasla when linked on to a preceding word. That wasle indicates that the preceding vowel is to be linked in pronunciation. Ibnun, son, ibnun, ibnun, son, ibnun. Ismun, name, ismun, ismun, name, ismun. Ibnetun, daughter, Ibnetun, Ibnetun, daughter, Ibnetun. Two masculine. Ithnani, Ithnani, two masculine. Ithnani. Ithnetani, two feminine. Ithnetani, Ithnetani, two feminine. Ithnetani. Imroetun. Woman or wife. Imroetun. Imroetun. Woman or wife. Imroetun. Note well, in our vocabularies and in many places, but not in full reading exercises, we may drop 
the grammatical tanween, un. We shall also, as soon as possible, dispense with transliteration. 11. Note that ebun, father, has not a wasleh. A missing wow is supplied before the pronominal affix. Ebuhe, her father. Ebuhe, Ebuhe, her father. Ebuhe. Ebuke, thy father. Ebuke, Ebuke, thy father. Ebuke. Twelve. Ibnun, when occurring in genealogies as Ahmad, son of Zaid, son of Omar, omits its alif. Thus, Ahmad ibn Zayd ibn Amr. Exercise 15a. 2 English. 1. Ama lahum mubnun. 2. Lanabnun. 3. Hallakunna ukhtun. 4. Ali ukhtun. 5. Laha abun wa ummun. 6. Hallakum malikun. 7. Lahum malikun wa amirun. 8. Lana sultanun. 9. Ismul maliki. 10. Ekelet ma'a ummiha. 11. Ekhodaha ma'ahu. 12. Halibnuki ma'aki. Exercise 15b. 2 Arabic. 1. Have they not a son? Whether not to them a son? 2. We have a son. To us there is a son. 3. Have you feminine a sister? 4. Have I a sister? To me is there a sister? 5. Has she? To her there is a father and mother. 6. Have you masculine a king? 7. They masculine have a king and a prince. 8. We have an emperor. 9. The king's name. 10. She ate with her mother. 11. He took her with him. 12. Is your son with you, feminine? Self-test 15. 1. Write out the singular and plural pronominal affixes. 2. What is the difference between the first letters of Eb and Ibn? End of lessons 11 to 15 from Arabic Simplified. A practical grammar of written Arabic in 200 lessons with exercises, test papers and reading book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al Qahirani. Read by Abu Jalal. Lessons 16 to 20 from Arabic Simplified. A Practical Grammar of Written Arabic in 200 Lessons with Exercises, Test Papers and Reading Book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al Qahirani. Recorded for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, Please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Arabic Simplified, a practical grammar of written Arabic in 200 lessons by Arthur T. Upson. Lesson 16. Revision of Characters. 1. Let us learn the whole alphabet in order. Also, vowels, signs, etc. Name. Elif Hamza Initial Initial Elif Medial Medial Elif Final Final Elif Detached Detached Elif Transliteration Apostrophe
name ba initial initial ba medial medial ba final final ba detached detached ba transliteration b name te initial te medial te final te detached te transliteration t the initial the medial the final the detached the transliteration th gem initial gem medial gem final gem detached gem transliteration j or g ha initial ha medial ha final ha detached ha transliteration h with a dot under it or double h kha initial kha medial kha final kha detached kha transliteration kh name del initial del medial del final del detached del transliteration d vel initial vel medial vel final vel detached vel transliteration dh ra initial ra medial ra final ra detached ra transliteration r zain initial zain medial zain final zain detached zain transliteration z scene initial scene medial scene final scene detached scene transliteration s sheen initial sheen medial sheen final sheen detached sheen transliteration sh sword initial sword medial sword final sword detached sword transliteration s with a dot under it or double s board initial board medial board final board detached board transliteration d with a dot under it or double d bot initial bot medial bot final bot detached bot transliteration t with a dot under it or double t what initial what medial what final what detached what transliteration z with a dot under it or z h ein initial ein medial ein final ein detached ein transliteration right facing apostrophe rein rein initial rein medial rein final rein detached rein transliteration gh or ghr fair initial fair medial fair final fair detached fair transliteration f goth initial goth medial goth final goth detached goth transliteration q kef initial kef medial kef final kef detached kef transliteration k lem initial lem medial lem final lem detached lem transliteration l meme initial meme medial meme final meme detached meme transliteration m noon initial noon medial noon final noon detached noon transliteration n he initial he medial he final he detached he transliteration h well initial well medial well final well detached well transliteration w yeah initial yeah medial yeah final yeah detached yeah transliteration y or i lem elif initial lem elif medial lem elif final lem elif 
detached lam alif. Transliteration l a with a circumflex la. Two. Give the vowels and diphthongs. Tanwin bomme un. Bomme u. Long u. Tanwin fetha n. Fetha e. Long e. Tanwin kasra in. Kasra e. Long e. E. Diphthongs a. O. Three. Other signs. Hemze, full powers of consonant. Uh, medde, one aleph written across. Eh. Wasla, for linking words. Shedde, for doubling or strengthening. Sukun, rest or silence, also called jezme. Four, the figures. واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة أحد عشرة اثنة عشرة ستة عشرة ثلاثة عشرة أربعة عشرة خمسة عشرة ستة عشرة سبعة عشرة ثمانية عشرة تسعة عشرة عشرون مئة مئة وواحد مئة واثنان five Note the curious fact that numbers run from left to right as in English. Compare 1917, 1921, 6. The numerical order and values of the alphabet, that is the use of the Arabic consonants as figures, will be found at the end of our course. It is withheld from the student at this stage to avoid distracting attention. But those who wish may compare the Hebrew names of the letters forming the subheadings of the 119th Psalm, English Bible, with this order of Arabic characters. Elif, Be, Jim, Del, He, Wow, Zain, He, Ta, Ye. 7. Which are the six letters which cannot be joined to the letters following them? Initial, separate, alif, medial, final, alif. Initial, separate, del, medial, final, del. Initial, separate, del, medial, final, del. Initial, separate, ra, medial, final, ra. Initial, separate, zain, medial, final, zain. Initial, separate, well, Medial final well. To these we may add the double letters lam alif, which always has the alif written athwart the lam. La. 8. Vocabulary 16. Memorize carefully. Day. Yomun. Yomun. Day. Yomun. Abode. Darun. Darun, abode, darun. Religion or judgment. Dinun, dinun. Religion or judgment. Dinun. Islam. El Islamu, el Islamu. Islam, el Islamu. Gold. Dehebun, dehebun. Gold, dehebun. Peace. Salamun, Salamun, peace, Salamun. Vizier, that is, minister. Wazirun, Wazirun, vizier, that is, minister. Wazirun. Egypt, Misru, Misru. Egypt, Misru. Letter, epistle. Risalatun, Risalatun. Letter, epistle, reselatun. Bread, khubzun, khubzun. Bread, khubzun. Lesson 17. Ta marbuta and alif maqsura. 1. Does this include all forms of the letters? No, there are special forms of two letters, which in its final form is written final he. 
Now this letter is generally the sign of the feminine gender and can be affixed to very many of the masculine nouns. Not quite all, because while rajul is man, a separate word, imra'e, is used for woman. 2. How is it shown that this final he is the feminine ending? It takes the two dots of the te, thus ibnatun, daughter, but in speaking or in newspaper reading, this tanween is always dropped, as it is only a case ending, and the word is pronounced ibn. Similarly, madinatun, medina, a city. For example, al-medina, city where Muhammad was buried. Compare also qabilatun, qabila, a tribe. Note, the common word for girl, also daughter, is bintun, a corruption of the above ibnatun. 3. But is not the T sound sometimes heard? Yes. When the word is the antecedent of the construct state, then the T is sounded, explained in 1910. The daughter of the judge. Ibnatul Qadi. Ibnatul Qadi, the daughter of the judge. Ibnatul Qadi, the prophet's city. Madinatun Nabi, Madinatun Nabi, the prophet's city. Madinatun Nabi, the tribe of Quraysh. Qabila to Quraysh, Qabila to Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh. Qabila to Quraysh. The Prophet's word, Kalimatun Nabi, Kalimatun Nabi, the Prophet's word, Kalimatun Nabi, the Prophet's letter, epistle, message, Risalatun Nabi, Risalatun Nabi, the Prophet's letter, epistle, message, Risalatun Nabi, the chapter of the cow, Suratul Baqara. Suratul Baqarah, the chapter of the cow, Suratul Baqarah. 4. How do we distinguish this use of the T from the ordinary Ta? We call this Ta Marbuta, which means tied up Ta. 5. What is the other letter that has a distinct form under a special name? The Ya which when written without its dots does not make the long e in other words is not homogeneous to the kasra but to our surprise acts as a prolongation of the fatha six but is not that the work of alif exactly so this is a second alif the first alif can be called alif memdudah extended alif this comes from a root meaning to stretch out compare medde from the same root 1511 the ya without dots is then called alif maqsura shortened alif and is only used at the end of nouns 7 give examples of alif maqsura guidance Huden, Huden, guidance, Huden, the guidance, El Hude, El Hude, the guidance, El Hude, fever, El Humma, El Humma, fever, El Humma, a youth, lad, Feten, Feten, a youth, lad, Feten. When interrogative meta meta when interrogative meta two towards ile ile two towards ile upon on ala ala upon on ala eight 
What characteristic is common to ta marbuta and alif maqsura? Both are used at the ends of words and both are invariably preceded by a fatha. 9. Is the fatha sometimes written upright? Yes. This is the mark which shows that an alif of prolongation is to be pronounced though not written it is quite common in al-qur'an which had not originally the vowels written to fix the pronunciation the vowel marks were added later and the upright fatha shown where the long fatha was to be pronounced in the absence of the alif it is not now much used the following are its chief examples the compassionate one al rahman al rahman the compassionate one al rahman the heavens as samawat as samawat the heavens as samawat that those demonstrative dhalika ulaika dhalika ulaika that those demonstrative dhalika ulaika this these demonstrative ha dha ha ulai ha dha ha ulai this these demonstrative ha dha ha ulai but but he lakin lakinahu lakin lakinahu but but he lakin lakinahu life quran spelling hayatun hayatun life quran spelling hayatun life modern spelling hayatun hayatun life modern spelling hayatun prayer quran spelling salatun salatun prayer quran spelling salatun prayer modern spelling salatun salatun prayer modern spelling salatun exercise 17a 1 an ibrta al fata ala al jabali 2 na'am nadartuhu 3 هل أخذ كتابه معه؟ four نعم أخذه ركب جملا five ما اسم ذلك الفتى؟ six اسمه زيد بن محمد بن أحمد seven ألي هذا الغلام أب وأم eight نعم له أب وأم وأخ وأخت Exercise 17b. Did you see the lad on the mountain? 2. Yes, I saw him. 3. Did he take his book with him? 4. Yes, he took it and rode, mounted, a camel. 5. What is that lad's name? 6. His name is Zayd, the son of Muhammad Ahmed. Has this young man a father and mother? 8. Yes, he has a father, mother, brother and sister. Lesson 18. Dual and Plural. 1. Return to the verb forms of the past tense and learn the dual and plural. Singular. He struck. Borabe. She struck. Borabet. Thou struckest. Masculine. Borabte. Thou struckest feminine. Borabti. I struck. Borabtu. Dual, they two struck, borabe. They two feminine struck, borabete. You two struck, borabtume. Plural, they struck, borabu. They struck feminine, borabne. You struck masculine, borabtum. You struck feminine, borabtunya. We struck, borabne. Two. What have we here in these plural and dual forms? Eight new person forms, that is, endings to distinguish the persons included in the verb. 
namely e te they two to me you two u they masculine ne they feminine tum you tunya you feminine ne we masculine and feminine three we observe here that arabic has three numbers singular for one dual for two and plural for more than two note that there is no dual for the first person the plural being used write and memorize kesera to break kesera kesera to break kesera he broke kesera kesera he broke kesera she broke keserot keserot she broke keserot thou masculine didst break keserte keserte thou masculine didst break keserte thou feminine didst break keserti keserti thou feminine didst break keserti i broke kesertu kesertu i broke kesertu they too masculine broke kesera kesera they too masculine broke kesera they too feminine broke keserote keserote they too feminine broke keserote you too broke kesertume kesertume you too broke kesertume they masculine broke keseru keseru they masculine broke keseru they feminine broke keserne keserne they feminine broke keserne you masculine broke kesertum kesertum you masculine broke kesertum you feminine broke kesertunya kesertunya you feminine broke kesertunya we broke kesarna kesarna we broke kesarna five is the alif at the end of borabu pronounced no it is not pronounced its only function seems to be to show the absence of any affixed pronoun for example when the pronoun her is affixed as in they struck her the alif is omitted kesaruhu borabuki borabuhe exercise 18a 1 hal akhadtum sayfakum ma'akum na'am akhadnahu 2 adrabu al-jamala bis-sayf na'am darabuhu wa qataluhu 3 wa hal ibnuka dhahaba ma'ahum na'am dhahaba ma'ahum ila madinati 4 ila madinatika na'am ila madinati Five. Masmuhu ismubni ahmedu. Six. Hel echodu khubzen ma'ahum. Echoduhu wa ekaluhu. Exercise 18b. One. Did you, plural, take your sword with you? Yes, we took it. Two. Did they strike the camel with the sword? Yes, they struck it and killed it. Three. And did your son go with them? Yes, he went with them to my town. 4. To your town? Yes, to my town. 5. What is his name? My son's name is Ahmed. 6. Did they take bread with them? They took it and ate it. Two students. 1. It has come to my knowledge that one or two students have misunderstood the instructions and are translating from Arabic to English only. This is a very serious error, that is, to discard one half of every exercise, and that the most important half. Please let it be understood that every exercise must be answered in full, both exercise A and exercise B. 2. Note well. Thoroughly master lesson 19 as it deals with a characteristic Arabic idiom of fundamental importance, ATU. Lesson 19. Nouns in Construction. 1. 
what is one of the chief peculiarities of arabic in common with other semitic languages the way in which it places two nouns side by side in order to express such ideas as possession material cause effect etc two give an example of this simple juxtaposition so as to express possession how will the single idea of possession in reference to the two nouns sword and man be formed in arabic how is the sword of the man written for instance in arabic say for rogeli the sword of the man the man's sword say for rogeli say for rogeli the man's sword say for rogeli three what have we here let us examine carefully sword alone is seifun but the first word has lost its tenween bomme therefore here it is not indefinite that is it has become defined for what is said to have happened to this first noun sword it is said to be annexed since it is joined to the second noun which is called the one annexed to it cannot stand independently alone it expresses nothing completely it can only be explained as generally requiring as in this case our english word of so the first noun can be translated by the sword of but we do not write the article why not because the first noun safe is considered to be sufficiently defined by its juxtaposition to al rajul which is then put in the genitive as governed by of five what term is employed to express the dependent state of the first of the two nouns thus linked together a state which requires the english word of to be supplied to convey the sense of incompleteness entailed by the form of the first noun the first noun is said to be in the construct state form or in a state of construction as it is built into its second noun six why has rajulin in seifu rajulin a tanween kasra rajulin and not a tanween bomme because it is in the genitive case governed by of understood or it may be said to be in possessive case a man's sword seven a book's name ismu kitabin ismu kitabin a book's name ismu kitabin everything kullu shay'in kullu shay'in everything in eight some arabic grammarians give the name oblique case to every noun not directly nominative or accusative so that they call the genitive case the dative case the ablative case oblique cases nine then how many cases shall we say there are in arabic three cases nominative is the subject of the verb accusative is the direct object of a transitive verb genitive or oblique is governed by of or other prepositions etc or possessive ten how do we speak of the two nouns in construction the first one is the antecedent and the second the consequent note well the antecedent in ordinary cases does not need the definite article c four eleven does the consequent more often than not have the definite article it may do so but only if it is already definite before being put into the construct state in the phrase ahlul kitabi the people of the book el kitab was originally definite therefore its only change as a consequent 
is that it replaces nominative case by oblique case, as shown by the Kesra. 12. Examples The people of the house. Ahlul Bayti. Ahlul Bayti. The people of the house. Ahlul Bayti. The man's family. Ahlul Rajali. Ahlul Rajali. The man's family. Ahlul Rajali. The king's children. Awladul Maliki. Awladul Maliki. The king's children. Awladul Maliki. The origin of the universe. Aslul Kauni. Aslul Kauni. The origin of the universe. Aslul Kauni. 13. Suppose the consequent is a proper noun. It will take no article unless it be one of those few names already possessing the article, as al hasan Real Arabic names are often nunated as Muhammadun, then Kitabu Muhammadin. Foreign names, not so. Kitabu Ibrahim. Lesson 52.8 Ahlu Misra, the people of Egypt. For a Celtic example, see Bed Gelert, that is Gelert's grave. 14. Does the antecedent always take Bomma? Its vowel depends, of course, upon its case, that is, upon its place in the sentence. They broke the man's pen. Kasaru Qalamel Rajuli. They broke the man's pen. Kasaru Qalamel Rajuli. The sun struck the man's head. Borabati Shamsu Rotsel Rajuli. The sun struck the man's head. Borabati Shamsu Rotsel Rajuli. I have seen Mount Hermon. Nadortu Jebele Shaykhi. Nadortu Jebele Shaykhi. I have seen Mount Hermon. Nadortu Jebele Shaykhi. We wrote with your pen. Getebne bi Kolemike. Ketebne bi Kolemike. We wrote with your pen. Ketebne bi Kolemike. Did the sun strike his head? Hel Borabati Shemsu Rotsehu? Hel Borabati Shemsu Rotsehu? Did the sun strike his head? Hel Borabati Shemsu Rotsehu? King of the kings and lord of the lords. Malikul Muluki wa Rabbul Erbabi. Malikul Muluki wa Rabbul Erbabi. King of the kings and lord of the lords. Malikul Muluki wa Rabbul Erbabi. 15. May the consequent of one noun be at the same time the antecedent of another? Certainly. Here are four examples. One of the king's children. Ahadu awlad al Maliki. Ahadu awlad al Maliki. One of the king's children. Ahadu awlad al Maliki. I struck one of the king's children. Torabtu ahada awlad al Maliki. Torabtu ahada awlad al Maliki. I struck one of the king's children. Torabtu ahada awlad al Maliki. I wrote to one of the king's children. Katabtu ila ahadi awlad al Maliki. كتبت إلى أحد أولاد الملك. I wrote to one of the king's children. كتبت إلى أحد أولاد الملك. We went to the house of the tribe's chief. ذهبنا إلى بيت شيخ القبيلة. ذهبنا إلى بيت شيخ القبيلة. We went to the house of the tribe's chief. ذهبنا إلى بيت شيخ القبيلة. Six. What common error must the student avoid? That of thinking English, resulting in the prefixing of the article to the antecedent of a noun in construction. Think not of the name of a man, but of a man's name. Ismu Rajulin. Ismu Rajulin. A man's name. Ismu Rajulin. 17. Note the names of mountains, etc., in Wales, Pennines, etc. In Welsh, E is the same as L. Compare Betosicoid, Bolchidilfen, Penigant, etc. Exercise 19a. Two English. One, Yawmuddini. Two, Darul Islami. Three, Ibn Sultani. 
4. Sultanu Misra. 5. Dhahab al Waziri. 6. Deen al Islami. 7. A Akhadta Qalam al Waziri. 8. A Akalta Khubaz al Maliki. 9. La Ma Akaltuhu. 10. Risala al Maliki. 11. هل ذهبت إلى دار الإسلام؟ 12. ذهبت إلى جبل الشيخ. Exercise 19b. 2. Arabic. 1. The Day of Judgment. 2. The Abode of Peace. Dar es Salaam. East Africa. 3. The Emperor's Son. 4. The Sultan of Egypt. 5. The gold of the vizier, the vizier's gold. 6. The religion of Islam, Muhammadanism. 7. Hast thou masculine taken the vizier's pen? 8. Hast thou masculine eaten the king's bread? 9. No, I have not eaten it. 10. The king's letter. 11. Did you go to Dar es Salaam? 12. I went to the sheikh's mountain, Hermon. Note well, memorize the examples found in this lesson if possible. It is to Arabic what the Pons Asinorum Euclid 1.5 is to geometry. Lesson 20, Exercise in Transliteration A. Arabic to Roman Characters Transliterate, Exercise 18a B. Roman characters back to Arabic, correct by A. Examination paper 20. To be answered without assistance and sent up for correction. Give student's name, address and number. A. Translate to English. 1. Aminat al-qabilatu bideen al-islami. Amanatil Kabila to be Deen il Islami. Two. Ibnatun Nabi fi Madina til Kwadi. Ibnatun Nabi fi Madina til Kwadi. Three. Hel lehum sultanun. Hel lehum sultanun. Four. Lena Khubazul Hayati. لنا خبز الحياة. Five. أنا ضرت الرجل والغلام. أنا ضرت الرجل والغلام. Six. أما أكلت الخبز؟ أما أكلت الخبز؟ Seven. ألك أخت؟ Aleki Uchtun Eight Lahum Malikun wa Amirun Lahum Malikun wa Amirun Nine Hel Ahlul Kitabi fi Misra Hel Ahlul Kitabi fi Misra Ten Malikus Samawati Malikus Samawati Eleven. A ketabel maliku risalatan. A ketabel maliku risalatan. Twelve. Hellil malikibnun. Hellil malikibnun. B. Translate to Arabic. One. He believed in the Quran. Two. The people of the scripture are in Dar es Salaam. 3. Has the prince a city? 4. Didst thou write the book with the man's pen? 5. The sun struck a youth. 6. Did she not ride? 7. Did she believe in a book? 8. Have you, plural, any food? 9. Did she write the letter? 10. The Day of the Judgment 11. 
I believed in God's book from the beginning. 12. I struck off the youth's head with the sword. C. What is a madda and what is a wasla? End of Lessons 16 to 20 from Arabic Simplified, a practical grammar of written Arabic in 200 lessons with exercises test papers and reading book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al-Qahirani, read by Abu Jalal. Lessons 21 to 25 from Arabic Simplified, a practical grammar of written Arabic in 200 lessons with exercises, test papers and reading book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al-Qahirani recorded for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal Lesson 21 Eye, Voice and Ear Exercise 1. How is the word Ilehun pronounced? It is Ilehun in reading or Ileh in speaking and means a god or deity. It has a plural form Elihatun, deities. 2. How do we write the God or the deity? El ilehu. But in speaking, omit the final vowel u and still pronounce the h by aspirating after the upright fetha, like the English word ah when correctly pronounced. That is ah. 3. How do Muslims write the word Allah? What does it mean? Allah is written Alif, Lam, Lam, Shedda above the Lam, He, which is a contraction of El Ilehu. It has a wasla here, but it takes a simple fatha when it begins a sentence. After the Alif, the two Lams coalesce as shown by the Shedda. The word means God, the only deity. 4. How is Allah pronounced? The middle fatha is very broad and is pronounced like aw in awful and this reacts upon the first fatha also. So we must practice saying Allah, though we still transliterate it A-L-L-A-H. But when the word is preceded by a kasra, as for example, from a prefixed preposition, then and only then, the word is much lighter and is sounded almost like the short fatha. For example, alhamdulillah, praise be to God. The lam preposition, meaning to, is prefixed and joined on in the place of the alif wasla but not separately shown in writing. For the Arabic never writes three lambs together. The accent falls upon law, but lightly so. Note well, we omit the last vowel of the sentence to make the pause like Qur'an readers. Exercise 21a, eye, voice and ear exercise. A. The Arabic order is usually verb before the subject, but occasionally the subject proceeds for emphasis. B. Prepositions govern nouns in the oblique case with kesra. C. Now read aloud with careful enunciation and memorize. E. Keep on day after day for 15 minutes at a time 
long after you have passed on to lessons 22 to 30. Memorize, memorize. The secret is read aloud. You must do that. 1. Bismillahi walhamdulillah. Bismillahi walhamdulillah. Bismillahi walhamdulillah. 2. Abdullahi wa rasulullah. Abdullahi wa rasulullah. Abdullahi wa rasulullah. 3. Ketebe rasulullahi risaleh. Ketebe rasulullahi risaleh. Ketebe rasulullahi risaleh. Four. Ketebe rasulullahi risaleten ila abdil malik. Ketebe rasulullahi risaleten ila abdil malik. Ketebe rasulullahi risaleten ila abdil malik. Five. بَعَثَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ رِسَالَةً إِلَى الْمَلِكِ وَوَزِيرِهِ بَعَثَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ رِسَالَةً إِلَى الْمَلِكِ وَوَزِيرِهِ بَعَثَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ رِسَالَةً إِلَى الْمَلِكِ وَوَزِيرِهِ 6. كتب رسول الله رسالة إلى ابن الملك بقلم الوزير كتب الرسول الله رسالة إلى ابن الملك بقلم الوزير كتب رسول الله رسالة إلى ابن الملك بقلم الوزير 7. بعث رسول الله كتابا إلى ابن الملك بعث رسول الله كتابا إلى ابن الملكة بعث رسول الله كتابا إلى ابن الملكة 8. بعثت الملكة كتابا إلى رسول الله بعثت الملكة كتابا إلى رسول الله بعثت الملكة كتابا إلى رسول الله 9. قطع الوزير رأ رأس رسول الملك قطع الوزير رأس رسول الملك قطع الوزير رأس رسول الملك 10 يد الله مع الجماعة يد الله مع الجماعة يد الله مع الجماعة exercise 21b Retranslate to the Arabic of 21a. 1. In the name of God and praise to God. 2. The servant, slave of God, Abdullah, and God's apostle. 3. The apostle of God, that is Muhammad, wrote a letter. 4. God's apostle wrote a letter to the king's servant, slave. 5. The Apostle of God sent a letter to the king and his vizier, minister. 6. The Apostle of God wrote a letter to the king's son with the vizier's pen. 7. The Apostle of God sent a book or a writing to the queen's son. 8. The queen sent a book to the Apostle of God. 9. The vizier cut off the head of the king's messenger. 10. God's hand is with the company. A tradition commending unity of action. Lesson 22. The model form. 1. For what technical purpose is the form fa'ala used? This root in the order of its letters fa'ayn lam supplies Model names for the first, second, and third letter of any root, 
so that we can speak of them technically. Thus, the first root letter of any verb is named its fair, and the second root letter of any verb is named its ein, and the third root letter of any verb is named its lem. 2. This root in its past tense, singular and plural, must now be memorized perfectly before the student proceeds farther. Singular. He did. Fa'ala. Fa'ala. He did. Fa'ala. She did. Fa'alet. Fa'alet. She did. Fa'alet. Thou didst masculine. Fa'alta. Fa'alta. Thou didst masculine. Fa'alta. Thou didst feminine. Fa'alti. Fa'alti. Thou didst feminine. Fa'alti. I did. Fa'altu. Fa'altu. I did. Fa'altu. Dual. They too did. Fa'ala. Fa'ala. They too did. Fa'ala. They too feminine did. Fa'alata. Fa'alata. They too feminine did. Fa'alata. You too did. Fa'altuma. Fa'altuma. You too did. Fa'altuma. Plural. They masculine did. Fa'alu. Fa'alu. They masculine did. Fa'alu. They feminine did. Fa'alna. Fa'alna. They feminine did. Fa'alna. You masculine did. Fa'altum. Fa'altum. You masculine did. Fa'altum. You feminine did. Fa'altunya. Fa'altunya. You feminine did. Fa'altunya. We did. Fa'alna. Fa'alna. We did. Fa'alna. 3. Give the transliteration. Singular. Fa'ala. Fa'alet. Fa'alta. Fa'alti. Fa'altu. Dual. Fa'ala. Fa'alata. Fa'altuma. Plural. Fa'alu. Fa'alna. Fa'altum. Fa'altunya. Fa'alna. 4. Explain the constructive use made of the three radicals. Fa, ein, lem. They form a basal type root or model for all verbs, etc. We may add some of the servile letters, 49.2, to it and thus get a form which we should call in algebra a formula. And upon this form we build our derived words. Thus, for example, we add an alif to the fa of the root and we get a form fa'ilun, which means one doing, dua, fa'ilun. We then make hundreds of words on this form. See lesson 23. Ketibun, a clerk. Ketibun, ketibun, a clerk. Ketibun. And qatilun, a murderer. Qatilun, qatilun, a murderer. Qatilun are both said to be upon the form or measure fa'ilun because each one inserts an alif after the fa or first radical of its verb. 5. Is the model form used for verbs, etc.? It can be used for all parts of speech. Thus we say that if tekira, to think, if tekira, is conjugation 8 on the form if te'ale, and we say that jamilun, handsome, is on the form fa'ilun. Vocabulary 22. The man, masculine. El rojulu, el rojulu. The man, masculine. El rojulu. Man, the race. El insanu, el insanu. Man, the race, el insanu. The girls, el benetu, el benetu. The girls, el benetu. The lesson, el dersu, el dersu. The lesson, el dersu. What? Mede, mede. 
What? Mare Why? Limare Limare Why? Limare There is not. Lace. Lace. There is not. Lace. But rather. Bell. Bell. But rather. Bell. Exercise 22a. To English. 1. Hel lilamir ribnatun. 2. Nam. Lehu bintun. 3. Elehubnun. La. Laysa lahubnun. 4. Hel fatihat bintu lamir il baba. 5. La. Bel il meratu fatahatu. 6. Hel fatahuhu. Nam. Fatahuhu. 8. Hel auladu shaykhi qata lubna lamiri. 8. Limada fa'alu dalika. 9. Ain ibnatu al amiri. 10. Ibnatuhu ma'a ummiha. Exercise 22b. To Arabic. 1. Has the prince a daughter? 2. Yes, he has a daughter. 3. Has he a son? No, he has no son. 4. Did the prince's daughter open the door? 5. No, but the woman opened it. 6. Did they open it? Yes, they opened it. 7. Did the sheikh's children kill the prince's son? 8. Why did they do that? 9. Where is the prince's daughter? 10. His daughter is with her mother. Some useful adverbs, etc. Here. Hune. Hune. Here. Hune. There. Huneke. Huneke. There. Huneke. Where? Interrogative. Eine. Eine. Where? Interrogative. Eine. Where? Relative. Haithu. Haithu. Where relative Haythu How interrogative Kaife Kaife How interrogative Kaife When interrogative Mate Mate When interrogative Mate When conjunction Lemme Lemme When conjunction Lemme then conjunction thumme thumme then conjunction thumme very much jidden jidden very much jidden also again aidon aidon also again aidon self test paper 22 1 what special use is made of the radicals of the root fa'ala to do? 2. Write out from memory fa'ala, singular and plural. 3. Similarly, borobe. Lesson 23. Nouns of agent and object. 1. How many parts of speech are there in Arabic? 3. The verb, al-fi'l, al-fi'l, the verb, al-fi'l. The noun, al-ism, al-ism, the noun, al-ism. The particle, al-harf, al-harf, the particle, al-harf. 2. What can ism, the Arabic noun, include? It includes the substantive, adjective, numeral, personal, demonstrative, and relative pronoun, and particle. 3. How many classes of particles are there? 2. First, the noun of agent or active participle, pronounced ismul fa'il, ismul fa'il. The noun of agent or active participle, ismul fa'il. Second, 
the noun of object or passive participle pronounced ismul maf'ul ismul maf'ul the noun of object or passive participle ismul maf'ul 4 give examples of this active participle or noun of agent to strike borabe one who strikes baribun baribun one who strikes baribun that is a striker one who does fa'ilun fa'ilun one who does a doer laborer fa'ilun to write ketebe one who writes a writer clerk ketibun ketibun one who writes a writer clerk ketibun to dwell sekene one who dwells an inhabitant sekinun sekinun one who dwells an inhabitant sekinun hadora to be present one who is present present roll call hadirun hadirun one who is present present roll call hadirun to be silent sekete one silent silent adjective sekitun sekitun one silent silent adjective sekitun five let us analyze the above words what do we observe we observe that each noun of agent is formed from the three radicals of the simple verb past tense third singular masculine by adding an alif after the fa and placing a kesra under the ayn of the word using the form fa'ala we say the verb forms its active participle noun of agent upon the form fa'il this last is the word used above three in ismul fa'il give examples of the passive participle or noun of object to kill qatale one killed a victim maqtulun maqtulun one killed a victim maqtulun to write ketebe written a scripture maktubun maktubun written a scripture maktubun to mention dhakira mentioned above mentioned madhkurun madhkurun mentioned above mentioned madhkurun to chant or pipe zemira a thing chanted a psalm mazmurun mazmurun a thing chanted a psalm mazmurun to find wajade found present here mawjudun mawjudun found present here mawjudun to dislike kawriha a thing hated distasteful makruhun makruhun a thing hated distasteful makruhun to show mercy rahime one shown mercy to late mr marhumun marhumun one shown mercy to late mr marhumun to understand fahime a thing understood understood mafhumun mafhumun a thing understood understood mafhumun to know alime that is known of course ma'lumun ma'lumun that is known of course ma'lumun to be ignorant of jahile which is unknown unknown majhulun majhulun which is unknown unknown majhulun to divulge make public shahira thing notorious one famous mashhurun mashhurun thing notorious one famous mashhurun 7 analyze the above arabic words in column 3 and deduce any rule for forming the passive participle that is the noun of object 
ismul maf'ul. To form this participle, which shows the sufferer of the action, place the letter meme with fatha before the radicals of the triliteral verb, third masculine past, and a sukun over the first radical, the fa of the root, and a well of prolongation after the second radical. The end of the word takes the tanween dhamma or fatha, etc., just like any other noun. For all participles and all adjectives are nouns in Arabic. 8. Why are these participles given above in a tabular form? In order that the student may rule them thus into his notebook. But the form of rendering, namely one killed, that which is known, etc., need not be copied out. It is only given to show how the meaning is reached from the participle form. Note well, one form to a page or two pages. Fill up with other examples as you come across them. Exercise 23a. 1. Halil banatu fahimna darsahunna? 2. Naam. Al darsu mafhumun jiddan. 3. Hal katibul qadi mawjudun huna? 4. Naam. Huwa hadirun ma'ana huna? Five. هل كاتب ذلك الكتاب مشهور؟ Six. كلا ما علمنا شيئا عنه حياته مجهولة. Seven. كتابه جميل جدا. ما اسمه؟ اسمه أصل الكون. Eight. ماذا كتب عنه؟ كتب عن كل شيء. Nine. هل الكتاب مطبوع على ورق؟ 10. معلوم Exercise 23b 1. Have the girls understood their lesson? 2. Yes, the lesson is very well understood. 3. Is the judge's clerk present here? 4. Yes, he is present with us here. See 24.6 5. Is the writer of that book famous? 6. Not at all. Or no. We know, have known, nothing about him. His life is unknown. That is, he's a mystery. 7. His book is very fine. What is its name? Its name is The Origin of the Universe. 8. What did he write about? Literally, what? He wrote about it. He wrote about everything. 9. Is the book printed on paper? 10. Of course. Lesson 24. Verb to be. 1. Is there a verb to be in Arabic? Yes. It is called the verb kene. He was. Since all verbs are called by their masculine singular past tense and classified thus. 2. Does the alif of prolongation cause any difficulty? It causes certain permutations or changes. Remember this point. The alif of kene is in the place of the well. In some persons, the well disappears. In others, a dhamma shows where it has been, while in the present tense it reappears. An example of what scientists call reversion to type. 3. Now for the past tense of kene. Singular. He was. Kene. Kene. He was. Kene. She was. Kenet. Kenet. She was. Kenet. Thou wast masculine. Kunte. Kunte. Thou wast masculine. Kunte. Thou wast feminine. Kunti. Kunti. Thou wast feminine. Kunti. I was. Kuntu. Kuntu. I was. Kuntu. Dual, they two were. Kene, kene, they two were masculine. Kene, they two were feminine. Kenete, kenete, they two were feminine. Kenete, you two were. Kuntume, kuntume, you two were kuntume. Plural, they masculine were. Kenu, kenu. They masculine were kenu. They feminine were 
Kunya, Kunya. The feminine were Kunya. You were masculine. Kuntum, Kuntum. You were masculine. Kuntum. You were feminine. Kuntunya, Kuntunya. You were feminine. Kuntunya. We were Kunya, Kunya. We were Kunya. Four. How do we explain the second person, etc.? Kunta. This is explained and easily memorized by remembering two above. It is only in the third person that the wow is replaced by elif. In the others, we assume the wow to be present and reason thus. Kun. Add the pronoun te and we get kun te. That is, two sukuns together, which is not pronounced in Arabic. In other words, Arabic does not allow a long vowel before two consonants. Take out the wow and we get the same sound, but shortened, and write it kunte, remembering that bomma is homogeneous to wow. More of this later when we get to the hollow verb, lesson 115. 5. But is the Arabic verb kerne used as in English? Not exactly. We do not generally use its present tense. 6. What often takes its place? In Semitic languages, the subject and predicate are written, but the copula is, is not written. This makes no difficulty, for the student very quickly uses the oriental form of speech. Example, I am writing. Ene ketib. Ene is the separate pronoun, I. And ketib is the one who is writing, but it can also be read simply writing or writer while the copula am is not written at all. I am killing, or I am a murderer. Ene qatilun. Thou art dwelling, or thou art a dweller. Ente sekinun. The man is nice, that is a bonhomme. El rojulu qayyibun. The pasha is a good, pious man. El beshe rojulun salihun. Words not expressed in Arabic are put into square brackets. Those in round brackets are explanatory words. 7. What of the adjective in the last example? The rule of syntax concerning adjectives is the adjective follows its substantive and is of the same gender, number and case, being defined by L when its substantive is or receiving tenwin if it does. 8. Does the omission of the copula apply to the past tense? No. In Arabic, to the present tense only. In the past, we use kerne. 9. Important rule of syntax. When any part of the verb kerne is used in a sentence, it causes the predicate, if one is expressed, to take fetha, while the subject retains its bomme. Examples. The man was honourable. Kane Rojalu Sharifen. The woman was honourable. Kenetil Meratu Sharifeten. Thou wast near to the village. Kunte Koribem Minal Beled. I was far off. Kuntu Baiden. They had bread, that is, there was bread to them. Kene Lehum Khubzun. Note well, bread is subject here, not predicate. Ten. The word kelimetun, when it literally means a word, takes a feminine form of the verb. But when it means logos, the word, which is masculine, then it may take the masculine, as in Home Exercise 25C on page 65. Self-test 24. 1. Write out from memory the past tense of kerne. 2. What happens to the copula is in Arabic. Vocabulary 24. Jesus. Yesu'u. Yesu'u. Jesus. Yesu'u. Owner. Sahibun. Sahibun. Owner. Sahibun. Generous. Karimun. Karimun. Generous. Karimun. O men. Ya rijal. Ya rijal, O men, Ya rijal, Glory, Mejdun, Mejdun, Glory, 
Mejdun. Thanks. Shukrun. Shukrun. Thanks. Shukrun. Exercise 24A. To English. 1. Al Malikatu Tayyibatun. 2. Allahu Karimun. 3. Al Darsu Mafhumun. 4. Al Katibu Ma'lumun. 5. Hal Sahibul Kitabi Mashhurun. 6. Yasu ibn Allahi. 7. Aina kuntum ya rijal? 8. Kunna ma'a rasulillah. 9. Al majdu lillah. 10. Al shukru lil amir. Exercise 24b. To Arabic. 1. The queen is good or a good one. 2. God is generous. 3. The lesson is understood. 4. The writer is well known. 5. Is the owner of the book famous? 6. Jesus is the Son of God. 7. Where have you been, O men? 8. We were or have been with God's apostle, messengers. 9. Glory be to God. 10. Thanks to the Prince. Lesson 25. Personal Pronouns. 1. What is the Arabic word for a personal pronoun? Bomir. Pronoun. Bomir. Bomir. Which forms its plural. Bomair. 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 Remember that all pronouns and adjectives are treated as nouns in Arabic. 2. What is the case of the personal pronouns? They are generally called separate or separable pronouns because they stand alone as separate words. These are nominative case being subject of the sentence. 3. Give the separate pronouns. 1. I. Ene. Ene. I. Ene. Thou. Masculine. Enter, enter, thou masculine, enter, thou feminine, enti, enti, thou feminine, enti, he, huwe, huwe, he, huwe, she, hie, hie, she, hie, they, duel, hume, hume, they, duel, hume, you, duel, Entume, entume, you duel, entume, they masculine, whom, whom, they masculine, whom, they feminine, hunne, hunne, they feminine, hunne, you masculine, entum, entum, you masculine, entum, you feminine, entunne, entunne, you feminine, Antunya, we, Nehnu, Nehnu, we, Nehnu. 4. Memorize reading the Roman transliteration from left to right. Ene is pronounced Ene, not Ene. Singular pronouns Hue, Hie, Ente, Enti, Ene. Dual pronouns Hume, Entume. Plural pronouns Hum, Hunne, entum, entunne, nehnu. 5. How do we express the accusative and genitive cases? By the use of the pronominal affix. See lesson 14 and 18.5. 6. Two interrogative pronouns may well be learned here. These are men and me. Each is usually followed by a personal pronoun of suitable number. Revise here 24.6. Example, who art thou? Men ent, men ent. Who art thou? Men ent. Who is the writer? Men who el katib, men who el katib. Or, men il katib, men il katib. Who is the writer? Men il katib. What is thy name? Mesmuke, mesmuke. What is thy name, Mesmuke? What is the chief purpose of man? Mahil Rayatul Insan al 
What is the chief purpose of man? What is the origin of the universe? What is the origin of the universe? Seven. The word fulanun, feminine fulanatun, is used as the equivalent of our expression so and so as an adjective fulani may be used exam paper 25 to be sent up for correction a to english 1 kitabi kana mawjudan huna ayna huwa 2 kuntu ma'a fulanin 3 sahibul qur'ani rasulullah 4 huwa rajulun jamilun or huwa jamilun 5 hum rijalullah 6 sakanna fi madinatin nabi b to arabic 1 she is a good pious woman 2 i was near my village 3 my village is near the town 4 you are a nice hail fellow well met man 5 did you know the murderer and the victim? 6. Where is my book? C. Explain the difference between Kana Rajulu Sharifan and Kana Ma'ana Rajulun Sharifun. Why the difference in the case of Sharif? Exercise 25C. Correct at home. Fil Budi Kanel Kalimatu. Well, Kalimatu Kana Ainda Allahi, Wakana al Kalimatu Allaha, Hather Kana fil Budi, Ainda Allah. Fil Budi Kana al Kalimatu, Well, Kalimatu Kana Ainda Allahi, Wakana al Kalimatu Allah, Hather Kana fil Budi, Ainda Allah. Exercise 25D. Translate to Arabic, St. John 1 1 2. End of Lessons 21 to 25 from Arabic Simplified, a practical grammar of written Arabic in 200 lessons with exercises, test papers and reading book by Arthur T. Upson, Abdul Fadi Al-Qahirani, read by Abu Jalal, recorded in Oxford, England. Lessons 55 to 57 from A Practical Arabic Course by E. Ni'matullah and E. Chevalet. Read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal Part 3 Grammar, Syntax, Exercises 55th Lesson Simple Triliteral Verbs Irregular The irregular simple triliteral verbs are reduplicated, assimilated, concave, defective, and hamzated verbs. 1. Reduplicated verbs to pass u maura maura to pass maura for merora to think to believe u one one to think to believe one for one ne. Reduplicated verbs are those whose last two radicals are alike. He passed, maura, maura. He passed, maura, for maura. I passed, maurtu, maurtu. I passed, maurtu. In reduplicated verbs, the contraction of the last two radicals takes place when the third radical 
carries a vowel sign. If it carries a sukun, they are separated. He bites a ba'adwa. He bites ba'adwa for ba'adwa. He flees i yafirru yafirru. He flees yafirru for yafriru. He reckons counts u ya'uddu ya'uddu. He reckons counts ya'uddu for ya'dudu. The vowel sign of the first radical of the present tense is that of the first of the two similar radicals if these radicals were separated bite masculine bite masculine note for the sake of euphony the final letter takes fatha instead of sukun end note flee masculine filra filra flee masculine filra Reckon masculine, odde, odde. Reckon masculine, odde. The imperative takes no initial alif, except in second person plural feminine, and the first radical keeps the vowel sign, which it has in the corresponding person of the present tense. Conjugation of the reduplicated verb. Note for the dual and the feminine plural. See the simple regular verb. End note. Past tense. Merartu. Merartu. I passed. Merartu. Note in colloquial Arabic. Merartu. Etc. End note. Merarte. Merarte. Thou passedst. Merarte. Merarti. Merarti. Thou feminine passedst merorti. Mawra. Mawra. He passed mawra. Mawrat. Mawrat. She passed mawrat. Merorna. Merorna. We passed merorna. Merortum. Merortum. Ye passed merortum. Mawru, Mawru. They passed Mawru. Present or future tense. Amurru, Amurru. I pass Amurru. Temurru, Temurru. Thou passest Temurru. Temurrina, Temurrina. Thou passest feminine Temurrina. Yamurru, Yamurru. He passes Yamurru. Temurru, Temurru. She passes Temurru. Namurru, Namurru. We pass Namurru. Temurruna, Temurruna. You pass Temurruna. Yamurruna, Yamurruna. They pass Yamuruna. Imperative Murra Murra Pass Murra Murri Murri Pass Feminine Murri Murru Murru You plural pass Murru To blame U Them Them To blame Them to revile, to insult. U. Sebbe. Sebbe. To revile, to insult. Sebbe. To smell. U. Shemme. Shemme. To smell. Shemme. To spread, to extend. U. Medde. Medde. To spread, to extend. Medde. To set in line. U. Sof. Soffe, soffe, to set in line, soffe. To sprinkle, to water, u, weshe, weshe, to sprinkle, to water, weshe. 
to rejoice, to make glad. U, saura, saura, to rejoice, to make glad. Saura, to poison. U, semme, semme, to poison. Semme, to put down. U, hetto, hetto, to put down. Hetto, to close, to stop up. U, said said de to close to stop up said de to demolish to pull down u head de head de to demolish to pull down head de soon on qarib on qarib soon on qarib near beside bil qurbi min bil qurbi min near beside bil qurbimin or bijanib bijanib near beside bijanib fifty sixth lesson simple triliteral verbs irregular two assimilated verbs to find e wejede wejede to find wejede to dry, to become dry. E, yebise, yebise. To dry, to become dry. Yebise. Assimilated verbs are those whose first radical is wow or ye. Yeah. He awoke. Yakiwa, yakiwa. He awoke. Yakiwa. He awakes. Yakolu, yakolu. He awakes, yakobu. Awake, singular masculine, ikob, ikob. Awake, singular masculine, ikob. Verbs whose first radical is ya are conjugated like simple, regular verbs. He stopped, wakofe, wakofe. He stopped, wakofe. He stops. Yaqifu, yaqifu, he stops, yaqifu. Stop, singular masculine, qif, qif. Stop, singular masculine, qif. Verbs whose first radical is wow are conjugated regularly in the past tense. In the present tense and in the imperative mood, they generally drop the wow, especially if the second radical carries Kesra in the present tense. To describe. E. Wersofe. Wersofe. To describe. Wersofe. To arrive. To unite. E. Wersole. Wersole. To arrive. To unite. Wersole. To place. E. Werboa. Werboa. To place. Werboa. To be born. E. Welede. Welede, to be born, welede, to contain, a, wasi'a, wasi'a, to contain, wasi'a, to weigh, i, wezene, wezene, to weigh, wezene, to inherit, i, werithe, werithe, to inherit, werithe, to fall, a, werqa'a, werqa'a, to fall, Wa'a to promise e wa'ade wa'ade to promise wa'ade to be or to become an orphan e yetime yetime to be or to become an orphan yetime to be necessary must ought e wajebe ala wajebe ala to be necessary must ought wajibe ala instead of bedelen min bedelen min instead of bedelen min or awabun an awabun an instead of awabun an unexpectedly ala rafle ala rafle unexpectedly ala rafle Exercise 56. Mare there were rith 
أنتم من خالكم انظر كيف الضباط يصفون الجنود ويعدونهم أهذه الأوضة تسع سريرين هل مررتم أمس بالقرب من دكاكيننا؟ متى تهدون تلك البيوت القديمة؟ أظن أنهم Note أن That is used for أن Before any other word than a verb أن Note سيهدونها عن قريب الكلب عض ضبن عمي بالقرب من هذا المكان وزنت الخبز بدلا من أن أزن اللحم ماذا وجدتم في الدرج؟ ضع هذه الكتب في محلها يجب أن ترش البستان كل يوم من يضم هؤلاء الشبان الأذكياء؟ مددت يدي لأقطف وردة ماذا وقع منكم؟ قفي هنا حتى أرجع وصلوا أمس على غفلة وعدني أن يخرج معي Exercise 57 Why have they pulled down this great palace? Who has poisoned these little dogs? It is I who counted your money. Has not this bread become dry? We shall return soon. Allow plural me to do that tomorrow instead of doing it today. Who will inherit all this wealth? Put singular these dictionaries in the cupboard beside your books. The dogs which I beat have bitten me. I always pass near this place. I think that she arrived yesterday unexpectedly. I gathered a flower in order to smell it. We ought always to speak the truth. These people weighed the corn and the barley instead of weighing the maize and the beans. When did they insult or blame this young man? Has this news made you glad? 57th lesson. Simple triliteral verbs. Irregular. 3. Concave verbs. To say. Qala. Qala. To say. Qala. For. Qawala. To sell. Ba'a. Ba'a. To sell. Ba'a. For. Ba'a. Concave verbs are those whose second radical is alif in place of wow or ya. He said. Qala. Qale, he said, Qale, for Qawale. He says, Yakulu, Yakulu, he says, Yakulu, for Yakulu. Say, singular masculine, Qul, Qul, say, singular masculine, Qul, for Qul. Concave verbs whose second radical in the present tense carries Lomme are conjugated in all their tenses like qala he feared khafa khafa he feared khafa for khawafa he fears ya khafu ya khafu he fears ya khafu for ya khafu fear singular masculine khaf khaf fear singular masculine khaf for khof. Concave verbs whose second radical in the present tense carries fatha are conjugated like khafa. He sold ba'a, ba'a. He sold ba'a for ba'a. He sells yabi'u, yabi'u. He sells yabi'u for yabi'u. Sell singular masculine bi'a. Bi sell singular masculine bi for bi concave verbs whose second radical in the present tense carries kasra are conjugated like ba note the present tense of concave verbs preceded by the particle lem 
negative le prohibitive or e imperative loses its second radical if the third radical is final End note. conjugation of concave verbs Qale, past tense qultu qultu i said qultu qulta qulta thou saidst masculine qulta qulta qulti qulti thou saidst feminine qulti qale qale he said qale qalet qalet she said qalet qulna qulna we said qulna qultum qultum ye said qultum qalu qalu they said qalu khafa past tense fear khiftu khiftu i feared khiftu khifta khifta thou fearedst masculine khifta khifti khifti thou fearedst feminine khifti khafa khafa he feared khafa khafat khafat she feared khafat khifna khifna we feared khifna khiftum khiftum ye feared khiftum khafu khafu they feared khafu ba'a past tense bi'tu bi'tu i sold bi'tu bi'ta bi'ta thou soldest bi'ta thou soldest feminine bi'ti ba'a ba'a he sold ba'a ba'at ba'at she sold ba'at bi'na bi'na we sold bi'na bi'tum bi'tum ye sold bi'tum ba'u ba'u they sold ba'u present or future tense aqulu aqulu i say aqulu taqulu taqulu thou sayest masculine taqulu taqulina taqulina thou sayest feminine taqulina yaqulu yaqulu he says yaqulu taqulu taqulu she says taqulu naqulu naqulu we say naqulu taquluna taquluna ye say taquluna yaquluna yaquluna they say yaquluna akhafu akhafu i fear akhafu takhafu takhafu thou fearest masculine takhafu takhafina takhafina thou fearest feminine takhafina yakhafu yakhafu he fears yakhafu takhafu takhafu she fears takhafu nakhafu nakhafu we fear nakhafu takhafuna takhafuna ye fear takhafuna yakhafuna yakhafuna they fear yakhafuna abi'u abi'u i sell abi'u tabi'u tabi'u thou sellest tabi'u tabi'ina tabi'ina thou sellest feminine tabi'ina yabi'u yabi'u he sells yabi'u tabi'u tabi'u she sells tabi'u nabi'u nabi'u we sell nabi'u tabi'una tabi'una ye sell tabi'una yabi'una yabi'una they sell yabi'una end of lessons 55 to 57 of a practical arabic course by e ni'matullah and e chevalet recording by abu jalal recorded in oxford england
Lessons 58 to 60 of A Practical Arabic Course by E. Ni'matullah and E. Chevalet. Read for the LibriVox Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. 58th lesson simple triliteral verbs irregular conjugation of concave verbs continued imperative qul qul say qul quli quli say feminine quli qulu qulu you plural say qulu khof khof fear Khof, khafi, khafi, fear, feminine, khafi, khafu, khafu, you fear, plural, khafu, bi', bi', sell, bi', bi'i, bi'i, sell, feminine, bi'i, bi'u, bi'u, you sell, plural, bi'u, to obtain, a, nale nale to obtain nale to die u mate mate to die mate to get up u qame qame to get up qame to sleep a nama nama to sleep nama to hunt to fish i sade sade to hunt, to fish, sade. To repent, u. Tebe, tebe. To repent, tebe. To lose the way, u. Tehe, tehe. To lose the way, tehe. To blame, u. Leme, leme. To blame, leme. To become, i. Sora. Sora, to become Sora, to be, to take place. U, kene, kene, to be, to take place. Kene, to return. U, aade, aade, to return. Aade, to pass the night. E, bete, bete, to pass the night. Bete. To be absent, i, robe, robe, to be absent, robe, to visit, u, zero, zero, to visit, zero, to walk, to go, i, zero, zero, to walk, to go, zero, to be long, to last, u, pole to be long, to last, pole, to drive a carriage, u, seqo, seqo, to drive a carriage, seqo, possible, mumkin, mumkin, possible, mumkin, or, minel mumkin, minel mumkin, possible, minel mumkin. Impossible, غير ممكن, غير ممكن, impossible, غير ممكن, or من المحال, من المحال, impossible, من المحال. Fifty ninth lesson, simple triliteral verbs, irregular, four, defective verbs, to efface. U, maha, maha, to efface, maha, for, mahawa, to throw, i, rama, rama, to throw, rama, for, ramaya, to consent, a, rodia, rodia, to consent, rodia, 
Defective verbs are those whose last radical is an alif replacing wow, alif maqsura replacing ya or ya. He called da'a, da'a. He called da'a. He calls yad'u, yad'u. He calls yad'u. I call singular masculine. Ud'u, ud'u, I call ud'u. Defective verbs whose past tense ends in alif are conjugated like maha. He wept. Beke, beke, he wept. Beke, he weeps. Yabki, yabki, he weeps. Yabki, weep, singular masculine. Ibki, ibki. Weep, singular masculine, ibki. Defective verbs in alif maqsura, the second radical of whose past tense carries fatha, are conjugated like rama. He forgot, nasiye, nasiye. He forgot, nasiye. He forgets, yense, yense. He forgets, yense. Forget, singular masculine, inse, inse. Forget, singular masculine, inse. Defective verbs in ye, the second radical of whose past tense carries kasra, are conjugated like radiye. Exercise 58. Hal mumkinun an ya'uda shaqiquka min as-safari ghadan? هؤلاء الحمالون ينامون على الأرض لا تقل هذا الخبز لأولادك متى تنال الأموال التي ورثتها من جدك زارني صديقي منذ شهر ولم أزره إلى الآن لماذا بعتم الخواتم الجديدة؟ بدلا من أن تبيع القديمة هل ممكن أن يغيب أستاذنا هل ممكن أن يغيب أستاذنا غدا أظن أن ذلك من المحال لأنهم لم يغب أبدا هل تاب قبل أن يموت كيف تهتي أمس ومن أي طريق عدت غير ممكن أن يزورني قبل أن أزوره هل يخافون أن يقول ماذا يعملون Exercise 59 Did you sell your cotton at the market? How did these princes become poor? It is possible that our journey will last four weeks. When did your father die? He died five months ago. It is impossible for me, note translate, it is impossible that I, end note, to sleep before midnight. What did you obtain on Sunday? Get up singular and go out with me. I absented myself yesterday from school. I walked in these streets during half an hour, then I lost the way. It is not possible, note غير ممكن, end note, for me to absent myself tomorrow. He goes out in the morning before I get out of bed and returns in the evening before me. Why do you allow, singular, the servant to sleep under your window? It is impossible for him to drive the carriage at this hour. Why are you afraid, singular, to say what you have done? Where did you pass the night? Conjugation of defective verbs. Maha, mahautu, I effaced. Mahautu, mahautu, I effaced. Mahautu, mahauta, mahauta, thou effacedst. Mahauta, mahauti, mahauti, thou effacedst feminine. Mahauti, maha, maha, he effaced. Maha, 
Mahat Mahat She effaced Mahat Mahona Mahona We effaced Mahona Mahautum Mahautum Ye effaced Mahautum Mahau Mahau They effaced Mahau Roma Romaitu I threw Romaitu Romaita Thou threwest Romaita Romaiti Romaiti Thou threwest feminine Romaiti Roma Roma He threw Roma Romet Romet She threw Romet Romaina Romaina We threw Romaina Romaitum Romaitum Ye threw Romaitum Romau Romau They threw Romau Rodia Rodaitu Rodaitu I consented Rodaitu Rodaita Rodaita Thou consentedst Rodaita Rodaiti Rodaiti Thou consentedst feminine Rodaiti Rodaya Rodaya He consented Rodaya Rodayet Rodayet She consented Rodayet Rodaitum Rodaitum Ye consented Rodaitum Rodu Rodu They consented Rodu Present or future tenses Emhu Emhu I efface Emhu Temhu Temhu Thou effacest Temhu Temhina Temhina Thou effacest feminine Temhina Yamhu Yamhu He effaces Yamhu Temhu Temhu She effaces Temhu Nemhu Nemhu We efface Nemhu Temhuna Temhuna Ye efface Temhuna Yamhuna Yamhuna they efface Yemhuna Ermi Ermi I throw Ermi Termi Termi Thou throwest Termi Termine Termine Thou throwest feminine Termine Yarmi Yarmi He throws Yarmi Termi Termi She throws Termi Nermi Nermi We throw Nermi Termune, Termune, ye throw, Termune, Yarmune, Yarmune, they throw, Yarmune. Erdo, Erdo, I consent, Erdo, Terdo, thou consentest, Terdo, Terdine, Terdine, thou consentest, feminine, Terdine, Yarbo, Yarbo. He consents, Yarbo, Terbo, Terbo, she consents, Terbo, Nerbo, Nerbo, we consent, Nerbo, Terbone, Terbone, ye consent, Terbone, Yarbone, Yarbone, they consent, Yarbone. Sixtieth lesson Simple triliteral verbs, irregular. Conjugation of defective verbs continued. Note. After the particles lem, negative, le, prohibitive, and i, imperative, the well, alif, maqsura, and ye, disappear in the present tense, if they are final. End note. Imperative. Umhu. Umhu. Efface. Umhu. Umhi, umhi, efface, feminine. Umhi, umhu, umhu, you efface, plural. Umhu, irmi, irmi, throw. Irmi, 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 throw, feminine. Irmi, irmu, irmu, you throw, plural. Irmu, irba, irba. Be content. Irba. Irdai. Irdai. Be content feminine. Irdai. Irdo. 
irdo you plural be content irdo to run e jero jero to run jero to walk e meshe meshe to walk meshe to increase in price u rolle rolle to increase in price rolle to remain a baqiya baqiya to remain baqiya to meet a laqiya laqiya to meet laqiya to read to follow u tala tala to read to follow tala to relate e haka haka to relate haka to be high to ascend u ala ala to be high to ascend ala to build e bana bana to build bana to fear a khoshiya khoshiya to fear khoshiya to be empty vacant u khala khala to be empty vacant khala to forbid u naha an naha an to forbid naha an to complain u shaka shaka to complain shaka to pardon u afa an afa an to pardon afa an to pass of time e melwa melwa to pass of time melwa to grow u nama nama to grow nama to water to give to drink e seqa seqa to water to give to drink seqa much kathiran kathiran much kathiran little qalilan qalilan little qalilan qul lil khadimi an la yasqul ashjar kathiran kayfa nasiya najjar min sharahu wa masamirahu fil warshah ibqi huna ila an a'ud irmi hadhihi al asaa min yadik مشيت قليلا ولكن تعبت كثيرا لماذا لا تسقينني بهذا الكاس من الذي دعا هذا الرجل انا الذي دعوته مضى زمن طويل ونحن نشكو من هذا المكان لماذا غلى الخبز هنا امش كثيرا واجر قليلا متى تخلو هذه المجلات لماذا لا تجري هذه العربات كثيرا تنمو هذه الاشجار قليلا جدا اعف عنه لانه معذور exercise 61 why have they called him they have called him in order to tell him to stay here tell us what you did yesterday at the palace Peter forgets much but his sister forgets very little. Has he consented to walk with us? Why did she throw those flowers out of the window? Note min and note. I walk much and I run little. Efface singular these words from your exercise book. Nobody has built here. An hour has passed and my children have not returned. This room has become vacant but I fear to sleep in it forgive them for they do not know what they are doing they complain much of their house have cotton corn and vegetables increased much in price i forbid you to enter here end of lessons 58 to 60 from a practical arabic course by e ni'matullah and e shavalle recording by abu jalal recorded in oxford england
chapters 1 to 2 from Arabic syntax, chiefly selected from the Hidayatun Nah, a treatise on syntax in the original Arabic by Henry Brown Beresford, read for the Arabic language learning collection, volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Arabic syntax chiefly selected from the Hidayatun Nahw, a treatise on syntax in the original Arabic by Henry Brown Beresford. Chapter 1. Introductory. 1. A phrase. Kalam, or proposition. Jumla is a combination of at least two words, the union of which enounces an attribute as appertaining to a subject. This connection between the attribute and the subject is termed isnad. 2. The word which expresses the attribute is named musnad, that is, attributed that by which the predication is made and the word which expresses the subject is called musned ilayhi that is that to which an attribute is given that of which something is predicated three a proposition jumla may be nominal ismiya or verbal fi'liya in order to understand this distinction, be it observed that it is not necessary to employ a verb to express the relation of subject and attribute. For example, Zaydun, Qa'im, Zayd is standing. Allahu Ghafur, God is merciful. In these cases, the proposition is nominal if on the other hand the attribute be expressed by a verb for example qama zayd zayd stood mata akhi my brother is dead the proposition is verbal four there are also other kinds of propositions namely conditional and circumstantial propositions a conditional proposition, Jumlatun Shardiyah, is that which announces the attribute as appertaining to the subject under a certain condition. For example, Zaydun in Ja'ani Ekramhu. Zayd, if he come to me, I will honor him. And the circumstantial proposition, Jumlatun Barfiyah, is that which appears to have for an attribute a circumstance of place, which is termed warf, a vase or container. For example, Zaydun fil masjid, Zayd is in the mosque. 5. The nine parts of speech are divided into the three following classes, namely, Class 1. Noun. Ism comprises noun, pronoun, and adjective. Class 2. Verb. Fi'l. Class 3. Particle. Harf. Comprising the article, preposition, adverb, conjunction, and interjection. 6. Nouns. Ism are divided into two classes. Namely, declinable, mu'rab, and indeclinable, mabni, and the declinable, mu'rab, noun, is again divided into variable, munsarif, and invariable, ghayru munsarif. Note, the variable, munsarif, noun, comprises all such nouns and adjectives as have three different inflections, and admit the nasal vowels. The invariable غيرمنصرف noun comprises all such as do not admit the nasal vowels and have only two inflections. 
one peculiar to the nominative and the other common to the genitive and accusative note well in the original treatise under the head of declinable noun the inflections of the various nouns sound defective singular plural etc are detailed as also the especial conditions which subject all nouns and adjectives termed invariable to a particular declension the characteristics of which are the non-admission of the nasal vowels and the admission of only two inflections namely the vowel bom for the nominative and the vowel fata for the genitive and accusative as these details appertain to the inflection part of grammar the reader is referred to lumsden or de Sassy, volume one chapter three and eight pages three ninety seven and the following end note chapter two on nominatives marfu'at seven there are eight kinds of nominatives or words that are governed in the nominative case as follows one al fa'il the agent two al maf'ulu ma lam yusamma fa'ilahu the object of action the agent of which is not named three al mubtada the inchoative or subject four al khabar the announcer or predicate five khabar inna wa akhawatuha the predicate of the particle inna and its sister particles six ismu kana wa akhawatuha the noun of the verb kana and its sister verbs seven ismu malal mustashbahatain bilaysa the noun of the particles ma and la resembling the verb laysa eight khabaru la allati li nafi wal jins the predicate of the particle la when used to deny the existence of a thing in general section one on the agent al fa'il eight the agent is that noun which is connected with the verb that precedes it the agent ought always be placed after the verb or the active participle which has the function of a verb for example qama zayd Zaid arose. Zaidun Baribun Abu. Zaid's father is the beta. In these two sentences, the word Zaidun in the first and the word Abuhu in the second are respectively the agents of the verb Qama and of the active participle Baribun. 9. Every verb necessarily requires an apparent or non-apparent agent in the nominative case. For example, ذهب زيد. Zaid went. Zaidun ذهب. Zaid, he went. Note, in this sentence, Zaidun ذهب. Zaid, he went. The word Zaid, Zaidun, is no longer the agent. It is the inchoative, and the verb thehebe carries its own agent in itself, namely the pronoun huwe, he understood. This remark also applies to the three examples in number 12. End note. 10. If the verb be active, it must have an object of action in the accusative case example boraba zaidun amran zaid beat amr 11 if the agent be apparent the verb will uniformly be in the singular number in order that there may not be two agents for a single verb for example boraba zaid zaid beat boraba zaidan the two Zaids beat. Boraba Zaidun. All the Zaids beat. 12. If the agent be understood, Mudomer. 
and in the singular number the verb will be in the singular and if in the dual dual and if in the plural plural example zaydun borobe zayd he beat as zaydani borobe the two zayds the two beat as zaydune borobu all the zayds they beat thirteen if the agent be a real feminine noun mu'annath haqiqi that is of the feminine sex as contradistinguished from the masculine the verb will be uniformly feminine provided no word intervene between the verb and the agent example qamat hind hind arose but if any word intervene it becomes optional to make the verb masculine or feminine example borabel yawma hind or borabatil yawma hind hind one day beat fourteen if the agent be a conventional feminine mu'annath ghayru haqiqi which is purely grammatical and the verb precede the agent the verb may be either masculine or feminine for example tala'ati shams shams the sun arose but the verb if it come after must necessarily be feminine example ash-shamsu tala'at the sun she arose five the same rule is to be observed in the broken or imperfect plurals example qama ar-rijal qama ar-rijal ar-rijal qamat the men arose 16 the agent ought always to precede the object of action when both of them are defective nouns and the one might be confounded with the other example boraba musa isa moses beat jesus but where there is no fear of confusion the object of action may not incorrectly be put before the agent example akal al kuthra yahya john ate the pears borabe zayden amr amr beat zayd seventeen the verb may be correctly suppressed when the meaning of the sentence is sufficiently evident from the context for example zaydun zayd in answer to the question men torabe who struck eighteen sometimes both verb and agent are suppressed for example na'am yes in answer to anyone asking aqama zayd is zayd standing nineteen in the case of a passive verb the agent is omitted and the object of action is substituted for it section two on the object of an action the agent of which is not named al maf'ul ma lam yusamma fa'ilah 20 all that has been said above in respect to the agent is equally applicable to the noun or pronoun which serves as a subject to a verb passive and which is called the object of an action the agent of which is not named this subject is regarded in the light of an agent and is otherwise named the substitute of the agent qa'imun maqam al-fa'il example boriba zayd zayd was beaten supplement to section one of the rules to be observed when one noun serves as agent to more verbs than one or as agent to one verb and object of action to another twenty one it sometimes happens that one and the same noun is required to serve as agent to two verbs or more and again that one and the same noun is required to serve as agent to one verb and as object of action to another 
this sort of contest between two parts of speech for the government of the same word is called by Arabian grammarians tenari'u fil amal contention for government 22 when two verbs contend for the government of the expressed noun coming after them that is when each of the verbs designs to govern such noun such contest may be of four kinds as follows note note well the essential members of a proposition namely the subject and the attribute assume different names according to the place which they occupy in the proposition each assumes two different names for example the subject is called first the inchoative mubtadeh secondly the agent fa'il and the attribute is called first the announcer khaber when it corresponds to an inchoative secondly the verb fi'l when it is in relation with an agent fa'il end note one both require the agent borabani wa kromani zayd zayd beat me and honored me two both require the object of action borabatu wa kromatu zaydun i beat and i honored zayd three the first verb requires an agent and the second an object of action borabani wa kromatu zayden he that is zayd struck me and i honored zayd four the first verb requires an object of action and the second an agent borabatu wa kromani zayd i beat him that is zayd and zayd respected me 23 be it observed that in the four different species of contest just above enumerated either the first verb or the second note according to desassi it would appear that in the case of two verbs demanding an agent the preferring the governing power to the first verb as the school of kufa do is the more authorized mode of expression grammar arab volume two chapter twenty seven pages two forty six and the following end note or the second may correctly have the governing power twenty four the two great schools of basra and kufa are divided on the above points the school of basra gave the governing power to the second verb on account of its proximity to the noun and the school of kufa prefer the governing power to the first verb by way of preserving its precedence and rightful claim twenty five the rules of the basra school are as follows one if both verbs require an agent borabani wa kromani zayd he zayd beat me and zayd honored me borabani wa kromani zaydan the two zayds beat me and the two zayds honored me borabuni wa kromani zaydun they the zayds beat me and the zayds honored me two if one verb requires an agent and the other an object of action borabani wa kromtu zayden he zayd beat me and i honored zayd borabani wa kromtu zaydain the two zayds beat me and i honored the two zayds borabuni wa kromtu zaydin they the zayds beat me and i honored the zayds three if both verbs require an object of action and are not of the description termed verbs of the mind i beat and honored zayd i beat and honored the two zayds i beat and honored the zayds four if one verb requires an object of action and the other an agent borabtu wa kromni zayd i beat zayd and zayd honored me borabtu wa kromni zaydan i beat the two zayds and the two zayds honored me borabtu wa kromni zaydun i beat the zayds and the zayds honored me 
26. When the two verbs are of the description termed verbs of the mind, af'alul qulub, the object of action of the first verb must be expressed. For this reason that the object of action of verbs of the mind cannot correctly be suppressed, nor can the pronoun, having reference to the object of action, be correctly introduced before the object of action itself. For example, Hasebani muntaliqan wahasibatu zaydan muntaliqan He, Zayd, thought me going, and I thought Zayd going. That is, Zayd thought I was departing, and I thought Zayd was departing. 27. The following are the rules of the Kufa school, who give the governing power to the first verb. 1. If both verbs require an agent, Warabini wa kromini Zayd. Zayd beat me, and he, Zayd, honoured me. Warabini wa kromani Zaydan. The two Zayds beat me, and the two Zayds honoured me. Warabini wa kromuni Zaydun. The Zayds beat me, and they, the Zayds, honoured me. 2. If one verb requires an object of action, and the other an agent, Warabutu wa kromani Zaydan. I beat Zayd, and he honoured me. Warabtu wa ekromani Zaydain. I beat the two Zayds, and the two Zayds honoured me. Warabtu wa ekromuni Zaydin. I beat the Zayds, and they honoured me. 3. If both verbs require an object of action, and are not verbs of the mind, then either of the following rules obtain. Namely, either the object of action is suppressed, or a pronoun is introduced. But the latter is the more correct. Borobtu wa kromtu Zaydin. I beat Zayd and I honoured Zayd. Borobtu wa kromtu Zaydain. I beat the two Zayds and I honoured the two Zayds. Borobtu wa kromtu Zaydin. I beat all the Zayds and I honoured the Zayds. Or with the pronoun, Borobtu wa kromtuhu Zaydin. I beat Zayd and I honoured him. Borobtu wa kromtuhum az Zaydain. I beat the two Zayds and I honoured the two. Borobtu wa kromtuhum az Zaydin. I beat the Zayds and I honoured them. For if one verb require an agent and the other an object of action, Borobani wa kromtu Zayd. Zayd beat me and I honoured Zayd. Borobani wa kromtu Zaydan. The two Zaids beat me, and I honoured the two Zaids. Warabani wa kromtu Zaydun. The Zaids beat me, and I honoured the Zaids. Or with the pronoun. Warabani wa kromtuhu Zaid. Zaid beat me, and I honoured him. Warabani wa kromtuhu maz Zaydan. The two Zaids beat me, and I honoured the two. Warabani wa kromtuhu maz Zaydun. The Zaids beat me, and I honoured them. 28. When both the verbs are of the kind termed verbs of the mind, af'alul qulub, the object of action must be expressed. Hasibani wa hasibtuhuma muntaliqayni zaydani muntaliqan. The two Zaids thought me going, and I thought the two Zaids going. That is, the two Zaids fancied I was going and I fancied they were going. Note. The expressing the object of action in this example is necessary for this reason, that both the verb hasebani and hasibtuhuma demand the object of action muntoliqan, and the governing power has been given to the first verb, namely hasebani. If therefore you cut off the word muntoliqain, and say, Hasebani wa hasibtuhuma zaydani muntaliqan. The two Zayds thought me going, and I thought the two. Then the elision of the second object of action of the verbs of the mind takes place, and this is incorrect. And if you introduce a pronoun, it must be either a singular pronoun, as Hasebani wa hasibtuhuma iyahu zaydani muntaliqan. The two Zayds thought me going, and I thought the two this, 
and then the second object of action does not correspond with the first object of action, namely the verb huma in the word hasibtuhuma, and this is incorrect. Or you must introduce a dual pronoun, as hasibani wa hasibtuhuma iyahuma zaydani muntaliqan. And then a dual pronoun has reference to a word in the singular, namely muntaliqan, the word disputed by the two verbs, and this is incorrect. Therefore, whenever the elision of the object of action, as well as the introduction of a pronoun be incorrect, the object of action must be expressed. End note. Section 3. On the inchoative. al And the announcer. al 29. The inchoative or subject and the announcer or predicate are two words construed independently of any grammatical construction. The first is the musnad ilay, that of which something is predicated and is called al mubtada, the inchoative. The second is the musnad, that by which this predication is made and is termed al khabar, the announcer. Example, Zaydun qa'im, Zayd is standing. Here, Zaydun, Zayd, is the inchoative. The government of them is logical. 30. Generally speaking, the inchoative is a definite noun and the announcer an indefinite one. 31. The inchoative and announcer ought to be in the nominative case. 32. When an indefinite noun is qualified by an epithet, it may correctly be the inchoative. Example. لَعَبْدٌ مُؤْمِنٌ خَيْرٌ مِنْ مشرك. The orthodox slave is better than the polytheist. 33. An indefinite noun particularized in another way may correctly be the inchoative. Example. أَرَجْلٌ فِي الدَّارِ أَمْ إِمْرَأَ is there a man in the house or a woman? Ma ahadun khayrum mink. There is not anyone better than you. Shawrun ahradhanab. Evil causes to bark those having teeth, that is, the dogs. Fiddari rajul. There is a man in the house. 34. If of two nouns or words one be definite and the other indefinite, make the definite word the inchoative and the indefinite word the enouncer. 35. If both nouns be definite, mu'arifah, either the one or the other may be the inchoative. Example, Allahu alihuna, God is our God, or our God is God. Adamu abuna. Adam is our father, or our father is Adam. Muhammadun nabiyuna. Muhammad is our prophet, or vice versa. 36. In certain cases, the inchoative al mubtada' note, there would appear to be some confusion and difference of opinion amongst grammarians in regard to these terms. Al Mubtada' and Al Khaber. De Sassi states that in the very sentence quoted in number 36, namely, Ma qa'imun Zayd, the word Zaydun is the inchoative and subject, and the word qa'imun, the enouncer and attribute, preceded by the negative particle Ma. Gram Arab, volume 2, number 718. In the last edit, 1831, of de Sassi's Gram Arab, the example given varies a little, inasmuch as the words are put in the dual instead of the singular number. Ma qa iman rajulan. The two men are not standing. Gram Arab, volume 2, page 515, number 950. The point, according to de Sassi, appears to turn on the circumstance of the agreement or non-agreement in gender and number of the attribute with the subject when preceded by a negative or interrogative particle 
that is, if they so agree, the subject is the inchoative, and if not, the attribute becomes the inchoative governing the subject, which is then regarded as the agent in the nominative case. End note. Is not regarded as the subject of the proposition, but as the attribute. Example. مَا قَائِمٌ زَيْد Zaid is not standing. أَقَائِمٌ زَيْد Is Zaid standing? In these examples, the inchoative is the attribute صِفَّة coming after the negative particle ما and after the interrogative particle a. 37. Sometimes the announcer خَبَر is a nominal proposition جُمْلَةٌ إِسْمِيَّة Example Zaidun Abuhu Qaim Zaid his father, that is Zaid's father, is standing. In this example, Zaidun is the subject and inchoative, and Abuhu Qaim is a complete nominal proposition, number three, which here performs the function of the predicate or attribute. thirty eight. Sometimes the announcer Khobar is a verbal proposition jumlatun fi'liyah number three example zaydun qama abu zayd his father stood that is zayd's father arose in this example zaydun is the subject and inchoative having for a predicate the complete verbal proposition qama abu his father arose composed of a verb and an agent thirty nine Sometimes the announcer is a conditional proposition. Jumlatun shartiyya. Number four. Example. Zaydun in ja'ani ekram. Zayd, if he come to me, I will honor him. Forty. Sometimes the announcer is a circumstantial proposition. Jumlatun dorfiyya. Number four. Example. Zaydun khulfaka awfid dar. Zaid is behind you or in the house. 41. There must necessarily be a pronoun, as in the foregoing examples, having reference to the inchoative, but it may be omitted when the meaning is sufficiently evident from the context. Example. Assemnu munwani bidirham. The oil, two pounds for a dirham. El burrul kurru bisitina dirhamen. The wheat, 7,100 pounds for 60 dirhams. 42. Sometimes the announcer precedes the inchoative. Fidari Zaid. In the house is Zaid. 43. There may correctly be several announcers. Erbar. For a single inchoative. Example. Zaidun alimun aqilun fadilun salih. Zaid is learned wise excellent honorable section four on the predicate of the particle in and its sister particles khobar in wa akhawatuha forty four this particle in and its sister particles an ka'an lakin layta and la'al are put before the subject and predicate of a proposition and govern the subject in the accusative and the predicate in the nominative case, and the predicate of in is the attribute. Example: In Zaydan Qaim. Indeed, Zaid is standing. Forty-five. The rules enumerated in the foregoing section in regard to the announcer Khobar or predicate are also applicable to the predicate of these particles. 46. The predicate of in cannot precede the noun of in, except it be a warf, that is, a circumstantial term of time or place. Example. In fidari zayd. Truly zayd is in the house. Section 5. On the noun of the defective verb kana and its sister verbs. Ismu kana wa akhwatuha. 47. The verb kana and its defective sister verbs, namely, sara, asbaha, amsa, aldha, walla, bata, 
ما برح ما فتئ ما زال من فك ما دام ليس govern the incoative or مبتدأ in the nominative case and it is called the noun of the verb كان and the announcer خبر in the accusative and it is called the predicate of the verb كان and the noun of the verb كان is the subject مسند إليه of the proposition example كان زيد قائما Zaid was standing. 48. The predicates of the verbs may correctly be made to precede their nouns in the order of construction. Example. كان قائما زيد. Zaid was standing. 49. The whole of the above imperfect verbs, with the exception of ليس and those verbs to which ما is prefixed, may themselves be preceded by their predicate. Example, قائمًا كان زيد Standing was زيد And so on of the rest. Section 6 on the noun of the two particles ما and لا which resemble the verb ليس اسم لا ولا المستشبهتين بليس 50 these two particles govern their noun, which is the subject musnad ilayhi of the proposition in the nominative case. Example Ma Zaidun Qaiman Zaid is not standing. La Rajalun Fbola Mink There is not anyone better than you. The particle la is used with an indefinite nekira noun only. Section 7. On the predicate of the particle la when used to deny the existence of a thing in general. Khoberu la li nafil jins. 51. The particle la of universal negation governs its predicate, which is the predicate of the proposition in the nominative case. Example. La rojula qa'im. There is no one standing. End of chapters 1 to 2 from Arabic Syntax Chiefly selected from the Hidayatun Nah A treatise on syntax in the original Arabic by Henry Brown Beresford Read by Abu Jalal Recorded in Oxford, England Al Ajrumiya by Ibn Ajurum al Sinhaji, translated by the Reverend J. J. S. Perone, recorded for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. 1. Chapter on the Sentence A sentence is a compound expression which adequately conveys our meaning. It consists of three parts, the noun, the verb, and the particle which has a signification. The noun is known by khoft, the inflection of the genitive, by tanween, and by the addition of the article. The particles of khoft, a, min, ila, an, ala, fi, rubba, ba, kaf, lam. And the particles of adjuration, namely, wa, ba, and ta. The verb is known by qad, se, and sawfa, and the quiescent ta of the feminine gender. The particle is a word to which neither the sign of the noun nor that of the verb applies. 2. Chapter on inflection and its parts. Inflection is the change of the last syllable of words according to the difference of the words which expressly or virtually govern them. 
The parts of inflection are for Rof, Nasb, Khafd, and Jazm. Note. The terms Rof and Nasb, applied to nouns, denote respectively the nominative and accusative, as Khafd does the genitive. When applied to verbs, they refer respectively to the indicative and subjunctive moods, as jazm does to the conditional. See Shear's Grammar, page 213, endnote. Of these, raf, nasp, and khafd belong to nouns, which are not susceptible of jazm, and of the same, raf, nasp, and jazm are peculiar to verbs, which do not admit khafd. 3. Chapter on the Knowledge of the Signs of Inflection Rafa has four signs. Bomme, Wow, Elif, and Noon. Bomme is the sign of Rafa in four cases. In the singular of the noun, in the irregular plural, in the regular feminine plural, and in the aorist of the verb, when no addition is made to its termination. Well is the sign of Rof in two cases, in the regular plural masculine and in the five following words Ebuk, Echuk, Hamuk, Fuk, and Dumel. Elif is the sign of Rof exclusively in the dual of nouns. Noon is the sign of Rof in the aorist of the verb when there is added to it the pronoun of the dual or the pronoun of the plural, or the pronoun of the second person feminine singular. Nasp has five signs. Fetha, Alif, Kesra, Ya, and the apocope of Noon. Fetha is the sign of Nasp in three cases. In the singular of the noun, in the irregular plural, and in the aorist of the verb, when nothing is added to its termination and when it is under the influence of a nasb governing word. Elif is the sign of nasb in the five nouns. For example, ra'ayta abaka wa akhak and the like. Kasra is the sign of nasb in the regular plural feminine. Ya is the sign of nasb in the dual and plural. The apocope of noon is the sign of nasb in the verbs whose rafa is determined by noon. Khafd has three signs. Kesra, ya, and fetha. Kesra is the sign of khafd in three cases. In the declinable noun singular, in the irregular declinable plural, and in the regular plural feminine. Ya is the sign of khafd in three cases. In the five nouns, in the dual, and in the plural. Fetha is the sign of khafd in the noun which is indeclinable. Jazm has two signs, sukun and apocope. Sukun is the sign of jazm in the aorist of the verb whose termination is regular. Apocope is the sign of jazm in the aorist whose termination is irregular and in verbs whose raf is determined by noon. 4. Chapter on the inflected words. The inflected words are of two classes. One class is inflected with vowels, and the other with consonants. Those which are inflected with vowels are of four kinds. The noun singular, the irregular plural, the regular plural feminine, and the aorist of the verb, which has nothing added to its termination. All these words are characterized in raf by dhamma, in nasb by fetha, in khafd by kasra, and are jasmated with sukun. To these there are three cases of exceptions. The regular plural feminine, which in nasb has kasra, the indeclinable noun, which in khafd has fetha, and the aorist of the verb, irregular in the last syllable, 
which is jasmated by the apocope of the final syllable. Those words which are inflected with consonants are of four kinds. The dual, the regular plural masculine, the five nouns, and the five following verbal forms. Namely, يفعلاني, تفعلاني, يفعلون, تفعلون, تفعلين. The dual is characterized in raf by alif, and in khoft and nasb by ya. The regular plural masculine has waw in the nominative and ya in the accusative and genitive. The five nouns have waw in the nominative, alif in the accusative, and ya in the genitive. The five verbal forms are characterized in raf by noon and in nasb and jazm by the apocope of the same letter. 5. Chapter on the verbs. Verbs have three tenses. The maudi, preterite, the madari'a, aorist, and the amr, imperative. Boraba, yadribu, idrib. The preterite has always a fatha in the last syllable. The imperative always jazm. The aorist is the form which commences with one of the four servile letters comprised in the technical word eneitu, and it is always in rof, except when it is influenced by a word governing nasb or jesm. The particles which govern nasb are ten, namely en, len, iden, ke, lemuke, and the lamb of negation, hatta, and the corresponding particles, that is, those which introduce the apodosis, fa, waw, and aw. The particles which are followed by jazm are eighteen, namely, lem, lemma, alem, alemma, the lamb of command and entreaty, la in forbidding and entreating, in, ma, men, mehma, idma, ay, meta, ayana, ayna, anna, haythuma, kaythuma, and idha in poetry. 6. Chapter on the nouns in raf. The nouns in raf are of seven kinds, namely the agent and the patient whose agent is not named, the subject and its predicate, the subject of kana and the analogous verbs, the predicate of inna and the analogous particles, and the word in apposition with the rafaited noun, which is of four kinds, namely adjective, conjunctive, corroborative, and permutative. 7. Chapter on the agent. The agent is the noun in raf whose action is previously mentioned. It is of two kinds, when the agent is expressed and when it is contained in the verb, literally open and concealed. The agent is expressed when one says qama zayd, stetit zayd, etc. It is implied when one says borabtu werberawi. 8. Chapter on the patient whose agent is not named. This is the noun in raf whose agent is not expressed with it. When the verb is in the preterite, the first syllable has dhamma and the penultimate kesra. But when the verb is in the aorist, the first syllable has dhamma and the penultimate fetha. The patient is of two kinds, expressed and contained in the verb. It is expressed when one says boribe zaid where bratus est zaid, etc. It is implied when one says boribatu, where bratus sum, etc. and the like. 9. Chapter on the subject and predicate. The subject is the noun in rof, the nominative, uninfluenced by any expressly governing words. The predicate is the noun in rof which belongs to the subject. For example, Zaydun qa'im, Zayd est stance, etc. The subject is of two kinds, expressed and implied. 
It is expressed when mention has already been made of it. It is implied in twelve words, namely, ana, nahnu, ente, etc., as for instance, nahnu qa'imun, ana qa'im, and the like. The predicate is also of two kinds, simple and not simple. It is simple in such expressions as Zaydun qa'im, etc. It is not simple in four cases. When it consists of a preposition and the word governed by it, when it is adverbial, when it consists of a verb with its agent, and when it is a subject with its predicate. Thus, Zaydun fiddar, Zayd est in domo, and Zaydun indek, Zayd est apud te, and Zaydun qama abu, Zayd stetit pater eus, and Zaydun jariatuhu vahiba, Zayd serwa eus abit. 10. Chapter on the governing words which exercise an influence on the subject and the predicate. These are of three kinds, kerne and the analogous verbs, inne and the analogous particles, and wanne and the analogous verbs. As to kerne and the analogous verbs, they always have the noun, the subject, in rof, and the predicate in nasb. They are kerne, emse, etc. 13. And the different tenses of them, as Kane, Yakune, Kun, and Aspeha, Yusbeh, Aspeh. Thus, Kane, Zaydun, Qaiman, literally, Zayd est stantem, and the like. As regards Inna and the corresponding particles, they have the noun in Nasp, and the predicate in Raf. They are Inna, Anna, etc. 6. Thus, inna zaydan qa'im, literally, quod ad zayd illa est stans. Inna and anna are used to give force to the expression in a way of corroboration. Lakinna in exception. Ka'anna in comparison. Later in expressing a wish. And la'alla in expressing hope and possibility. Monantu and the analogous verbs have the noun and its predicate in nasb, because they are both of them the object of the verb. The verbs of this kind are vonentu, hasibtu, etc. 10. Thus, vonentu zayden muntoliqan, and so on. 11. Chapter on the adjective. The adjective is a word in apposition with that to which it belongs whether it be in raf, in nasb, or in khafd, whether it be definite or indefinite. For instance, qama zaydul la'aqil, etc., etc. It is definite in five cases, as personal pronoun, for example, ana and ent, as a proper name, for example, zayd and mecca, as demonstrative pronoun, for example, hadha, hadhihi, as noun with the article, for example, al rajul, al ghulam, and every word which is placed in conjunction with any one of these four. Indefinite is every noun which comprehends a whole species without marking any individual of the species rather than another. Consequently, almost every word which takes the article as El Rajulu wal Feros. 12. Chapter on the Conjunctive Word. The particles of conjunction are ten, namely, we, fe, tumme, etc., and hatta in some cases. And if by means of them you unite a word to a word in raf, it is also placed in raf. If to a word in nasb, it is placed in nasb. If to a word in khafd, it is placed in khafd. If to a word in jazm, it is itself jazmated. Thus, qama zaydun wa amr, etc., etc. 13. 
Chapter on the corroborative. The corroborative is a word in apposition with the corroborated word, like it is in raf, in nasb, or in khafb, and is definite. It occurs in certain words, as anyefs, etc., and ejma, and the appositives of ejma, namely ekta, etc., etc., as qama zaydun nafsu, etc. For chapter on the permutative, the permutative occurs when one noun is changed for another or one verb for another, and it follows it in the whole of its inflections. That is, the word which is substituted is always of the same inflection as the word for which it is substituted. It is of four kinds. The change of one thing for another, the change of a part for the whole, the change of the content for the containing, and the change in mistake. Thus you say, Je'ani Zaydun Achuk Zaid came to me, I mean thy brother, and I ate the cake, I mean a third part of it, and Zaid, I mean his learning, was useful to me, and I saw Zaid, I mean the horse. In the last instance, one would say Al Feros, but makes a mistake and says Zaid instead. 15. Chapter on the nouns in Nausp. The words used in nasp, the accusative, are fifteen in number, namely the object of the transitive verb, the infinitive, the adverb of time, the adverb of place, the word of circumstance, definition, exception, the noun governed by le, the vocative, the predicate of the verb kerne, and the analogous verbs, the noun governed by inne, and the analogous particles, the object on account of which a thing is done, the object wherewith, and lastly, the word in apposition with the word in nausp, which is of four kinds, namely, adjective, conjunctive, corroborative, and permutative. 16. Chapter on the object of the transitive verb. This is the noun in nausp, on which the action of the verb passes. For example, Borobtu Zaiden, and it is of two kinds, expressed and implied. The expressed is something already mentioned. The implied is twofold. Connected, that is, joined as an affix to the verb, and unconnected, that is, forming a word by itself. The connected is of twelve forms, as Borobani, etc., the unconnected is also of twelve forms, as iyaye, etc. 17. Chapter on the infinitive. The adverb of time is a noun denoting time placed in the accusative with the same meaning as if it were preceded by the preposition fi, thus eliom, today, and the like. The adverb of place is a noun denoting locality, placed in the accusative, with the same meaning as if it were preceded by the preposition fi, as amem, before, and the like. Chapter 19. Chapter on the word of circumstance. The word of circumstance is the noun in nasp, the accusative, which explains something that is uncertain as regards external circumstances. For example, Je'e Zaydun Rakiben, Zayd came riding, and the like. The word of circumstance is always indefinite without the article and stands only at the end of the sentence, but the word to which it belongs is always definite. 20. Chapter on the defining word. The defining word is the noun in nausp, which explains something that is uncertain as regards the essence of a thing. As for instance, etc., etc. Et it is always indefinite and stands only at the end of a sentence. 
21. Chapter on the exception. The particles of exception are eight, namely, illa, ghayr, etc. The word accepted by means of illa is in nasb, when the sentence is affirmative and complete. Thus, qam al qawmu illa zaydan. The people stood except Zaid. But when the sentence is negative and complete, it may have the permutative or the nausp, according to the rules of exception. Thus, ma qama ahadun illa Zaid, or illa Zaidan. And if the sentence be defective, it, the thing accepted, depends upon the governing words not upon the particle of exception as for instance ma qama illa zayd there stood not any one but zayd i beat not any one but zayd etc the sentences are elliptical the words in brackets not being expressed the word accepted by ghayr siwan and sawa'a is always in khafd and the word accepted by khala Ade and Hasha may stand either in Khafd or in Nasb. Thus, Qam al Qawmu, Khola Zaydan, or Zayd, etc. 22. Chapter on the negation La. Know that the negation La nasbates the indefinite word without Tanween when it immediately precedes an indefinite word and the negation la is not repeated as la rajulun fidder literally non est virum in domo when it does not immediately precede the indefinite word it must be followed by the nominative and tenuin and the negation la must be repeated as non est in domo vir neque femina when it is repeated it may or may not exercise its influence thus le rodule fideri walemroe or if one will one may say le rodulun and lemroetun twenty three chapter on the vocative the vocative is of five kinds the vocative of the simple proper name of the indefinite word in a special sense of the indefinite word in a not special sense of the word which has another depending upon it and of the word assimilated to such a word as regards the simple proper name and the indefinite word used in a special sense they are always formed with bomme without tenween as ya zaidu ya rajulu as to the other three kinds they are always in nausb twenty four chapter on the object on account of which this is the noun in nausb which one employs to show the reason why the action takes place as qama zaydun ijalalan li amr etc twenty five chapter on the object wherewith this is the noun in nausp which one employs to denote the object with which the action is done as ja al amir wal jaysh the amir came with his army etc as regards the predicate dependent on kerna and the analogous verbs and the noun governed by inna and the analogous particles both have been already mentioned in the chapter on the nouns in raf the word in apposition is similar and has also been mentioned in the same place. 26. Chapter on the nouns in Khafb. The nouns Khafbated, that is placed in the genitive, are of three classes. A noun may be in Khafb either as governed by a particle or as being in construction with another noun or as being in apposition with another word in Khafb as regards the word in khafd governed by a particle this takes place after the particles min ila an ala fi rubbe bi ke li and the particles of adjuration namely we bi te 
and wow in the meaning of rubbe and also with mud and mundu as regards the word put in khoft in construction with another noun we have an instance in such an expression as ghulamu zayd the slave of zayd this however is of two kinds it is either equivalent to the relation expressed by the particle li as in the preceding example or it is equivalent to that expressed by the particle min as thawbu khaz a garment made of silk etc etc end of al ajrumiya the arabic text by ibn ajrum al sinhaji with an english translation by the reverend j j s perone read by abu jalal in oxford england book one the meat amil by abu bakr abdul qahir bin abdul rahman bin muhammad al jurjani from the meat amil and sharh meat amil two elementary treatises on arabic syntax translated from the original arabic with annotations philological and explanatory in the form of a perpetual commentary the rules exemplified by a series of stories and citations from various arabian authors with an appendix containing the original text by abraham lockett read for the arabic language learning collection volume 1 this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by abu jalal book 1 the mi'at amil by abdul qahir al jurjani translated by abraham lockett nuskhatu mi'at amil translation of the mi'at amil book 1 part 1 of the hundred governing powers arabic syntax comprehends an hundred governing powers of which some are lafwi or verbal and some ma'nawi or absolute of those termed lafwi or verbal there are two classes the first sama'i or the prescriptive government the second qiyasi or the analogous which with two of the ma'nawi or absolute comprise the hundred governing powers note a summary view of the whole mi'at amil is here annexed there are an hundred governing powers in arabic syntax of which some are verbal and some absolute the verbal is divided in two classes the first prescriptive the second analogous the prescriptive contains 91 the analogous 7 and the absolute 2 in all 100 the prescriptive is divided into 13 classes the first class contains 17 prepositions which govern the noun alone in the genitive or relative case the second class contains six particles govern the noun in the accusative or objective and the predicate in the nominative the third class contains two particles govern the noun in the nominative and the predicate in the objective case the fourth class contains seven particles govern the noun in the objective case the fifth class contains four particles prefixed to the aorist tense of verbs change the raf'a of the final letter into nasb the sixth class contains 
Five particles prefixed to the aorist render the final letter quiescent. The seventh class contains seven words prefixed to the aorist render the final letter quiescent. They possess a conditional or subjunctive meaning, like the particle in. The eighth class contains four nouns, govern an indefinite noun in the genitive or relative case, when employed in the temyiz or noun of specification. The ninth class contains nine words called verbal nouns, of which six govern the objective case and have an imperative meaning, and three the nominative and have a preterite signification. The tenth class contains thirteen defective verbs, govern the noun in the nominative and predicate in the accusative. The eleventh class contains four verbs of propinquity, govern the noun in the nominative case. The twelfth class contains four verbs of praise and censure, govern generic nouns with the definite article in the nominative case. The thirteenth class contains seven verbs of doubt and certainty, govern a double accusative or two nouns in the objective case. The second, explaining or announcing something regarding the first. The analogous governors are seven and are as follows. First, a verb whether active or neuter. Second, a derivative adjective. Third, a participle active. Fourth, a participle passive. Fifth, an infinitive. Sixth, a noun governing another in the genitive case. Seventh, an ism term. The absolute is of two sorts. First, the nominative absolute. Second, the aorist. End note. The semai or prescriptive government, is divided into thirteen classes. Class first. Tujjerul isme thaqot. The first class contain seventeen particles or prepositions which govern the noun alone in the genitive or relative case, namely, be, min, an, ila, fi, lam, rubbe, ala, kaf, mud, mundu, hatta, wa ul qasem, ta ul qasem, hasha, khala, ada. Examples. Note the above particles admit of various significations. The following are most usual. B signifies occasionally with, from, by, in, etc. Min, from. An, from, etc. Ila, to, until, even to. Fi, in. Li, appropriation, possession, an oath. Rubbe, some, a few. Ala, upon, above. Ke, similitude, as, like. Mud and mundu, since, from. Hatta, even to, as far as. Well and te are both particles of swearing. Hasha, khale, and ade are nearly synonymous and signify besides, except, etc. For a more particular explication of their various senses, see commentary. End note. Merartu bi Zaid. I went near and passed Zaid. Sirtu min al-Basrati ila al-Kufah. 
I traveled from Basra to Kufa. Romaitu sehme anil qaws. I shot the arrow from the bow. Zaydun fid dar. Zayd is in the house. El malu li Zayd. The property is Zayd's or belongs to Zayd. Rubbe rajulin laqaytu. I visited a few men. Zaydun ala setuh. Zaid is on the terrace or platform of the house. Zaidun kel esed. Zaid is like a lion. Ma ra'aytuhu mudh wa mundu yawmil jum'ah. I did not see him since Friday. Akeltu samakata hatta ra'asiha. I ate the fish even to the head. That is, the head inclusive. Wallahi la af'alanna kadha. Tallahi la af'alanna kadha. By God, I will certainly do so. Ja'anil qawmu hasha Zayd. The tribe all came to me except Zayd. Ra'aytul qawma khala Zayd. I saw all the tribe except Zayd. Mirartu bil qawmi ada Zayd. I passed by all the tribe except Zayd. Class second. And now Athani. Hurufun tansibul isma wa tarfuul khabar. The second class contains six particles that govern the noun. In the accusative or objective case, and the predicate of the proposition in the nominative, namely, inna, anna, ka'anna, lakinna, laita, la'alla. Examples. Note The following are the usual significations of the above six particles. Inna, Certainly, verily, truly, anna, the same, ka'anna, like, as if, lakinna, but, nevertheless, etc. Leite and la'alla are used in the sense of supplication or wishing. The distinction between them is this that the former is used indifferently to express a wish, whether possible or impossible of attainment, while the latter is restricted in its application to the first. It may be translated, perhaps it may be. End note. Inna Zaydan qa'im. Certainly Zayd is a standard. بَلَغَنِي أَنَّ زَيْدًا مُنْطَلِقَ It reached me, or it was known to me, that Zayd was certainly a goer. كَأَنَّ زَيْدًا أَسَد As if Zayd were a lion. قَامَ زَيْدٌ لَكِنَّ عَمْرًا جَالِس Zayd stood, but Amr is a sitter. Leita shabab aid. Would to God that youth was a returner. Laalla amran kharij. I hoped, or perhaps, amr is a goer out. Class third. An naw athalithu harfani terfa'ani al isma wa tansiban al khabar wa huma ma. The third class contains two particles that govern the noun in the nominative case and the predicate in the accusative or objective, namely ma and la, resembling the imperfect verb laysa. Examples Note ma and la are synonymous negative particles 
and are distinguished in their application thus. Me precedes either a definite or indefinite noun. Le, an indefinite only. End note. Me zaydun fardilen. Zaid is not a learned man. La rajulun afdolamink. There is no man more learned than thou. Class fourth. Anaw rabi u hurufun tansibul isma fakot. The fourth class contains seven particles that govern the noun alone in the objective case, namely alwaw, illa, ya, aya, haya, ay, hamzatul maftuha. Examples. Note the objective particle wow or wow governing the accusative case always means with. Illa has an acceptive signification. Ya, aya, haya, ay, and hamzatul maftuha are vocative particles, of which the first is used indifferently whether the object is distant or near the second and third when the object is distant the fourth and fifth when the object is near End note. the water was equal with the wood all the tribe came to me except zaid Ya Abdullah, Ya Abdullah, Ay Abdullah, Ay Abdullah, O servant of God. Class fifth. An now al khamis huruf tansib al fi'l al mudari'. The fifth class contains four particles, which, being prefixed to the aorist of verbs, change rafa of the final letter into nasb namely n len k iden examples note the particle n is here called n mastoriya because it gives the verb to which it is prefixed the sense of the infinitive len restricts the verb to the future time in a confirmed negative sense. Kai means cause or motive. Iden synonymous with then at that time and restricts the verb to the future time. Endnote. Karehtu en tadorib. I disliked or had an aversion to your beating or to this that thou shouldst beat. Len tef'al, thou never will do or act. I came to you that you might grant me my right. Eslemtu iden tedekhul al jannah. I embraced the Muslim faith. Answer, then you will enter heaven. Class 6. النوع السادس حروف تجزم الفعل المضارع. The sixth class contains five particles, which, being prefixed to the aorist tense of verbs, render the final letter quiescent, namely, in, lem, لما, لام الأمر, لا أنهي. Examples. Note. The particle in is synonymous with if. Lem and lemma are negative particles distinguished in their application thus. Lem is used to denote a simple, lemma an absolute negative, importing that the action was never performed at any past period of time. Examples Lem yaburib. He did not beat. Lemma yaburib. He never did beat. 
for an explication of the particles in class the seventh see the commentary and note in de krimni ukrimk if you honor me or respect me i will respect you lem yabrib zaid lem ma yabrib zaid zaid did not strike liabrib zaid let him zaid strike la tabrib zaidan do not strike zaid class seventh an naw sabi'u asma'un tajzimu li fi'li almudari'a ala ma'na'in the seventh class contains nine words which prefixed to the aorist render the final letter quiescent they possess a conditional or hypothetical signification like the particle in namely men ma meta mahma ay aynama anna haythuma ivma examples men yukrimni ukrim he who honors me i will honor him ma tasna elsna whatever you make i will make meta tadhab adhab whenever you go i will go mahma takun akun wherever you are there will i be ayyahum tadrib albrib whom soever you strike i will strike aynama tajlis ajlis anna taqud aqud wherever you sit i will sit haythuma tadhab adhab wherever you go i will go ivma taf'al af'al at the time or when you do it i will do it class 8 an naw athaminu asma'un tansibu ala tamyiz isman nakira the eighth class contains four nouns which govern a general or indefinite noun in the objective case being the tamyiz or noun or noun of specification note the word tamyiz signifies literally separation segregation and is applied in arabic grammar to denote the second of two substantive nouns when employed for the purpose of explaining some uncertainty supposed to exist in the preceding noun to which it is imputed the cardinal number ahad ashar eleven for instance as exemplified in the text is the mere name of a certain species of quantity and therefore incapable of conveying to the mind any other idea than a certain aggregate of units there came to me eleven eleven what men horses or dogs some word is evidently required to expel the obscurity or in other words to separate some specific object from the mass of possibles in order to give a determinate character to the sentence this word the arabian grammarians have therefore with analogical propriety termed the tamyiz or as it may be rendered in english the noun of specification kada and kayin are synonymous the latter however is sometimes used interrogatively end note the first of these is rashar ten when compounded with ahad one ithnain two etc as far as ninety-nine examples ja ani ahad rashara rajulan there came to me eleven men the second is kem 
how many as kem rajulen aindek how many men are with literally near you the third is kedha some as kedha dirhamen aindek you have got some money dirhams the fourth is kayin some or how many as kayin rajulen aindek how many men are with you class ninth anyaw tasi'u kalimatun tusamma asma'a al-af'al ba'dha tarfa'u wa ba'dha tansib the ninth class contains nine words termed asma'u af'al or verbal nouns namely nouns having a verbal signification of these six have an imperative sense and govern the noun in the accusative or objective case namely ruwayde balha dunake alayke hayyahal ha examples ruwayde zayden ay amhil zayden release or permit zayd to go for a little balha zayden a da zayden leave zayd at liberty that is let him do as he pleases dunaka zayden ay khudh zayden seize zayd alayka zayden ay alzim zayden be sure you continue by zayd namely do not let zayd go till you have gained your object hayyahal zayden ay i'ti zayden come to zayd ha zayden ay khud zayden take or seize zayd the remaining three have a preterite signification and govern the noun in the nominative namely hayhata shatana sar'ana examples hayhata zaydun ay ba'da zaydun Zaid was distant. Shatana Zaidun wa Amr. Ay iqtaraqa Zaidun wa Amr. Zaid and Amr mutually separated. Sar'ana Zaidun ay saru'a Zaidun. Zaid hastened or made haste. Class 10th النوع العاشر أفعال ناقصة ترفع الاسم وتنصب الخبر. The tenth class contains thirteen words termed أفعال ناقصة or defective verbs, which govern the noun in the nominative and the predicate in the objective case, namely كان صار أصبح أمسى أضحى ظل بات ما برح ما فتئ ما زال ما إن غك ما دام ليس examples كان زيد قائما زيد was standing صار الفقير غنيا the poor man became rich أصبح زيد عالما. In the morning, زيد was sagacious or intelligent. أمسى زيد قاريا. In the evening, زيد was reading. أضحى زيد مسارفا. In the forenoon, زيد was travelling. ظل زيد صائما. In or during the day, زيد was a faster. بات زيد نائمًا. In or through the whole night, Zayd was sleeping. That is, he passed the whole night in sleep. ما برح زيد عالمًا. Zayd did not desist from being learned. Namely, he was always learned. ما فتئ زيد قائمًا. Zayd did not leave off or was always standing. 
Mazela Zaidun Aliman. Zaid did not cease from or was always learned. Men Rokke Bekrun Aqilan. Bakr did not fail to be or was always wise. Ijlis ma dama Zaidun Jalisan. Sit as long as Zaid sits. Laysa Zaidun Qa'iman. Zaid is not standing. Class 11th. Anyaw ul hadi ashara af'alu al muqarrabati terfi' usman wahidan. The 11th class contains four words termed af'al muqarrabah or verbs of propinquity which govern the noun in the nominative namely asa kade karabe awshaka examples note there is a distinction in the meaning and application of the above four verbs of propinquity which shall be noticed in the proper place and note asa zaidun an yakhruja kada zaidun an yakhruja كرب زيد أن يخرج أو شك زيد يجتبي زيد hastened his coming out or زيد was near coming out or زيد was about to come out class twelfth النوع الثاني عشر أفعال المدح والذم ترفع اسم الجنس المعرف باللام the twelfth class contains four words termed af'alul madhi wa them or verbs of praise and censure which govern generic nouns made definite by the article al in the nominative case namely ni'ma bi'sa sa'a habba examples ni'ma ar-rajul zayd zayd is a good man Bitsa Rajulu Amr Amr is a bad man. Se El Rajulu Bakr Bakr is a vicious or bad man. Habbadal Rajulu Zaid Zaid is a good man. Class thirteenth and now Othali Thu Ashara Fialu Shikki Wal Yaqeen Tadehulu Ala Ismaini Thanihuma. The thirteenth class contains seven words termed Af'alu Shikki Wal Yaqeen, or verbs of doubt and certainty, which govern a double accusative, or two nouns in the objective case. The second having some descriptive or explicative reference to the first, namely Hasibtu, Wanantu. Khiltu, Ra'aytu, Alimtu, Wajadtu, Za'amtu. Examples. Hasibtu Zaydan, Fadilan. I conceived or looked upon Zayd as learned. Wanantu Bakron, Na'iman. I considered or imagined Bakr sleeping. Khiltu Khalidan, Qa'iman. I imagined Khalid standing. Ra'aytu Zaydan Aqilan. I saw that Zayd was intelligent or wise. Alimtu Zaydan Aminan. I knew that Zayd was trustworthy. Wajadtul Bayta Rahinan. I found the house mortgaged. Za'amtu Shaytana Shakuran. I supposed Satan a thanksgiver. Of the analogous government, al qiyasiyatu minha sabatu awamil. The class termed qiyasi or analogous has seven governors and consists of the following parts of speech, namely, al fi'lu ala al itlaq, a verb universally, al sifatu al mushabbah. A derivative adjective or adjective noun, ismul fa'il, a participle active, ismul maf'ul, a participle passive, al an infinitive.
الاسم المضاف a noun governing another in the genitive or relative case الاسم التام a perfect or completive noun namely a noun terminating either in tanween or what is considered as a substitute for the tanween namely the noon of the dual or plural number or a noun followed by another in the genitive case in all which cases it requires the tamyiz or noun of specification note the government of the above parts of speech will be exemplified in the second book End note. of the absolute government al ma'nawiyatu minha adadan the term ma'nawi or absolute has two peculiarities of regimen of these the first requires in the absence of any verbal governor the subject and predicate in the nominative case the second is the aorist tense of a verb which in the absence of certain governing particles receives the vowel lomme or in other words the final letter of the tense is marked marfu end of the mi'et amil at the conclusion of the first book it may not be unnecessary to offer a few general observations on the nature divisions and peculiar distinctions of the hundred governing powers a clear and comprehensive conception of which will tend to facilitate in a considerable degree the future progress of the student the subject of the mi'at amil is grammatical regimen or government and is defined to be that part of syntax which regulates the dependency of words and the alterations which one occasions in another this is divided into two general classes or divisions the first termed verbal or the relative or dependent government in contradiction to the second which flows from the sense and is therefore properly absolute or independent in the verbal or relative the word governed necessarily depends on or is influenced by some other word in construction the absolute is totally independent of all such influence having the intrinsic power of assuming a certain grammatical character or indication of case which in the arabic language is invariably nominative for it must be remembered that in this language there is a state in which nouns are found to exist before they are distinguished by any marks of annexation or indications of case such for instance as the word zayd deprived of the tanween which is considered the primary or radical form of the noun and must necessarily be connected with some other word in construction before it can assume any grammatical character indicative of case the nominative therefore which always denotes a certain specific relation is distinguished by a termination or mark of inflection significant and peculiar to itself superscribed over the final letter of the noun in its radical form as qama zaydun zayd stood under the first species of government namely the verbal or relative are included two distinct classes or the prescriptive and analogous of these the first relates to a certain specific number of words the government of which is settled and authorized by long usage and custom while the latter is restricted to the government of a certain class of words in which you reason by analogy from one to another and consequently determine their influence in speech to be everywhere regular 
and uniform. The second form of government, which has been translated absolute or independent, is of a twofold nature. The first governing the subject and predicate, the second the aorist tense of a verb, which is said to resemble in sundry particulars a noun and, in the absence of any verbal governor, assumes the vowel bomme, namely, the final letter of the tense is marked marfu'a. These peculiarities of regimen have been variously accounted for by grammarians and shall be noticed in their proper place. The government in both instances is said to flow from the sense and to be totally independent of any other word in construction and seems therefore to resemble that case in the Greek language which certain grammarians have termed the nominative absolute. The above remarks will perhaps be sufficient to convey a general idea of Arabic government. For a more minute and particular analysis of the subject, together with the various significations and peculiarities of the hundred governing powers, the reader is referred to the commentary on this book. End of Book 1 The Mi'at Amil by Abdul Qahir Al Jurjani. Translated by Abraham Lockett. Read by Abu Jalal. An Arabian tale illustrating the particles of the fourth class. From the Mi'at Amil and Sharhu Mi'at Amil, two elementary treatises on Arabic syntax, translated from the original Arabic with annotations philological and explanatory in the form of a perpetual commentary by Abdul Qahir ibn Abdul Rahman al Jurjani, translated by Abraham Lockett. Read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Hadha tasjilun li LibriVox. Kullu tasjilati LibriVox fi majalli al-aam. Li mazidin min al-ma'lumat, awli al-musharakah, zur al-mawqa, LibriVox nuqta. Org. The various particles in the fourth class are illustrated in the following Arabian tale. Hikaya. قيل إن بعض الأدباء مر ذات يوم من الأيام على نحوي يدرس في دارة له وبين يديه صبي يقرأ في النحو. فوقف بأزاء بابه ليسبع قراءة الصبي فسمعه يقول يا سيدي إذا قلت خرج الناس إلا زيدا وقيل لي لأي سبب لم يخرج زيد فما أقول فقال الشيخ قل إنه مشتغل بالضرب عمر وقال الصبي أحسنت فإذا قلت قام القوم إلا حمارا لأي علة لم يقم الحمار فما أقول فقال الشيخ قل إنه مشتغل بأكل العلف قال الصبي أحسنت فإذا قلت جاء الأمير والجيش وقيل لي ما الذي جاء بالأمير وجيشه فما أقول فقال الشيخ قل إنهم جاءوا بحكم هذا الشيخ لضربي فصرخ الصبي ونادى يا أمة محمد أدركوني 
أي أخي أخي أخاك أي أبدي الواحة الواحة هيا قومي العجل العجل فإن الشيخ قد جن ولذا أمر بضربي ثم ولى هاربا فضحك الأديب منهما ومضى لشأنه Story A man of learning went one day to the house of a grammarian who happened at the time to have a boy before him reading syntax the learned man stopped at the door to hear the boy read and heard him say to his master o oh, sir when i say all the people went out but zaid and am asked why did not zaid go out also what answer shall i give say replied the master that he was busy beating amr very well said the boy but when i say the tribe rose up all but the ass and am asked why did not the ass rise up too what should i answer answer said the pedant that he was busy eating grass good said the boy and when i say the general came along with the army and am asked what brought the general along with the army what should i say say said the schoolmaster they are come by order of this gentleman at the door to flog me on hearing which the boy uttered a shriek exclaiming protect me o followers of muhammad o father o brother o people hasten hasten to my assistance for this man at the door is certainly mad and has given orders to have me beaten and out he ran the man laughed heartily at both of them and went about his business end of an arabian tale illustrating the particles of the fourth class from the me at amil and sharhumi at amil by abdul qahir ibn abdul rahman al jurjani translated by abraham lockett recording by abu jalal A story illustrating the particles of the first class from the Mi'at Amil and Sharhu Mi'at Amil, two elementary treatises on Arabic syntax, translated from the original Arabic with annotations philological and explanatory in the form of a perpetual commentary by Abdul Qahir ibn Abdul Rahman al Jurjani. Translated by Abraham Lockett. Read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Hadha tasjilun li LibriVox. Kullu tasjilati LibriVox fi majallil aam. لمزيد من المعلومات أو للمشاركة زر الموقع LibriVox.org The particles of the fifth class are illustrated in the following story. حكاية قال بعض الغصلاء دخلت يوما على صديق لي وكان مغنيا حاذقا فقلت له جئتك الآن كي تسمعني ما يفرج همي فإني أصبحت اليوم مكروبا وما لدفعي اللهم علاج سوى الغناء وأحب أن تغني ببيتين مطربين فقال سمعا وطاعة ثم ترنما بهذين البيتين لما رحلتم عقود الصبر حليتم وفي صميم الحشا والقلب حليتم ما ضركم لو لمر العيش حليتم عندي حرام وعند الغير حليتم 
قَالَ فَطَرَبْتُ وَزَالَ عَنِّي الْهُمُّ الَّذِي كَانَ مُسْتَوْلِيًا عَلَى فُؤَادِي فَقُلْتُ لَهُ هَلْ يُوجَدُ فِي هَذِهِ الْبَلْدَةِ مَنْ يُضَاحِيكَ فِي الْغَنَاءِ قَالَ مَا أَظُنَّ وَلَنْ تَرَى مَنْ يَعْرِفُ الْغَنَاءِ فِي هَذِهِ الْمَدِينَةِ مِثْلِي ثم خرجت من مكانه وقلت له أنا آتيك غدا بين الصلاتين إن شاء الله تعالى فقال إذا أسمعك ما يسر به بالك فلما كان وقت المساء جاءني بعض إلا حباء فأخبرني أنا سلطة طوان أمر بقتل المغني فقلت ما العلة في ذلك قال إن نبتة السلطان سمعت غناءه اليوم فاضطربت ضربا شديدا وكادت أن تلقي من أعلى القصر فوثب إليها أبوها وأدخلها غرفة وقفل الباب عليها ثم أمر بقتله فحين سمعت الخبر هربت بعدا خرج الناس من عندي فحين سمعت الخبر هربت بعد أن خرج الناس من عندي خوفا على نفسي من القتل إذ كانت القضية مني Story I called one day, said a learned man, upon a friend of mine, who was an excellent singer, and said to him, I am come to you, that you may enliven me with a song, for I have been annoyed this morning, and know no remedy so effectual in dispelling care. I beg therefore that you will oblige me with a couple of good verses, he answered with great pleasure, and sung the following. Thy flight the knots of patience hath unwound. Note the verb halaitum in the original is used in four different senses. In the first it means to open, in the second to enter, in the third to sweeten, and in the fourth to be lawful. End note. Yet in my soul thy form is firmly bound. What were thy wrong, love's bitter to allay, with sweets from me withheld, on others cast away? I was delighted, says the narrator, with his harmony, and found myself relieved from the affliction that weighed upon my heart, and asked him, Do you think any other person in this city can be found a match for you in singing. No, said he, I do not think there is, nor will you ever find it in any such. I then took my leave of him, saying, I will call upon you tomorrow, please God, between the noon and evening prayers. Then, said he, I will sing you something that will please you. One of my friends called upon me in the evening, and informed me that the king had ordered the songster to be put to death. On what account, I asked. Because, replied he, the king's daughter heard him singing today, and was so enchanted with his voice, that she was nearly throwing herself down from the top of the palace, in ecstasy. The king ran, and drew her in from the window, and having locked the door, ordered the musician to be put to death. On hearing this, said the learned man, I made my escape, as soon as the people left me, fearing I might experience the same fate myself, I being, in fact, the cause of his singing. End of an Arabian tale, illustrating the particles in the fifth class, from the Mi'at Amil and Sharhumi at Amil, by Abdul Qahir al Jurjani, translated by Abraham Lockett, read by Abu Jalal. The Lord's Prayer in Arabic from the Gospel of Matthew. 
لعيسى المسيح من إنجيل متى. Translated by Van Dyke. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. هذا تسجيل لليبريفوكس كل تسجيلات ليبريفوكس في مجل العام لمزيد من المعلومات أو للمشاركة زور الموقع ليبريفوكس نقطة أورج الصلاة الربية فصلوا أنتم هكذا أبان الذي في السماوات ليتقد تس اسمك ليأتي ملكوتك لتكن مشيئتك كما في السماء كذلك على الأرض خبزنا كفافنا أعطنا اليوم واغفر لنا ذنوبنا كما نغفر نحن أيضا للمذنبين إلينا ولا تدخلنا في تجربة لكن نجنا من الشرير لأن لك الملك والقوة والمجد إلى الأبد آمين فإنه إن غفرتم للناس زلاتهم يغفر لكم أيضا أبوكم السماوي وإن لم تغفر للناس زلاتهم لا يغفر لكم أبوكم أيضا زلاتكم End of the Lord's Prayer in Arabic from the Gospel of Matthew Translated by Van Dyke Recording by Abu Jalal Nihayatu Tasjil Surah Al-Fatiha The opening surah of the Qur'an From Arabic reading lessons consisting of easy extracts from the best authors together with the vocabulary of all the words occurring in the text also some explanatory annotations etc by duncan forbes read in the original arabic for the arabic language learning collection volume one this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org هذا تسجيل للي كل تسجيلات لي في مجل العام لمزيد من المعلومات أو للمشاركة زور الموقع لي نقطة أورج Recording by Abu Jalal سورة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. 1. The chapter entitled The Opening Prayer. Note in Arabic Al Fatihat. This chapter is a prayer and held in great veneration by the Mohammedans, who give it several other honorable titles as the chapter of prayer, of praise, of thanksgiving, of treasure, etc. They esteem it as the quintessence of the whole Qur'an, and often repeat it in their devotions, both public and private, as the Christians do the Lord's Prayer. End note. Revealed at Mecca, in the name of God, 
the merciful, the compassionate. Praise be to God, the Lord of all creatures. Note the original words are Rabbil Alameen, which literally signifies Lord of the Worlds. But Alameen in this and other places in the Quran properly means the three species of rational creatures, men, genii, and angels. End note. The most merciful, the king of the day of judgment. Thee do we worship, and of thee do we beg assistance. Direct us in the right way, in the way of those to whom thou hast been gracious, not of those against whom thou art incensed, nor of those who go astray. End of Surah Al-Fatiha The chapter entitled The Opening Prayer From Arabic Reading Lessons Easy Extracts from the Best Authors Together with the vocabulary of all the words occurring in the text Also some explanatory annotations By Duncan Forbes Read by Abu Jalal Nihayatul Tasjil Surahs 87 to 114, the 60th Hizb of the Qur'an, read in the original Arabic, read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Hada tasjilun li librivox. Kullu tasjilati librivox fi majalli al-aam. Li mazidin min al-ma'lumat aw li al-musharaka. Zuru al-mawqi'a librivox nuqtah org. A'udhu billahi min al-shaytani al-rajim. Suratu al-a'la. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى سورة الغاشية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع 
لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مصفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبن كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم سورة الفجر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشر والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يصر هل في ذلك قسم الذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العماد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصخر بالواد وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين طغوا في البلاد فأكثر فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك صوت عذاب إن ربك لبالمرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا مبتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وأما إذا مبتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه فيقول ربي أهانا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحاضون على طعام المسكين وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما كلا إذا دكت الأرض دكا دكا وجاء ربك والملك صفا صفا وجيء يومئذ بجهنم يومئذ يتذكر الإنسان وأنا له الذكرى يقول يا ليتني قدمت لحياتي فيومئذ لا يعذب عذابه أحد ولا يوثق وثاقه أحد يا أيته النفس المطمئنة 
ارْجِعِي إِلَى رَبِّكَ رَاضِيَةً مَرْضِيَةً فَادْخُلِي فِي عِبَادِي وَادْخُلِي جَنَّتِي سورة البلد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأنت حل بهذا البلد ووالد وما ولد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد أيحسب أن لن يقدر عليه أحد يقول أهلكت مالا لبدا أيحسب أن لم يره أحد ألم نجعل له عينين ولسانا وشفتين وهديناه النجدين أو الطعام في يوم ذي مصغبا فلقتحم العقبا وما أدراك ما العقبا فك رقبا أو الطعام في يوم ذي مصغبا يتيما ذا مقربا أو مسكينا مطربا ثم كان من الذين آمنوا وتوصوا بالصبر وتوصوا بالمرحمة أولئك أصحاب الميمنة والذين كفروا بآياتنا هم أصحاب المشأمة عليهم نار مؤصدة سورة الشمس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بذاها والأرض وما طحاها ونفس وما سواها فلهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلح من زك وقد خاب من دساها كذب ثمود بطغواها إذا بعث أشقاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وسقياها فكذبوه فعقروها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يخاف عقباها سورة الليل بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والليل إذا يغشى والنهار إذا تجلى وما خلق الذكر والأنثى إن سعيكم لشتى فأما من أعطى واتقى وصدق بالحسنى فسنيسره لليسرى وأما من بخل واستغنى وكذب بالحسنى فسنيسره للعسرى وما يغني عنه ماله إذا تردى إن علينا للهدى وإن لنا للآخرة والأولى فأنذرتكم نارا تلغى لا يصلها إلا الأشقى 
الذي كذب وتولى وسيجنبها الأتقى الذي يؤت ما له يتزكى وما لي أحد عنده من نعمة تجزى إلا ابتغاء وجه ربه الأعلى ولسوف يرضى سورة الضحى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى ولآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث سورة الشرح بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فارغب سورة التين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون وطور سنين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين سورة العلق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان ليطغى أرآه استغنى إن إلى ربك رجعا أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا لئن لم ينته لنسفعا بالناصية ناصية كاذبة خاطئة فليدع نادية سندع الزبانية كلا لا تطعه واسجد وقترب سورة القدر 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر سورة البينة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين والمشركين منفكين حتى تأتيهم البينة رسول من الله يتلو صحفا مطهرة فيها كتب قيمة وما تفرق الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين حنفاء ويقيم الصلاة ويؤت الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة إن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين في نار جهنم خالدين فيها أولئك هم شور البرية إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك هم خير البرية جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنات عدن تجري جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنات عدن تجر من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك لمن خشي ربه سورة الزلزلة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ يصطر الناس أشتاتا أشتاتا ليروا أعمالهم فمن يعمل مثقال ذورة خيرا يره ومن يعمل مثقال ذورة شورا يره سورة العاديات بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعاديات طبحا فالمريات قدحا فالمغيرات صبحا فأثرن به نقعا فوسطن به جمعا إن الإنسان لربه لكنود وإنه على ذلك لشهيد وإنه لحب الخير لشديد أفلا يعلم إذا بعثر ما في القبور وحصل ما في الصدور إن ربهم بهم يومئذ لخبير سورة القارعة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القارعة ما القارعة 
وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن المنفوش فأما من ثقلت موازينه فهو في عيشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية سورة التكاثر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم سورة العصر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتوصوا بالحق وتوصوا بالصبر سورة الهمزة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ما له أخلده كلا لينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله الموقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة سورة الفيل بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول سورة قريش بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لإلاف قريش إلافهم رحلة الشتاء والصيف فليعبد رب هذا البيت الذي أطعمهم من جوع وأمانهم من خوف سورة الماعون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدوع اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماعون سورة الكوثر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا 
وَأَعْطَيْنَاكَ الْكَوْثَرْ فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَانْحَرْ إِنَّ شَانِئَكَ هُوَ الْأَبْتَرْ سورة الكافرون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيتها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين سورة النصر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا سورة المسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب ما أغنى عنه ماله وما كسب سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب في جيدها حبل من مسد سورة الإخلاص بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد سورة الفلق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شور ما خلق ومن شور غاسق إذا وقب ومن شور النفس فات في العقد ومن شور حاسد إذا حسد سورة الناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شور الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس End of Surahs 87 to 114 from the Qur'an The 60th Hizb of the Qur'an Read in the original Arabic by Abu Jalal. Dedicated to Jalalullah. Nihayatul Tasjil. Suratul Kitab from the Qayyumul Asma'a. Revealed by Sayyid Ali Muhammad Ashirazi, the Bab, read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. 
هذا تسجيل لليبرفوكس كل تسجيلات ليبرفوكس في مجل العام لمزيد من المعلومات أو للمشاركة زور الموقع LibriVox.org سورة الكتاب لحضرة الإعلاء سيد علي محمد الشيرازي الباب سورة الكتاب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما تعبدون من دونه إلا أسماء سميتموها سميتموها أنتم وآباؤكم ما أنزل الله بها من سلطان إن الحكم إلا لله أمر أن لا تعبدوا إلا إياه ذلك الدين القيم ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون كاف ها يا عين صاد يا ملأ الأنوار فاسمع نداء من شهر الحرام هذا شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن إني أنا الله لا إله إلا أنا إن الله قد أوحى إلي في ليلة القدر في ليلة القدر ما من نفس يخطر على قلبه حرفا من هذا الكتاب أو ينطق على شفته بالحق الخالص في هذا الشهر الأكبر وفي الشهرين العظمين من قبله إلا وقد أوجبت الرمضان له ليعلم إن الله هو الحق إن الله هو الحق وكلمته هي السر الأعظم وهو الله قد كان على كل شيء قديرا فقرأوا ما تصير من هذا القرآن بكرة وأصيلا ورتلوا هذا الكتاب بإذن الله القديم على لحن ذلك الطير المغني في جو العماء ترتيلا وإن هذا الذكر لمن شاء اتخذ إلى الله ربه على سبل السوي سبيلا وما من نفس قد حكم بغير ما أنزل الله في كتابه الفرقان في كتابه الفرقان وهذا الكتاب إلا وقد كان عند الله من أهل الكفر مكتوبا وإنا نحن قد حكمنا على الكافر جزاء حكمه جزاء حكمه في جهنم نارا على الحق بالحق شديدا ومن بدل من الفرقان وهذا الكتاب حرفا حرفا على غير حرفهما فقد كفر بالله ربه ولن يقبل الله من عمله من شيء وقد كان مأ 
وَاهُ النَّارَ عَلَى الْحُكْمِ الْكِتَابِ مَحْتُومًا وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَكْتُمُونَ بَعْضًا مِنْ حَرْفِ هَذَا الْكِتَابِ فَيَأْكُلُونَ النَّارَ وَفِي يَوْمِ الْقَيِّمَةِ قَدْ أَعَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ فِي قَعْرِ التابوت بالعدل الأعظم بالعدل الأعظم عذابا شديدا وإن الله قد كتب عليكم أن لا تمسوا هذا الكتاب الأعظم ألا تمسوا هذا الكتاب الأعظم إلا بطحر الأكبر فإن الله قد حرمه على الكافرين جميعا ومن يحكم بغير ما أنزل الله في كتابه فقد كان عند الله في قطب النار محشورا فاطمأن بما قد أبه الله لكم في كتابه فإنكم لا تعملون من علم الكتاب إلا بعضا من الحرف مقطوعا يا أيها المؤمنون إذا سمعتم كتاب الله فانصتوا وقد كان ذلك الحكم في أم الكتاب من عند الله مقضيا ولن تجدوا لسنتنا على الحق بالحق تبديلا يا أيها المؤمنون لا تمسوا الكتاب في القرطاس إلا بعض الطهارة اتقوا الله يا عباد الله لتكونن بفضل الله في أم الكتاب من حول نقطة النار مكتوبا وإن هذا الكتاب يهدي للتي هي أقوم للتي هي أقوم على الحق ولا يزيد الظالمين بالحق على الحق الأكبر إلا خسارا يا عباد الرحمن اتقوا الله من تحريق الكتاب حرفا من ما قد أنزل الله فيه بالحق على غير الحرف فإن الله قد أحكم لفاعله في أم الكتاب نارا كبيرا وإن الله قد جعل في كتابكم هذا هذا في مواضع الأحرف وقفا على حد الكتاب معلوما وإن من المواضع في هذا الكتاب قد قدر الله فيه السكون والإدغام على سبل المقام مما قد أحكم الله في أم الكتاب من أذن الباب مقضيا يا أيها المؤمنون فرط 
يُقْتَلُ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ فِي ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ عَلَى سَبِيلِ الْفُصُحَاءِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْحِجَازِ عَلَى الْحَقِّ بِالْحَقِّ الْحَزِينِ تَرْتِيلًا وَقْرَأُ كَمَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ عَلَى الْحَقِّ بِالْحَقِّ من لسان الباب محمودا وخذوا حكم التأويل من عند عبدنا الأكبر إن كنتم بالله وبآياته على الحق بالحق من لسان الباب أمينا وقرأ ما تصير من هذا الكتاب وقدموا لأنفسكم أجره فإن الله لا يضيع أجر العاملين ولو علموا على شيء من الحق بالحق قليلا وأقرض الله في القراءة من هذا الكتاب على حب الباب واستغفر الله في آناء الليل وأطراف النهار فسوف يوفى الله حقكم ما لا تحيطون به علما وإن الله على كل شيء قدير يا معشر الجن والأنس إن استطعتم فاتبعوا نور الله الأكبر تأتوا بمثل ما آمن المؤمنون به وإلا فقد كفرت أنفسكم بالله ربكم وقد كنتم عن غير الحق في شفاق الذي قد كان في أم الكتاب بعيدا فإن لم تفعلوا ولن تفعلوا بعد ما توقن نفوسكم ويفعلون كبراءكم ويرفع الله آيات قدرته من ذلك الباب على أهل الأرض والسماوات عظيما يا أيها المؤمنون ألم يكفيكم هذا الكتاب حجة من عند الله عليكم فكيف تؤمنون بمحمد بالغيب على كتابه تالله الحق لو اجتمع أهل الأرض والسماء على أن يأتوا بمثل بعض من حرفه لو يستطيعوا ولو كنا نمدهم بسبعة من مثلهم أفغير الله كان على كل شيء قديرا يا ملأ الأنوار اسمعوا نداء من نقطة الباب إني أنا الله الذي لا إله إلا أنا فقرأ من ذلك الكتاب الأكبر ما استطعتم فإني قد حكمت القلم بأن يكتب على اللوح الحفيظ لتاله حرفا على حق ملك الأكبر في الفردوس الأعظم 
فيها من الآلاء أشجار قد أثمرت بإذن الله الحق إذا أكلت نفس منها لتجد لذة الخلد وثمرتها وذلك فضل الله الأكبر للتالين كتابه وإن الله هو العلي وكان الله على كل شيء شهيدا يا كلمة الأكبر فاستمع ندائي من الناطق في نفسك إني أنا الله الذي لا إله إلا أنا قل إني أنا البيت الحرام والشهر الحق في كتاب الله في كتاب الله عشر العاشور من الشهر الحرام فما من نفس قد عظم شهر الله وكتابه وكتابه الذي كان في حق بالحق الأكبر ويتلو فيه حرفا من حروفه الأعظم إلا وقد صلى الرحمن وملائكته وأولو العلم من خلفه إلا ذلك فضل الله المستشهر في السطر الأول قد أعد الله للمخلصين منكم بالحق وقد كان الحكم في أم الكتاب موجودا يا أهل المحو اسمعوا ندائي من نقطة الصحو من هذا الفتى العربي هذا الفتى العربي الذي قد تنطق في طور السيناء بإذن الله بإذن الله على موسى فقد كانت التوراة من عند الله بالحق عليه نازله وقد كان الأمر في أم الكتاب عظيما وأشار بأيدينا إلى عيسى قد تنزلت الإنجيل من السماء في عصره على نفسه ثم قد أرفعه الله إلى السماء للبقاء إلى يوم الموعود للسر المكشف عن الصحيفة المختومة في دكة القضاء من المسجد الحرام من لسان حجة الله الحق في سر الذكر من لدى محمد النبي العربي رطبا طريقا على القلم الطري وقد كان السر في ذلك اليوم عند الباب مكتوبا يا قرة العين قل إني قد قرأت بإذن الله كل السطور من تلك الصحيفة المختومة في يوم الذي قد كتبها جد محمد بأيديه وإني ما علمت وما حكمت إلا بما رقم قمت فيها على الخط 
القائم في نقطة النار ما هي إلا سر سطرة من ذلك الكلمة الأكبر وإن الله هو الحق لا إله إلا هو وهو الله كان عليا كبيرا يا ملأ الأنوار فاستمعوا نداء الله من نقطة النار الله لئلا إله إلا هو قد حرمت في طور السيناء مداد السداء في هذا الباب الثناء وقد أوحيت إلا القلم ألا تكتب في مقام العبودية ذلك الكتاب وكل ما قد أجر الله من قلم المداد من لدى الباب إلا على الألواح المقطعة المهذبة المذبهة البيضاء بالمداد الصفراء من الذهب الخالصة الحمراء وإن الله هو الغني وهو الله كان على كل شيء قديرا يا قرة العين قل للمؤمنين الذين لا يستطيعون بالمداد الذهب أن يكتبوا بالمداد البيضاء أو الحمراء وإن لم يجدوا بعد الجد الأكبر فبالمداد الخضراء بعد الصفراء وإن الله قد أحب المؤمنين ما أحب لذكره وإن الله مولاكم قد كان بما تعلمون خبيرا وإنا قد أنزلنا إليك مع الكتاب تلك الصحيفة المكنونة ليتل الناس في آناء الليل وأطراف النهار دعواته وليعلموا من مقاماته العالية سبل عبوديتهم لله في سبيل هذا الباب الأكبر وقد كان حجة بذلك من الله للذكر الأكبر فاحفظ من هذا الباب جنة الفردوس بالحق الأكبر اعملوا على الحق فسوف ترون أعمالكم عند الله مولاكم الحق مخزونا محفوظا وإذا قرئ القرآن فانصت لله ربكم واذكروه في أنفسكم ولها مؤجلا دون الجهر من القول لتكونوا في كتاب الحق من أهل الباب مكتوبا وإنا نحن قد نزلنا الكتاب هذا سرا من القرآن حول السر المستسر المسطر فوق السر فما من نفس قد ظن أن حرفا منه حرف القرآن إلا وقد كفر بالله وإن الله قد أنجز له بقدرته القديم على ذكره البديع 
على الحق بالحق بديعا يا عباد الله ألم أعهد إليكم ألا تدعوا الله بآرائكم بأسماء أنفسكم التي ما أنزم الله بها في كتابه من سلطان وإن الحكم من الله عليكم ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه في سبيل من هذا الباب مخلصا لله ذلك دين قوي عند ربك ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون من علم الكتاب إلا حرفا قليلا يا أهل السجن لا تفرق بين الناس وبين أنفسكم بأهوائكم المؤتفكة من الشيطان فوربكم الرحمن إن ذكر الله الأكبر لحق عند الله وإن الشيطان قد كان لكم عضوا مبينا End of سورة الكتاب From the Qayyum الأسماء Revealed by Sayyid Ali Muhammad The Bab Recorded by Abu Jalal. This recording is dedicated to Jalalullah. Nihayatu Tasjil. Verses 1 to 19 from Al Kitabul Aqdas in the original Arabic by Baha'u'llah. Read for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. Hadha tasjilun li LibriVox. Kullu tasjilati LibriVox. في مجل العام لمزيد من المعلومات أو للمشاركة زوروا الموقع LibriVox.org الكتاب الأقدس لحضرة بهاء الله باسمه الحاكم على ما كان وما يكون إن أول ما كتب الله على العباد عرفان مشرق وحيه ومطلع أمره الذي كان مقام نفسه في عالم الأمر والخلق من فاز به قد فاز بكل الخير والذي منع إنه من أهل الضلال ولو يأتي بكل الأعمال إذا فزتم بهذا المقام الأسنى والأفق الأعلى ينبغي لكل نفس أن يأتبع ما أمر به من لدى المقصود لأنهما معا لا يقبل أحدهما دون الآخر هذا ما حكم به مطلع الإلهام إن الذين أوتوا بصائر من الله 
يرون حدود الله السبب الأعظم لنظم العالم وحفظ الأمم والذي غفل إنه من همج رعاع إنا أمرناكم بكسر حدودات النفس والهوى لا ما رقم من القلم الأعلى إنه لروح الحيوان لمن في الإمكان قد ماجت بحور الحكمة والبيان بما حاجت نسمة الرحمن تنم يا أولي الألباب إن الذين نكثوا عهد الله في أوامره ونكثوا على أعقابهم أولئك من أهل ضلال لدى الغني المتعال يا ملأ الأرض علم أن أوامر سرج عناية بين عبادي ومفاتيح رحمة لبرية كذلك نزل الأمر من سماء مشية ربكم مالك الأديان لو يجد أحد حلاوة البيان الذي ظهر من فم مشية الرحمن لينفق ما عنده ولو يكون خزائن الأرض كلها ليثبت أمرا من أوامره المشرقة من أفق العناية والألطاف قل من حدود يمر عرف قميس وبها تنصب أعلم النصر على القنون والأتلال قد تكلم لسان قدرة في جبروت عذمة مخاطبا لبرية أن اعمل حدود حبا لجمالي طوبى لحبيب وجد عرف المحبوب من هذه الكلمة التي فاحت منها نفحات الفضل على شأن لا توصف بالأذكار لعمري من شرب رحيق الإنصاف من آياد الألطاف إنه يطوف حول أوامر المشرقة من أفق الإبداع لا تحسبن أنا نزلنا لكم الأحكام بل فتحنا ختم الرحيق المخت
يَحْطُومُ بِأَصَامِعِ الْقُدْرَةِ وَالْإِقْتِدَارِ يَشْهَدُ بِذَلِكَ مَا نُزِّلَ مِنْ قَلَمِ الْوَحْيِ تَفَكَّرُوا يَا أُولِي الْأَفْكَارِ قد كتب عليكم الصلاة تسع ركعات لله منزل الآيات حين الزوال وفي البكور والآفال وعفونا عدة أخرى أمرا في كتاب الله إنه لهو الأمر المقتدر المختار وإذا إرادتم الصلاة والوجوهكم شطر لقدس المقام المقدس الذي جعله الله مطاف الملأ الأعلى ومقبل أهل مدائن البقاء ومصدر الأمر لمن في الأرضين والسماوات وعند غروب شمس الحقيقة والتبيان المقر الذي قدرناه لكم إنه لهو العزيز العلام كل شيء تحقق بأمره المبرم إذا أشرقت من أفق البيان شمس الأحكام لكل أن يتبعوها ولو بأمر تنفطر عنه سماوات أفئدة الأديان إنه يفعل ما يشاء ولا يسأل عما شاء وما حكم به المحبوب إنه لمحبوب ومالك الاختراع إن الذي وجد عرفا ورحمن وعرف مطلع هذا البيان إنه يستقبل بعينيه السهام لإثبات الأحكام بين الأنام طوبى لمن أقبل وفاز بفصل الخطاب قد فصلنا الصلاة في ورقة أخرى طوبى لمن عمل بما أمر به من لدن مالك رقاب قد نزلت في صلاة الميت ست تكبرات من الله منزل الآيات والذي عنده علم القراءة له أن يقرأ ما نزل قبلها 
وإلا عفى الله عنه إنه لهو العزيز الغفار لا يبطل الشعر صلاتكم ولا ما منع عن الروح مثل العظام وغيرها إلبس السمور كما تلبسون الخز والسنجاب وما دونهما إنهما نهي في الفرقان ولكن اشتبه على العلماء إنه لهو العزيز العلام قد فرض عليكم الصلاة والصوم من أول البلوغ أمرا من لدى الله ربكم ورب آبائكم الأولين من كان في نفسه ضعف من المرض أو الهرم عفى الله عنه فضلا من عنده إنه لهو الغفور الكريم قد أذن الله لكم السجود على كل شيء طاهر ورفعنا عنه حكم الحد في الكتاب إن الله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون من لم يجد الماء يذكر خمس مورات بسم الله الأطهر الأطهر ثم يشرع في العمل هذا ما حكم به مولى العالمين والبلدان التي طالت فيها الليالي والأيام فليصل بالساعات والمشاخص التي من حتحددت الأوقات إنه لهو المبين الحكيم قد عفونا عنكم صلاة الآيات إذا ظهرت أذكر الله بالعذمة والإقتدار إنه هو السميع البصير قل العذمة لله رب ما يرى وما لا يرى رب العالمين كتب عليكم الصلاة فرادا قد رفع حكم الجماعة إلا في صلاة الميت إنه هو الآمر الحكيم قد عفى الله عن النساء حينما يجدن دم صوم والصلاة ولهن أن يتوضأن ويسبحن خمسا وتسعين مورة من زوال إلى زوال سبحان الله ذي الطنعة والجمال هذا ما قدر في الكتاب إن أنتم من العالمين ولكم ولهن في الأسفار 
إذا نزلتم واسترحتم المقام الآمن مكان كل صلاة سجدة واحدة واذكر فيها سبحان الله ذي العظمة والإجلال والموهبة والإفضال والذي عجز يقول سبحان الله إنه يكفيه بالحق إنه لهو الكافي الباقي الغفور الرحيم وبعد إتمام السجود لكم ولهن أن تقعدوا على هيكل التوحيد وتقول ثمان عشرة مورة سبحان الله ذي الملك والملكوت كذلك يبين الله سبل الحق والهدى وإنها انتهت إلى سبيل واحد وهو هذا الصراط المستقيم أشكر الله بهذا الفضل العظيم أحمد الله بهذه الموهبة التي أحاطت السماوات والأراضين أذكر الله بهذه الرحمة التي سبقت العالمين قل قد جعل الله مفتاح الكنز حب المكنون لو أنتم تعرفون لولا المفتاح لكان مكنونا في أزن الآزال لو أنتم توقنون قل هذا المطلع الوحي ومشرق الإشراق الذي به أشرقت الآفاق لو أنتم تعلمون إن هذا لهو القضاء المثل ثبت وبه ثبت كل قضاء محتوم يا قلم الأعلى قل يا ملأ الإنشاء قد كتبنا عليكم الصيام أياما معدودات وجعلنا النيروز عيدا لكم بعد إكمالها كذلك أضاءت شمس البيان من أفق الكتاب من لدن مالك المبدأ والمآب وجعلوا الأيام الزائدة عن الشهور قبل شهر الصيام إنا جعلناها 
مظاهر الهاء بين الليال والأيام لذا ما تحددت بحدود السنة والشهور ينبغي لآل البهاء أن يطعم فيها أنفسهم وذو القربى ثم الفقراء والمساكين ويهللن ويكبرن ويسبحن ويمجدن ربهم بالفرح والانبساط وإذا تمت أيام الأعطاء قبل الإمساك فليدخلن في الصيام كذلك حكم مولى الأنام ليس على المسافر والمريض والحامل والمردع من حرج عفى الله عنهم فضلا من عنده إنه لهو العزيز الوهاب هذه حدود الله التي رقمت من القلم الأعلى في الزبر والألواح تمسك بأوامر الله وأحكامه ولا تكون من الذين أخذوا أصول أنفسهم ونبذوا أصول الله وراءهم بما اتبعوا الظنون والأوهام كفوا أنفسكم عن الأكل والشرب من الطلوع إلى الأفول إياكم أن يمنعكم الهوى عن هذا الفضل الذي قدر في الكتاب قد كتب لمن دان بالله الديان أن يغسل في كل يوم يديه ثم وجهه ويقعد مقبلا إلى الله ويذكر خمسا وتسعين مرة الله أبهى كذلك حكم فاطر السماء إذ استوى على أعرش الأسماء بالعظمة والإقتدار كذلك توضأ للصلاة أمرا من الله الواحد المختار قد حرم عليكم القتل والزنا ثم الغيبة والافتراء اجتنبوا عما نهيتم عنه في الصحائف والألواح End of verses 1 to 19 from Al Kitab al Aqdas, revealed by Baha'u'llah, read in the original Arabic by Abu Jalal. This recording is dedicated to Jalalullah. Nihayatu Tasjil. The Medium Obligatory Prayer. Al-Salatul Wustra Revealed by Baha'u'llah Read in the original Arabic by Abu Jalal 
for the Arabic Language Learning Collection, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. هذا تسجيل لليبريفوكس كل تسجيلات ليبريفوكس في مجل العام لمزيد من المعلومات أو للمشاركة زور الموقع ليبريفوكس نقطة أورج الصلاة الوسطى ومن أراد أن يصلي له أن يغسل يديه وفي حين الغسل يقول إلهي قوي يدي لتأخذ كتابك باستقامة لا تمنعها جنود العالم ثم احفظها عن التصرف فيما لم يدخل في ملكها إنك أنت المقتدر القدير وفي حين غسل الوجه يقول أي رب وجهت وجه إليك نوره بأنوار وجهك ثم احفظه عن التوجه إلى غيرك وبعد له أن يقوم متوجها إلى القبلة ويقول شهد الله أنه لا إله إلا هو له الأمر والخلق قد أظهر مشرق الظهور ومكلم الطور الذي به أنار الأفق الأعلى ونطقت سدرة المنتهى وارتفع النداء بين الأرض والسماء قد أتى المالك الملك والملكوت والعزة والجبروت لله مولى الورى ومالك العرش والثراء ثم يركع ويقول سبحانك عن ذكر وذكر دون ووصف ووصف من في السماوات والأراضين ثم يقوم للقنوت ويقول يا إلهي لا تخيب من تشبث بأنامل الرجاء بأذيال رحمتك وفضلك يا أرحم الراحمين ثم يقعد ويقول أشهد بوحدانيتك وفردانيتك وبأنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت قد أظهرت أمرك ووفيت بعهدك وفتحت باب فضلك على من في السماوات والأرضين والصلاة والسلام تكبير والبهاء على أولئك الذين ما منعتهم شؤونات الخلق عن الإقبال إليك وانفقوا ما عندهم رجاء ما عندك إنك أنت الغفور الكريم Baha'u'llah End of the medium obligatory prayer by Baha'u'llah Read in the original Arabic by Abu Jalal Nihayatul Tasjil